got. God damn, get this dog out of here. Not again, not again, God. Get this thing off of me. Fluffy, are you trying to hug me? No, God damn. God damn, oh, my ass. Ah, fuck that. Chrissy, have you ever heard of the comedian Basha K. Ali? No, that sounds like something you yell at before you blow up a plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, fear me. I am Lord and Master. Oh, really? So much worse, dude. You have no idea. Gustav de Jali! Dai Tau de Bile Lance! Nete! Well, let's see what hit it! Yeah, you blow the. Oh, something like that. No, show my head up! Fuck you! Don't man! Hey, wait, you're not dead? Oh, you're in trouble, dude. Oh! Talk about a brutal, senseless act of violence. Nerderotic.com Now and hit this. Uh, hit the, hit the. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hello, everyone. I can get on camera. I can. I'm here. <laughs> there he is. I had to do Hello. my fap before every show. It's, it's it's just a tradition, you know. And I don't yeah, want to do dude. it on camera. I know? respect. Well, that. that's yeah. what keeps you from being a legend like DSP. You didn't share it with the internet. Yeah. yeah. I just I can't. Yeah. I'm just. I'll never that's be. That's part a of DSP. the show, Gary. That's content. Content. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Friday Night Tights, everyone. My name is Gary Beekler, and I come to you from NerdRotic.com, and. This 
this is, uh, yeah, Friday Night Tights with It's a Gundam. And we have a lot to talk about, although we're not really sure what we're going to talk about. We'll figure it out when we get there. I mean, that's pretty much what we do every show, right, guys? So let's go around the horn, and we'll start with, uh, well, Jeremy, we'll get to you in a second. We need to get to uh, Aza K. Ali. Basha. <laughs> Basha's. Basha K. Ali. Oh, your children Aza. will die. Your world is over. <laughs> <laughs> Submit now. You sound like Drogo from <laughs> the Rock. I, will uh, break I need you. access to that immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's so jealous of my reverb. It is so nice. You sound rough. This is my reverb. No colonizer take my reverb from me. <laughs> I have a tough time to, if he's like being right, a terrorist or General Drakov. I'm not quite sure what that is. Like if yeah, the bumbliness is a Drakov. Yeah, if it's Drake, if it's Drakov, it would have been. All right, that I'm a Russian type of person, but I'm sort of South African because I'm so deep in the voice that when I try to do a Russian accent, it comes out just like fucking Oscar Pistorius, but with legs. <laughs> And no dead wife. Ow. It should have just made him sound like Harvey Weinstein. That's basically what the rest of the movie no. was about anyway. And they should Heard have that. just, instead of like paying for Rachel Weiss, they should have just had Leslie Hedlund play herself. Yeah. That's what we so would have been perfect. Yeah. Ugly bitch. Uh, yeah. How, oh, yeah. I'm this sorry. channel's canceled. Yeah, well, we, like, <laughs> we like to get it out of the way in the beginning. Uh, yeah. yeah. How hot is it in the UK there, Adam? It's, it's, it's for, for Brit, it's like, you know, it's oh, mildly uncomfortable. It's mildly uncomfortable. 70, I'm pretty sure the you know? Clash covered this in London Calling. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I got all this equipment here, and it's just producing heat. And then the sun outside, that arsehole decided to produce some heat today as well. And i got to have the window closed, because if I have the window open, then the neighbors think that I'm oh yeah, I murdering people. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm talking about. And so it just you come in here, it's like a sauna. And it's like, hey, can you sit on your ass for six hours and just get crack sweat for the next, yeah. you know? Booty As juice. Attempting to a minute. Yeah. Under a blanket to keep from the UK suing this man for the horrible things he said <laughs> about culture. Because I'm pretty sure there is a law against like anti hate speech. He's literally a freedom fighter. And we don't even realize it. Yeah. <laughs> One day they're going to have his face on people's shirts like Shea fucking Guevara with <laughs> Leslie Heslin should have died at birth or something under it. <laughs> and they'll talk about what a visionary he was. Uh, I, I just witnessed X-Ray Girl. She had like on her tweet, she's got like where I, you know, gave her, you know, I gave her the recommendation to you to be the producer and it cracks wet. I think she just regretted everything. She like her face. <laughs> that, there it is. She heard as they crack sweat. She's just like, like, I regret everything. Crack sweat <laughs> is cool. Have been made. <laughs> now, if he said booty juice, it might have been trouble with YouTube. Mm. <laughs> if I say it, is, a, is that sweat. okay? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think you're cool. As long as you booty add juice. diversity to it, it's fine. Like as long as we want diverse crack sweat or booty juice, I think booty we're juice. Good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna, stand, I'm gonna stand up, and the chair's gonna be stuck in my ass. Wouldn't blink. <laughs> I don't think X Ray Girl really cares about all this shit as much as me. She has, she doesn't even care enough to put up her whatever those sound things are. But it looks like it's just fucking leaning <laughs> up. For them, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss her. Will this is what day. I miss Twitter for. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only thing I miss Twitter for is I can't I can't read <laughs> the infidels. You probably you know? can't you probably can't put that on Instagram. Uh, no, no, no Instagram be like, uh, uh, No. Thank you. Also can't put it on uh, Facebook either. Because it's the same Yeah, thing. same same people. <laughs> same oh, same hypocrite, right. different yeah, same same people. You're telling me watching Commander Data ride a boogie board with the American flag didn't touch your heart. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says America like an out-of-touch billionaire. Am I right, guys? Oh, right. Mm. It was beautiful. Uh, oh, it, it tri- so many it people tri- fell for that it, yeah, shit. Yeah, tricked it some did. idiots on Twitter. It's not they surprising. Yeah, one who became a billionaire raiding women uh, f- and then somehow... Excuse me? Well, he, fucking Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> didn't you watch Social Network? 
He's no. yeah, he's, but it, 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 uh, that had nothing to do with reality. <laughs> he st- he was rating women, rating women, rating. That's what Facebook. Women. Yeah. Uh, no, I thought you said something else that had a yeah. slightly stronger middle oh, letter. Ra- raping, raping women? No, no. <laughs> he's got his career yeah. raping women. Wow, yeah. he's yeah. certainly yeah. Yeah. in life. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say, if I knew you could turn that into a career, I would have gone professional a long time ago. <laughs> oh! Oh! Just in the semi pros. Oh. Ryan with the Ryan hot take, but but. Harvey fired. Weinstein already did do that. Really, yeah. you gotta like pepper Hey-o. that to a better place joke. Like, the only reason I get women is because of who I am—a rapist. See, then it's slightly less <laughs> offensive, but still, it's in the danger zone. <laughs> I owe that line to Rodney Dangerfield. Yes. The, the, the difference is Harvey Weinstein actually gave them what they were there to get—a role. That's true. Uh, so. help, it's a uh, win-win situation. Yeah, yeah. Leslie Held- Headland helped them out quite a bit. Former Harvey oh, Weinstein cancellation, assistant. and I, and the company that owns Marvel, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Disney. the company that yeah who owns Marvel that did a Weinstein esque character oh, actually yeah. hired the woman who fed the cattle to yeah. him. Yeah, that's why she mm. had those tweets. How many tweets did she delete? Like two hundred fifty or three hundred oh, or something. It, it, it wasn't like it wasn't like thousands of tweets, a scrub like we've seen before. So but that like even means it was more selective. Only a couple so she's no Bisha K. Ali. Imagine you get a job as an intern and you fucking work for Leslie Heslin. She comes in the room and goes, "We've got a DefCon Five situation, little babies. What is it, ma'am?" Um. The guy I work for kind of rate women, and I select the best looking girls because I like pussy too. Well, funny story that um, I need you to go through uh, years of tweets to make sure I look clean. <laughs> and she probably had like a mocha or something and laid back scribbling a shitty script we'll all soon rant about on the internet, making five cents a piece while she's a multimillionaire. I didn't forgot my point. I'm depressed. <laughs> Me too. Well, she she did write the play after she left the employee of Harvey yeah, Weinstein yeah, yeah. Yeah. Loosely about based having an, an abusive events. boss that yeah. <laughs> took no advantage de- of women. No deflection so I'm, there. I'm pretty sure she, uh, you know, she had no idea what was going on. Well, when I tell my life story, I'm going to like work in Susan Wojcinski routinely coming to my house and beating me. <laughs> like I was some sort of slave labor camp or something. Or maybe I'll do it black and white like Schindler's List. Yeah, <laughs> tasteful. And she's She's dressed yeah. like the angel of death. Nine more every content. every twenty first of the month. Instead of getting a paycheck, Susan just knocks on the door and beats you up. I get a just bowl of rice with a roach in it. <laughs> just put a fry, put a fry flag well, what in kind the of a roach? corner. Yeah, and you'll be so good. You'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be good. Yeah, uh, it won't even be a full roach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the show, as uh, and hi, hi Jeremy. How's it going? What's uh it's going great. It's going great. Um I'm not in the business of complimenting Ryan, but he did break a record for sports wars this week. Uh most viewed video ever. Uh it cleared about seven hundred thousand views in uh nice. about one two days. Nice. And then it died right after that. It's still at seven hundred thousand. But you are no, kidding yeah, me. Dude, that's great. Killed it, killed it. Uh yeah. And uh, we didn't even have to uh, make fun of LeBron James. So yeah, we didn't. We didn't have to bitch about women or LeBron to get those branching out. That's called diversifying your content right there. (laughs) Okay, so what did you take the piss out of? (laughs) (laughs) It was talking about Conor McGregor's uh, broken leg. Oh, Uh, nice. I lost so much money on that one. Oh, Oh, no. (laughs) I lost so much vomit from my mouth. (laughs) I was like drunk Irishman out to prove something game over the king is back two g's <laughs> on mcgregor oh no <laughs> he breaks his fucking leg yeah. i went to bed yeah, it was brutal. <laughs> broke it was brutal yeah was brutal. i have never seen someone talk so much shit from on their ass in a <laughs> yeah. ring before see he, he could have won that call shit. your wife <laughs> call your wife yeah, you gotta respect it, man. You gotta respect yeah. it. He's sitting there, sitting there with his ankle turned, <laughs> oh, up. He's just like oh. still, he's still selling the next fight. And I'm like, yeah. you gotta respect that shit, man. Yeah. So, I would have uh, passed out from the pain. Well, they probably shot <laughs> yeah. him up with something real good. That's what I'm guessing. I would have yeah. passed out before my leg snapped. The second I heard a light <laughs> crunch, <laughs> I'm like, what I uh, yeah. leg there when his foot turned like an L. 
<laughs> and he's still ready to go. <laughs> My motherfucker's <laughs> leg looked like the PlayStation. Oh, no, 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 stop. <laughs> yeah, stop. Uh, that, that's my uh, leg. I'm squeamish on that shit. Yeah, that's why I didn't it, even uh, watch the fucking yeah. video. That's like one of the few videos I didn't even watch. I'm like, I don't want to see that shit. No, yeah, thanks. It, uh, it, it has been a hell of a good week, though, uh, for, for all of us. And um, Vegas, man, I, I am so excited for Vegas. Uh, I talked to John Bartolo this week. Uh, I'm scheduled to be on his show in studio uh, early on, like a couple of days before the official Vegas meetup. And then you're going to see us all in his studio at some point that week as well. So make sure you guys go and uh, subscribe to John Bartolo over on YouTube. The dude is awesome, and he is um, – going out of his way to make sure that uh yep. you know friday night tights is uh we got all we need with his studio internet everything um he, he's a great guy so i can't wait for vegas can't wait dude i'm pumped pumped. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome pumped baby yeah the we, hookers there i mean escort girls are fantastic i professionals. understand the pump. <laughs> they are <laughs> professional ladies of the night world professional oldest pro uh profession <laughs> uh yeah i mean if people need to do that absolutely not going to stop him. Uh, I lost more money on McGregor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would have been yeah. a better investment. You're right. You know, yeah. like the fight would have lasted about as long as my performance, in all honesty, but I would have been far more satisfied with the outcome. <laughs> oh, well, uh, hi, Quarter Black Garrett. How are you? Yo, what's up? Uh, it's good to be back. I, I, I know everybody. I'm disappointed in the chat already. I saw it. There's no crackles now. I got my new rig, oh. so my audio is much better. Nice. So, hey, nice. No more crackles. They're moving gone. Up. Moving They're up. gone. What about crack? That's still around. Okay. I can't take, you know, <laughs> that's difficult to get rid of. But I can get you to hook up on crack pipes from my contact on AliExpress, 50 for the price of a dollar. There can't you. beat it anywhere. Hell no. All right, send in the private chat. I'll get you there. <laughs> but, yeah, it's good to be back. Hail. 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 And uh, then we have Odin. What's up? What's How's up? it going, everybody? Is there no pizza, Odin? There is pizza today, and I know a lot of people have been asking for it. Pizza so. cam. Pizza yeah. cam. Pizza there cam. Pizza cam. That's pretty oh. professional. God damn. 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 This, uh, this is fucking a little bit pizza. light on the pepperoni. Oh, this week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's well, like uh, three <laughs> on the of pepperoni. It's been, a, it's been a rough week. Uh, baby Thor has been sick all week, so we had to take him out of daycare, and I was stay-at-home dadding, and we had a couple of tough tough days so um to not buy pepperoni no for us <laughs> to the point where when my wife got home i was like yeah i'm just uh i was just not gonna put in, extra so, pepperoni on the pizza so Go. she made the pep she made the pizza uh, so oh, well, that's wrong. It. So is, oh so what you're trying to say is it's a woman's fault yeah, gotcha. yeah you say you say exactly. that you can't make pizza that's what that's i'm getting exactly out of exactly what i'm saying yes. wow wow you can tell we corrupted Odom when he uh, still figures out a way to blame it on a woman. So oh, yeah. gotcha. we're doing good here at Friday Night Tights. Too many streams with Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> I want that. Okay. And then, uh, so tell your wife, bad. give her uh, give her a C plus, and that's as good as it's going to get. Hey, you right have Han Solo's dice? I'll, I'll have to do like an official review and be like, hey, by the way, honey, here's a review I did of your uh, pizza. Yeah, what's what the, the, She's never going to get better. What's, if you know. what's Han Solo's dice? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? They're from the original. Uh, the original. That's like his Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you had a Great problem response. with that, Hi, man? <laughs> huh? Hi, Ryan. How's it hey, going? Hey, Gary. Uh, it's going great. I really want some of Odin's pizza, but I uh, I just finished some ground turkey and brown rice. So, you know, that's, ground turkey? That's... You mean like actual ground floor turkey, right? No, no, no. Not, that's clever, but no ground. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't know what even that means. They fucking put it through a grinder, I guess. Yeah, it's like but, hamburger uh, turkey. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what I'm having. It's just just as good and as satisfying as pizza. At least that's what I'm telling myself. But I am also extremely ready for Las Vegas. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to see uh, all of you guys who are going to be there. I can't wait to see so many people from the Geeks and Gamers team. Everybody who's been watching us and interacting. It is going to be a fucking blast, and I cannot mm -hmm. wait for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, we're, we're, me and Ryan have been talking about it. And that's, we don't even know how many people to expect, um, but it's gonna like it's gonna open up a lot of different ideas. Uh, once we kind of gauge how many people actually show yeah. up, uh, we have no idea what to expect. But we're excited. We're excited. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm put sad up, that uh, I will not be there. Yeah, why aren't you gonna be there? Yeah, what's the first full week of school for us? Fuck kind those of a kids. week I can't miss. Screw those kids. 
They don't <laughs> well, need to yeah, learn. Yeah. Screw the job, yeah. you know. Screw yeah. teaching yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. Michael Jordan memes. And Michael oh, yeah. Jordan. Yeah. Why, why don't you just them? have a uh, you know a substitute go in and teach them CRT while you're gone? Oh <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> yeah, what I want yeah, in my classroom. That. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, 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 what do we got here, as? Oh, this is, uh, people are already preempting my um, arrest by the police. So uh, there is a Dead. free ads campaign already <laughs> uh, already up that on go, go, go GoFundMe. Yeah. yeah, it's it's for my bail. Um, and uh, yeah, there's going to be a leaflet campaign starting next week. So this is why DC great. has more money than you. You don't know how to sell this. It's I know, I know. For your bail. It's for your mortgage. It's for my bills. Your utility bills. bill. <laughs> My back taxes, nondescript bills, and um, yeah, uh, my uh, car insurance. Uh, don't forget that uh, health insurance. He needs moisture wicking underwear for the ass <laughs> sweat he was telling us about earlier. Chat. <laughs> it's up to you uh, to give. His TV insurance, his uh, couch insurance, the Xbox Six Fifty or whatever the new one is. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is a, this is a guy who who thinks. Um, that he spends about a grand a month on his cat. Oh, he's uh, full of shit. <laughs> on his cat? <laughs> well, yeah, like, I need money. I need money. I got to get groceries tomorrow and money for 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 my cat. For they food give for the my cat. cat. Like, free food. What is he yeah, feeding like his fucking cat? Damn hero. Platinum. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> it's just platinum flakes. <laughs> just platinum. Just bars of platinum. Yeah. He's just giving to his cat. The, yeah. Fancy feast with like gold sprinkling on top. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. Right. Mm -mm. Meow, oh, yeah. daddy. He said. My cat's got my cat's got expensive tastes. Congratulations to Mrs. Cyberg over here. You know, Mrs. Cyberg. 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 Cyberns. Oh, he just totally doxed her. Cyborg? <laughs> Sorry. Cyborg? I have to go into hiding now. Oh my god. Oh. I know a great place. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, I see uh I see I see our buddy Dan Vask in the chat. What's, What's up, up, Dan? Dan? Uh we What's love up, Dan? Dan. Dan's the man. I like uh, Dan a lot better before he like got super serious and sweaty dude. about fucking Mario Kart. Dude, Dan, <laughs> yeah. Dan super serious Dan, and sweaty. Uh, uh, Dan Dan went from like this like super cool, super like respectable guy to like just sitting in his basement for an entire two weeks to get good at Mario <laughs> Kart, dude. He like came out last week. And Is he, he good? Just... Yes. Yes. He's no, really all good. Right. Like, all right. Quarterback, he's so much better than you could ever dream of being. <laughs> like, he, he, he like clearly looked up like a bunch of fucking losers who made, here's the best Mario Kart for you to eat. Was, like he clearly it. watched all those fucking videos. I'm coming for he you, has, Dan. Like, the perfect I'm character coming. with the perfect setup. <laughs> And now he's just beating the fuck out of everybody. It was killing us. Uh, it was so funny yeah. watching. Just, just. Yeah, I've never seen so many grown men freak out in, in my life. Uh, Eric, Eric, what's Eric July, what is Eric July is gonna die. He's gonna die playing Mario Kart with a heart attack. <laughs> That's how he's gonna go. I have very lady. important news. DC has released a trailer for Starfire's daughter. Yes. Or something mm. like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am in the not in the Starfire. We are going to watch the, that. But I am small, fat, ugly, and gay. I genuinely thought it was Danny DeVito at first. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. It, that would have been better, but it's a it's a self insert that one. Oh uh, yeah, yep. totally. Uh, when you see the chick who wrote it, and you see, it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Not everything <laughs> about you. God <laughs> fucking damn it! It's so obvious too. It, it's well, in DC knew. That people are gonna hate it. Like, th imagine that. Imagine putting something out, knowing that people are going to s despise this so oh, much yeah. that you preemptively turn off your replies on that that one and only thing. <laughs> a marketing ad. That's what I was gonna ask. You if they turned it off. Else, I was gonna ask that. you if they turned replies off. So they did turn oh, yeah. replies. They off turned on replies it? off oh, yeah, and comments off on the YouTube video. They Jeez. knowing what the reaction would be. Is the like to dislike ratio still available? Yeah, uh, it was when I made my video. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna pay a visit. Oh yeah, do my What's part. It under? Is it our DCs? Okay. Yeah, yeah, do your yeah. part for Who DC. Can apply. People at DCs mentioned only. Um, oh, oh, it's got eight hundred and eighty oh, uh, likes yeah. and three thousand mm -hmm. dislikes right yeah, it's now. Getting ratioed bad. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah, rough. Yeah, yeah. So they've uh, already turned comments off, and it has twenty thousand views, three thousand downvotes, and I just added to that, and. uh 879 votes fucking losers that that'll that'll be turned off at some point 
Yeah, Actually, this, this typifies DC because it says from New York Times best-selling author Mariko Tamaki, and then it says brackets. This is some of her work. Lauren Do uh, Dean keeps breaking up with me. Comma Harley Quinn breaking glass. This woman is currently writing Batman detective comics. But that's Jeez, what they put on. But, but they'd rather have Laura Dean keeps breaking <laughs> up with me and Harley Quinn breaking glass as its selling features. They know the audience that they're pitching to. Exactly. Yeah. Audience. Sad, yeah. Re 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 retarded women who need to flick their bean because okay, the husbands are making trouble money. trouble again with Mama Susan. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the email. <laughs> it's okay, Gundam. It didn't come from your lips, so we're fine. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm guilty by association. <laughs> <laughs> when someone throws a grenade at you, it doesn't pick who it hits. <laughs> Hmm. This looks I'll, awfully familiar. Yeah, all, all she's missing is the fucking nose mm. ring. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you can somehow keep that seared in your head for a moment. This is the young, sexy version of her. Yeah, mm. The, mm. Yeah, like from that my, never existed. The San Francisco treat, baby. She's even got the smirk. Okay. Update. Update. We uh we did go up by one vote up votes, so it's eight eighty, but we've gained about two hundred down votes. Oh. Good job. Good right. job. Oh, what so, is it on uh, YouTube? Yeah, yeah, it's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's on DC's channel. Yeah. It is. Oh, there we mm -hmm. are. Well, oh it, it takes you. Oh, it takes you to order. So I got to let find out on the DC channel. Hang on, game. They still got that. 680 lights. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. How's yeah? That, that's a disappointing for society, to be honest with you. Well, I guess how many people work for DC? I'm Mandy. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my god. How many people are in the I'm office Mandy. right now? Oh my god. Uh, Mandy. 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 Hang on, okay, let's watch it. Let's oh react to it. God, I'm Mandy. like Mandy, and I'm oh. from SoCal. Oh my God, so I'm Mandy. I just want to hear. Oh, that. hi Mandy. Mandy. I'm like Mandy. Veronica. <laughs> this just has wind written all over it. Really does. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> <Best> God. <seller. laughs> this is the comic show. that takes out fucking Demon Slayer. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch <laughs> <that> manga. <laughs> Wow, there we go. Wow. Get fuck Japan. This is content. Mm. There we Sorry, go. We took over the <clears> comics <throat> industry. Jesus. I, I just I just dreamed of a hero with a massive gunt. That's Whoa. what I want always wanted. That's what I hate about this modern age of shitty heroes. How they're all in like shitty shape or they have all these fucking political mm -hmm. views. Who the fuck yeah. has time to have those views in a fist they're fight? Real people. Because it's just the right to coming in and having nothing to do with heroes. On top or understanding of that, my heroes. mother's overweight. You could never have an overweight superhero. Cut this shit out. My mother can't even put on her socks without sitting down. And you want me to believe that this bitch is somehow gonna do something athletic or heroic. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Reality is more fantasy. She's gonna than become DC. the queen of of her planet. She's gonna go to like a gothic nightclub and play fucking Smith's music, and then find time <laughs> to help people after cutting herself. It's the same cycle, though. They put shit out like they put this out. They they know that it's gonna get criticism, and then when it gets criticism, then they play the victim, saying that it's all of these toxic men who just mm -hmm. are against it's, it's it's all part of same old, circle. same old, yeah, same old. It's all fifty dollars says the nobody cosplays as this girl, <laughs> unless like it's hot e girls. Then they'll make the character sexy and start selling it on OnlyFans and Patreon, but that doesn't count. <laughs> Yeah, I've true. seen those e-girls monetize like a black hole being close to Earth. I've never seen anything like it. I, I just don't. I mean, listen, this is for certain people. This is made for people to cosplay whose guns stick out farther than their tits. So you got to have content for them, too. That's my demo. Ryan, yeah. stop talking about my demo. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, this was made for, I mean, in, in all reality, the scholastic crowd. So they were hoping that they could feed this to all the, you know, all the librarians and, and English teachers throughout our public schools would feed this to all their students. And that's what, uh, you know, it's a strong industry when you have to manipulate sales, attach children's books to your sales, attach manga, which wants nothing to do with you, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really strong. Let's fucking see what the shite is. Uh, this is just the latest. They'll come out with something worse. I mean, they still have librarians. Wow. Hey, that, I can't wait for the DC Marvel cross uh, 
over of uh, I Am Not Starfire and uh, Shim Hulk. It will be uh I'm Mandy. All my life, I've been the kid of a superhero. But really, I'm like the opposite of my mom. Light. Starfire. I'm I'm light. 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 Star Did she say like opposite? I'm like, I'm like the opposite. The opposite. Is, why did they give her like an attractive valley girl accent? The chick talks like Paris Hilton and looks like Danny DeVito. Somebody it's needs to be fired. It's because it's the same is girl the, every time. Exactly. This is the same girl who actually did the uh, what Gotham was that? High. Yeah, Gotham High. It's the same fucking voice. So, wow. I'm Celina Kyle and I'm 15 and I love getting fucked in the ass by Bruce and Joker. Oh, oh God, ah. you're so fucked. I can yeah. feel it. Oh, is, sorry, Gary. There's a, high. Jesus there's a yellow for you right there, yeah. sunshine. It's been yellow. Since. Yellow at the uh. least. <laughs> now, oh my God! Did somebody? But that's just what that book was. She was like 15, and they the were like 16, 17. Yeah. And all she could think about was which one of them that she wanted to look at rail. The fucking chicken look at, leg, look, dude. Look at, the, look at the detail in the shell bow. Look at the spots really on her like, arms, but like, it looks like right she's there. getting jizzed on by Galactus here. It's like, wait, who's her mom? <laughs> God, this is fucking she's like trash, an old man. Who's her father? <laughs> I have refused to believe that like Starfire and Dick, Dick Grayson would have like her father yeah. is an Asian an Asian girl. <laughs> <laughs> imagine imagine Dick Grayson, this DNA coming from Dick Grayson. He'd be ashamed. Exactly. Of it's yeah. bullshit. Ain't no fucking way. The stuff, the stuff I get raped by an Asian businessman or something. Anna shows that's... up and tells me it's time to meet my fate. So now I have to battle her for the throne of Tamarin, <laughs> wherever that is. And since I'm not my mother, what oh, happens next dear is God. Be totally messed that up. You totally messed up. Uh, I, I got it. Totally messed up. Starfire. God. The art is so bad. It's yeah, so what fucking the fuck? terrible. Tumblr everything, ass shit. Everything about this is terrible. Uh, everything. Like, the, 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 oh, my God. The Yoshi. Whoa. Yoshi. 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 Uh, I, they might put him on Seppuku Watch. This is really, like, this art is really <laughs> fucking bad. <laughs> Seppuku Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna kill me that joke. That's gonna kill me. <laughs> Unfortunately, right. I stayed too shit. long in the trailer. He's itself. on Super Cool yeah. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> keep all yeah, yo, 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 away yo, from yo, him. Keep, keep, keep all tantals away from him, quick. Don't you just seriously wish you could question people who make decisions? Like, how did this get through? Um. Yeah. Because they're no petrified sense. of the Whisper Network, because uh, they hire purely based on box ticking, because they don't, they don't give a money. shit about their... Uh, uh, well, they do need money. They're DC oh, they DC desperately, need. Well, no, desperately no, no, no. need money. Uh, but they don't give a shit about their core demographic. They haven't for 10 years, so fuck them. If I was at DC, I would be more afraid of the goddamn Japanese and AT&T selling us ver rather than the Whisper Network. <laughs> the good yeah, Lord. Well, they attacked, is it they've attacked Scott Snyder and he's the only, he's one of the few people actually bringing money into DC but, you know it's just an industry full of absolute fucking disgusting filth, that's what it is and until they clean it out, you're fucked mate. There's your it's uh, gonna like it, It's not, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. I mean, no. They're, they're so, they're so fucking deep <laughs> into this shit, like it, and they keep getting deeper like yeah. this right here, like they just keep digging themselves into this deep ass hole Mm -hmm. Why it's does Christian Slater look like an old woman? <laughs> why is it? Why is Christian Slater just turned into an old dear, an old lesbian <laughs> woman? Why, why, I don't even remember what Christian Slater looks like. Well, he's Let's there. Look, it. he's on the Doctor Death no, no, poster. No, look, he's look, he's the one on the right hand no, no, side. No. He just looks like some. No, look at no, Alec that's Baldwin's the guy. Duck lips. Yeah, look at Alec Baldwin's Baldwin's now. Lip. Look at those fucking <laughs> duck lips, man. He's look at those lips. <laughs> That's not the guy who plays Donald Trump on SNL? Yeah. That's, he's he's yeah. going to kiss yeah. anyone apart from Donald Trump. Dude, that is blue <laughs> steel right there, man. Let's give him... <laughs> that in. 
Jesus Christ. Oh, wait. If, if, if Alec Baldwin's God. blue. Yeah. Yeah, the guy Alec, yeah it's yeah. Christian Slater. Oh, my dr- God. He does look like an 80-year-old lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, he didn't even register on my radar. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like his jaw, like his mouth. It looks like he doesn't have teeth or something. I'm fighting yeah. with Christian Slater to do fucking VPN ads. That son of a bitch can go fuck himself. <laughs> you had your time to shine, Christian. Leave me the VPN money, you son of a bitch. Now, hey. Nordic VPN is mine, Gundam. It's mine. Is it? Oh, what do you, you? He got the bang hot chicks in the San Fernando Valleys. Now we're dueling. I'm gonna do surf shark as well if you're not careful, you little shit. I got one of those. I will v- say, I got one of those it, VPN it, Chris, ads. Christian Slater's doing better than Freddie Prince Jr. these days. I will say that much. <laughs> that is true. Oh, oh man, Freddie, Freddie Prince. Prince. Jeez. Jesus Christ, <laughs> dude, bro, dude, dude. Bro. bro, bro. I like no everything about the force. Bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Hey, Frank Darenbaugh, oh, Frank Darenbaugh uh, sued, uh, got, got some money from uh, Walking Dead there. That that lawsuit started when I started my fucking podcast in 2014 uh, or 15. It was 14 or 15 when it started. We have an efficient justice Nine system. figure settlement. Nine figure settlement. Um, Woo! Man, that's good. Solid. Yeah, good for him. Good. Christian Slater looks like he has cancer in his face. <laughs> 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 Can we say that too? Yeah, he's, he's called Doctor right, yeah. Death, so uh, makes sense. Yeah. I mean, he's in better shape than I am, but my God, when you look that just old and decrepit, you're supposed to be young and hip. See, see, this is what happens when the ad is more exciting than your article. But the, here is the editor for DC Comics. So this is the person that is responsible for I Am Starfire. I am not surprised at all. Uh, yeah, maybe. that definitely reads that. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't she from Young Adult Shit? I, no, the, the, there was two female editors, and then the Young Adult one got fired. Uh, no, she, Marie has a comic book background. So... Um, she, uh, but still not a very good one, obviously. And she's just doing whatever Warner Brothers tells her to do. Uh, they have no direction over there. They're fucked. Uh, my my old comic shop is shutting down. So I talked about it earlier in the week. And uh, Brian Hibbs put up something. I know a lot of people don't like him, and he's earned that. Uh, put up a pretty interesting article that we're going to go over in a little bit on Comics Beat, basically saying that the American. Uh, periodical is no longer worth the time nor profitable. Uh, I know there's a lot of people on uh, Twitter saying that the comic industry is doing great right now, but uh, no, no. You have one a, a prominent comic shop owner saying uh, floppies aren't even worth the time. I mean, their floppies aren't worth the time anyway. But, uh, the comic book floppy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get to a couple of questions first. Before we you know go. what's sad, honestly? Japanese women come up with these amazing mangas like fucking Full Metal Alchemist. And here in America, we get this lady who gives us Starfire. Uh-huh. We're right. fucking toast. Right. We're done. Yeah. It's over. No, you could toss a freaking rock up at the air and you'll hit somebody with more talent in Japan than here. Uh, oh, they yeah, pack totally. pretty tight. So the- they are. Well, th- this shit is designed to go up in Barnes & Noble like next yeah. to the fucking stacks and stacks and stacks of manga that are going to be constantly moving. Uh-huh. But this is going to sit there in the young adult section it's right by s- there. And it's going to slowly just gonna like you just have a shot on it where it's like a sped up time lapse of where it's just getting dustier and dustier and there's spiders <laughs> and just wasting away while the manga is just flying off the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I want to do a remake of the time machine. HT Wells yeah, is the time just machine. Like building and up in a bookshop. And all the manga's just vanishing off the shelves. People have and then laser guns and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Background and just sitting there. I uh, have been here for thousands of years. I see the this age. Is a relic. Of, <laughs> yeah, the twenty twenty oh, era. The books are just vanishing, <laughs> just filling and vanishing, filling and vanishing, and then the same comics for the DC. I, I also Marvel. for later on. I also have uh, an MP3 from Mr. Dan Vask that I'll play a little bit of. I don't know hey if you want to, but I'm going to. That son of a bitch. <laughs> yes. It might be a Friday Night Tights theme. That's what it might be. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, hang on. Yeah. We got uh, Kyle Gardner for $50. It says, hey, Friday Night Tights crew in Gundam. What are your okay, thoughts wait, wait. on the Black Adam movie featuring Dwayne The Rock Johnson? It sounds like it could be really good, and I hope it won't be woke. I'm not going to lie to you. 
I couldn't give a flying fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I am so tired of The Rock. It's not even funny. <laughs> it's like they put that motherfucker in everything. And at this point, I'm burnt out. Between The Rock and Ryan Reynolds, like two <laughs> assholes I've seen too fucking much of. That's just on a personal level. Uh, Black Adam, don't care. Suck my dick. Shazam. The same goes to him, too. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Maybe I'm just bitter. I lost money on the McGregor fight. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I I kind of mirror what what Gundam said. I just yeah. I don't even care. I it's I mean the Rock the Rock is woke. I don't know if his movies will be woke, but he is definitely woke, and he's proven that. Um, but I have no faith in anything Hollywood's producing, as I've said yeah. many times. So I, I, I would assume it will be woke in some capacity. I mean, even with the Black Widow, a lot of people said, oh, it's just boring. It's not woke. It was woke. Even Kevin oh, yeah. Feige even said, like, oh, we can't have male Avenger characters in it yeah. because she can't rely on them. She doesn't need the boys. The best it, part about Black Widow is nothing hurts her. No. She gets thrown yeah. out a window, punched in the face ten times. Bust flawless. her own face on a desk. That, that, that's the yeah. thing. This dumb bitch would actually survive that fallen end game. Yes, if, absolutely. If this black yeah. 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 This black yeah. Yeah. Got that's a great out. point. Yeah. He, he's got a point. <laughs> yeah, he does. She would have that... hit a branch, hit a branch, yeah. and been she, fine at the bottom. She fell far little scratch from the sky base, and she opened a chute ten feet above the fucking ground at the end, and just rolled. Yeah. I don't think she had a scratch on her face. That's because yeah. she has animantium. Hey, it looked oh. like she kind of slightly limped for one step. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that, that that one, like, at least you'd be like, oh, well, they opened the chute, you whatever. But when she fell from that building, she fell like five stories and just like hit shit on the way down. Yeah. Was yeah. Fun. Landed on her feet. That's like, why they yeah. got her ass kicked feet. by Taskmaster. It got, got her ass kicked by a bunch of black widows. Kicked her own ass on a desk. Flew out of my building, own ass. Fought, fought people and hit shit on the way down. Cr cracked her ass on the ground, ten feet from the ground. She looked totally fine. She has like a little bit of a scratch and a little bit of blood yep. on here. No, she just She's, looked a little. Old. That's a superpower. Man, that's a superpower. Well, I but, flipped but that's, a race that's how... bike, rolled oh, into ahead. a tree, and I was <laughs> laid out for days later, wrapped like a mummy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is how they superhuman. This is how the wokeness can retroactively like that moment in game was actually pretty powerful to me at, in that moment. Now I look back on it and I'm like, well, it's stupid. Like she should have easily after everything you've done now, she, Wait, uh, she should have easily Jeremy, survived that. Loki's stupid now. Thanos is stupid. The Avengers, what a yeah. giant waste of time. All they had to do was sit Loki down and have a talk with him. He'd been crying in fucking five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm a sad little boy on the inside. Sad, scared little uh, boy. And there's a you can't say that, that about Loki. Around. He's bisexual now, you bigots. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, right. exactly. got species. Forgive me. Yep. That yep. really came into play in the series, didn't it? It really did. So <laughs> relevant. When so he, relevant. I'm glad she put that in there, you know. No, nah, I was about to go somewhere. It was her it's my goal. It was my <laughs> goal for the series. Was was your goal to make a good show? No, no, no. Now it's about that representation. Well, it's just like I think we're at a point now with the MCU where I kind of just Again, even the Disney Star Wars has ruined old school Star Wars for me in a lot of ways. But I, I kind of just with the MCU now, it's like I don't even acknowledge what they're doing at this well, point. Dude, yeah. we're in a phase right now that reminds me of The Force Awakens. So, I mean, a lot of people in the chat, they understand. But there, there is a lot of resistance to, like, to Loki. I don't know if it's that or bots, but, uh, you know, I haven't – I'm still doing my Loki review, so I haven't watched Drinker's video yet. But I went – I was talking to Drinker yesterday – I've never seen Drinker get that many downvotes on a video ever. No. And I am like, what the hell? I mean, like, I, I and I don't know anybody who's, like, loved Loki. Some people have said it's okay, uh, but I haven't seen a lot of people. But maybe they're just not in my sphere, so I don't know if it's bots or something. Yeah, they're not in your sphere. A lot of my normie yeah. friends, mm -hmm. they like Loki a lot. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't know what if, it, if it's, it's just from, like, love of the Loki. character. It, it it's a little split from what I've seen. Like there's some yeah. people that really, really like it. And there's some people that fucking despise it. I haven't seen too many people in the middle. I've um, only seen drunkard despise it. And you guys, you like, go. I guess I'm still young and hip, baby. Yeah, you are. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, I'm I mean, in I touch got, yeah. with the Zoomers. <laughs> I, I know what, I, there's a lot. There's people that are saying, and I've, I haven't seen all of Loki. I didn't watch the finale. I've watched a few episodes. They bored me out of my mind, but 
for people like, and again, I haven't seen all of it, but people are like, oh, it's it's not woke. It's just boring or, or they, okay. Well, like they, okay, they are, same, they have really same. stripped him of his masculinity. Yeah. Uh, okay. To say <laughs> it's okay. For one, let's, let's parse woke from intersectional feminism, me two times mm. up bullshit because no Loki and black widow were not woke. They didn't have like CRT. They never like Falcon winter soldier was woke. Uh, yeah. Black Widow, Loki are equally MCU, equally filled with intersectional feminism. They made decisions prior to writing the story that diverted their character from his norm based on agenda. So yeah. it's not necessarily what they did to the character. It's why they did it to the character. Uh, that's what we're fighting. There we go. It wasn't woke. I, I saw somebody say, no, you're right. It's not woke. It's filled with intersectional feminism, but it's not woke. Uh, he was falling around a woman who was born thousands of years before him, who was much better in the original Loki, but it's not woke. You're absolutely right. Uh, Athenon for one hundred dollars. Get you in just a second, Ryan. Hey. All hail for the tights up? and a special hail to Papa Gundam. Love all your content and wish you well. Why? Thank you, Athenon. We appreciate that. Uh, that money is going yeah. to the McGregor Loss Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's just going to put it on him again in a year from now. Yeah. 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 He's going to break his other fucking leg. Oh. The fucking comeback of the century. He's going to break his fist. <laughs> Irish boy on a comeback. <laughs> he's $2,000. His, his, new, his new leg's unbreakable, they told him. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, there you go. He just needs to drink more. Yeah. What were you going to say, Ryan? Um, I, I was going to say with... They have so many excuses with this whole multiverse bullshit, specifically in the Loki show. So, like, Kang, like, I, I hated the depiction of that character, like, the, the way that he interacted, his 10 minute soliloquy, where it's like just the generic, hey, Marvel, just be as charismatic as you can. And that's what we'll have every character be. But then people are going to be like, well, that's not Kang the Conqueror. That's he or he who remains. That's this version of Kang. So they have all these outs that they can use with the multiverse to kind of deflect criticism. You've already seen a yeah. lot of that shit happening. So that's like, what I do whenever I come well, to a movie to watch, uh, you know, is to watch not the character I came to watch yeah. the movie or show for. To hear the show. I want some obvious, like other one. To hear from the a different universe. universe make excuses. Like, oh, it made more sense to use the Taskmaster. That wasn't King the Conqueror. That's why we didn't use his name. Uh, you can't deflect from the criticism yeah. that you, we had three people sitting at a desk for 30 minutes. Fucking no. talking. In the finale, right? In the finale. Finale. In the finale. The fucking alley. Uh, there was a fight, though. There was an unnecessary fight between the two Lokis. <laughs> uh, thank goodness. It lasted 30 seconds. Uh, yeah. that is, that, that's stop, about as long stop. as Tom Hill. I just long. want you to be okay because think, it's all about you. As do you think it was supposed to be a sex scene that they changed into a fighting scene? <laughs> <laughs> mm. We ain't is gonna see one? no sex from Marvel, dude. No. How did how did she not chop his fucking head off? You don't that's see blood from Marvel. No, man. you don't, dude. In, in Black Widow, somebody this woman gets cut across her stomach, dude. Her freaking guts should have just poured out. Oh, uh, yeah. But no, not, not even a drop of blood came out. Can't wait for Blade. Yeah, that's going to be great. Yeah, it's going right? to be so you mean good. PG-13 Blade. Yeah, baby. That shit. Yeah. Is, isn't it supposed to be PG-13 Mus yeah. Muslim yeah. Blade? <laughs> Muslim Blade? The, 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 yeah. next blood, the next blood we're going to see in a Marvel movie is fucking period blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't even fucking lying. You guys know it's true. And it'll be Brie Larson's. Yeah. Uh, if we survive so. the show, I'll be <laughs> shocked. I'm going to be there in a minute, but first I have to change my tampon. All the women in the audience get up. Ah! <laughs> ah! Stunning and brave! X-ray girl is my barometer of how well a joke has gone over or how far <laughs> over the edge you've gone. <laughs> I was I like, we're safe. Decisions. We're safe. <laughs> The more uh -oh. she scrunches her face, the better it is. <laughs> well, I, well, I, I was actually going to say, usually the more really white that you see of her eyes, that, that's usually when it's a little oh shocking. God, <laughs> yeah, shocking, <laughs> disappointing. If she laughs, we're fucked up. Okay, that's the barometer. Uh, Ryan is not nerdrotic for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Whoa. I can't believe that genetic uh, distortion with the purple hair is the offspring of Starfire and Dick Grayson. Ryan is a mix of Gary and Jeremy, and look at the angry freak of genetic bad luck he is. 
<laughs> I don't wow. know. You guys are so harsh. <laughs> My baby boy is talking about. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was savage. That was savage. Thank you. R- Ryan hey, lives up to his reputation. Because yeah. yes. he does. He lives up to his reputation. Because uh, as... As I as I complimented him on his record breaking video, he then followed up with probably the worst video we've had in about six months on the view. Yeah, it was like it was like all right, another Conor McGregor video. Let's try it. Nobody gives a fuck about that. No, one. <laughs> fuck all you motherfuckers. <laughs> See, you need to do a video talking about the money you lost on McGregor with yeah. you crying in the thumbnail. Yeah. Then you might have got some views. Mm. Yeah, you know the sad face. I can't afford my hooker in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, just get LeBron crying, put it on the fucking on the thumbnail. Yeah. I'm actually so it's actually gonna be a picture of McGregor's broken leg. It's gonna be a pile of money burning. It's gonna say please help, and it's just gonna be a picture of Jeremy from the quartering in the, in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna add an emotional shot. Like, my channel is dying, please help. No, wait, I, yeah, I, I hope I hope I made your sub today. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> I don't I even you. remember to love do you, the Jeremy. call out. <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out to quartering. Shout out to of the quartering. We love the quartering. Yeah. We love the quartering. <laughs> my channel That's how is I under know attack. my content is garbage. I don't even bother asking for any of that. The video's <laughs> over. It doesn't have a like it end. It just ends it's abruptly. Like, done. <laughs> like, it's it's not just reach a point. Fuck it. Render. <laughs> No, that's the, that's the way it is now. Like, there was a time where it was like, I know I put a lot of work into this one. There's a chance this one could take off, but now it's just, I, you know, I know what it, where it's going to max out. I know when they're going to put the kibosh on it. And any video now that's over 24 hours old, it just, phew, they put a kibosh dead. on it. It's yeah. dead. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, I, like, figured out the move to make was the shift to TikTok content. YouTube did not see it coming. First video, damn near a million views. They fixed that shit three weeks later. I'm like, oh, no. I was going to do clean content. (laughs) (laughs) I was this close. They're like, he's making back his money on McGregor. (laughs) Yeah, that survey was pretty weird that they put out. I don't know if anybody took it. Uh, I, I know I took one of them and said I was LGBTQ. Yeah. Plus. No, I got a survey so. two days ago that I that I did, and I uh, I think I put I was Asian and uh, non-binary. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, your channel boosted. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, there's a there's a survey that just that I got, and they were asking me like, how do I like YouTube? How long? Do, do, what do I like about it? And uh, do how I, do you feel about the Communist Party, comrade? <laughs> it was close. It was like, close. No, they asked me. Uh, if I was going to go to TikTok. Oh. Yeah. Oh. They, 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 the hmm. question is, do you plan on going to any other platforms within the six months? Do you plan on leaving YouTube uh, within the next six months? So, the, And TikTok was on that survey. They are. Uh, they didn't put Odyssey on there. Odyssey wasn't on there. Mm. Odyssey ain't a threat. I think YouTube's no, a little not. scared of the TikTok? YouTube's See, this is how the out of touch Short the people who run YouTube are. They're so fucking far gone that they're huffing their own farts like a girl starting out her e-girl career. Personal stuff. Anyway, like what's <laughs> killing YouTube with TikTok is the fact you can do shit. Yeah. You can do more on TikTok. I saw a dude do a suicide joke on TikTok jumping off a building. Totally cool. I can't make suicide jokes on YouTube now. No. Not only no. does the video get flagged for harm and endangerment, but they also send me an email afterwards talking to me about now I need to call this number if I feel suicidal. And I can't reply and say, you were pushing me to it. <laughs> <laughs> Reason, you. And, and that's that's the thing. TikTok is so much more, even though it's been around for a while, it's so much more in its infancy than YouTube is now. YouTube used to be like, uh, uh, Young Ripley did a video today talking about some of the bullshit that's come out from the WHO recently. And he talked about how YouTube you like what grew youtube in the beginning was weird shit conspiracy theory stuff like all this stuff that was allowed on youtube now it's been around so long and now it's becoming so corporate that Mm -hmm. corporate overlords have changed everything tiktok is still in its infancy kind of and Mm -hmm. although it might be easier to get a million views you're also getting paid like point zero 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 one three cents per view right yeah and the the china regime is like your information your information yep 
it, so. exactly so it's you know it's it's just different and they're it's more the wild west right now ironically mm-hmm. comics no, back the you. wild wild uh far east i suppose yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do crack down just keep on going some, like You'll social and political shit but not to the level that youtube does yeah. yeah what's up comics oh it's been an interesting week buddy <laughs> how are you doing how's that no, it's just stuff I can't talk about on YouTube. Oh, well, then why did I you know the feel oh, oh, we'll, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, TikTok, uh, CCP, man. I wouldn't trust that shit with my information. No, so. fuck no. no well, they got mine because I was trying to post puppet videos, you know, because <laughs> YouTube flags every bil- Billy video I make now. Damn it. We love oh, Billy. Yeah. Somebody I replied Billy like, free. They're like, uh, could you, you could repeal this. And I'm like, you have to understand that Billy is a satirical character that's a play on the current state of the social <laughs> economic course of the young male in America and how our <laughs> hero characters are being, you know, vilified and thus making it harder for young men to find some sort of strength or pride in themselves. Thus, they regress within themselves to platforms such as Twitch to interact with a female by exchanging currency for a little bit of attention, which is just so vastly needed in the young manosphere <laughs> and the character is based on that and yeah of course they didn't take my repeal it was kind of like, like did not you it's a masturbating <laughs> puppet you asshole <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious oh, man. there are some very good memes that i wish i could share <laughs> one in particular well uh, we can see them but the chat can't right yeah i'm gonna, oh, yeah. I'm gonna try to Oh, well, I'll, I'll share. Nerd Roddick is trying to avoid those copyright strikes like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> I got a copyright claim on my fucking square up today. You believe that shit? Damn what? what? Yes, like motherfucker. Tired of that shit. I've had YouTube copyright my own music that I own the rights to. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus wow. fuck. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, I'll read a super chat while I'm looking for this uh, meme that I can't share with anybody but the private chat, but uh, it's good. Uh, So we got uh, $50 from Not Another Dime. Thank you very much. (laughs) Gary, thanks for having It's a Gundam on Friday Night Tights. I am sorry it took so long to get him back, Uh, but I'm glad uh, Gundam. Yeah, I figured I was banned. Uh, no, Never. no. I was Never. like, maybe like uh, the shit I said about Brie Larson's family really got nerd in a hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Ryan no. and Naz on a regular basis, and I'm. Th- I mean, like, it's uh, it's all right. It's good. Uh, I'll share this one. Screw it. Uh, Mama Susan, kiss my ass. Uh oh. I, mean, I don't Uh-oh. know. If gonna, I wasn't here. I don't know if you're gonna like this one, Gundam, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like this. Hey, here we go. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, no. I saw that one. That's awesome. I like British no. flag. This guy's banned whoever made it. That's uh, the first thing going. <laughs> it's it's a sock she... account, don't worry. I didn't know she was British. I, I see wow. how Gary Punk. will not scroll up any further. Not, yeah. I know what's up there. Yeah, no, 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 it could have no, at least put no, down a fucking no, man's no. body. Look at that hair. That's a woman's hair. Like, for God's sakes, you couldn't find some dude in a gimp mask getting the shit beat out of him? Yeah, come on. Like, afford me a shred of masculinity? Yeah, the, the, the one above that from Joe, uh, I even told Joe, like, like thanks. I, there's no way I can show this. But I love that one. I do, too. I just can't. There's no way. Because it's what's her name, right? So, like, if it's you. Pokey, yeah. Yeah, Pokey. Oh, she's got all the oh that one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this Pokemon. I need you to understand that. <laughs> you two, you, I swear to God, there was a moment in time you two could have fell in love. I really do. Just never happened, man. Speaking of- I agree. Like, uh, I think I've got that bad boy image. Who's worse than yeah. me on social media right now? So somebody tagged me. Maybe us. this. Uh- I don't know. If, should I? Should I play this? Yeah. Uh oh. What are we playing? Let me see. Uh, I don't know. My curiosity <laughs> could, be, could be bad. It could be good. Uh, everything's bad these days. Yeah. Oh, no, not this again. Oh, no. oh yes. <clears throat> I was hoping Fuck. for a pokey meme. <laughs> cool. He, him, lesbian? No, there's, there's no, no. Cool. Now the LGBTQ confuses itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> 
What is on the hands there? Are those bandages? I was confused about that too, uh, but I figured it would be toxic to ask in this day and age. This person's think, very like, they're, don't they're notice too, the, the bandages on my wrist. I think wrist they're too have. fucking retarded to actually cut the wrists. I think <laughs> it could be a web shooter classic. Yeah, design. yeah. Oh, it could be. So it looks like web shooters from Spider Man. Please explain it to me so I can like understand. Hello, my name's Phoebe. I use they, them pronouns primarily, and he, him. So You're still a woman. So, I can say us. anything I want here because uh, it's not Phoebe. my channel. Pronouns are not equal gender, and that's like the whole. You're still a woman. Oh, Both the women. best part in this video is she talks about being a lesbian while also being he, him. So it makes absolutely no motherfucking sense. <laughs> nope. The I, poor I thing you. doesn't know who she is. I'm a lesbian. I don't get it. Can someone please explain it to me so I can, like, understand? Hello, my name's Phoebe. I use they, them pronouns primarily, and he, him is sort of like a secondary pronoun, and I'm a lesbian, so somebody tagged me in this. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> I love how pronouns are like your majors and your minors in college. Yeah, yeah. So you can change them at any point during the semester. <laughs> <laughs> While the first quarter was they, them, may we, and oh, lesbian, shit. lesbian, be, but this season I'm feeling he, him, queen. You know, I talked to my advisor, and we both agreed that they, them, would be a much better course for me to take this year. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Well, you can I'm dabbling in it. But I want it to be a he, him, lesbian, because I'm desperate for attention and abuse online, so I can play self. both. Seriously. And that's, like, the whole thesis statement and the answer to your question, basically. Like, the whole thesis statement and the answer to your, oh, your question. That's not basically. thesis statement. How's no your man with in your the women would wear that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to reckon in the toilet. Odin, yeah. Jesus. Deeper into that, though. Um, lots of lesbians have complicated relationships with gender for all kinds of various reasons. Lesbian. Yeah, yes. Also Usually out. abusive. Probably that is a lot correct. Of other issues in their life, too. Yeah. Well, every gay pride I've ever been at, the lesbians always look like they're pissed off. But I got to tell you, the gay men are having a blast. And that's because they don't hate women. They look like they're having fun. They look like they are having fun. a fucking ball. I'm like, <laughs> this is fun. And then I see the angry lesbian. The, yeah, their float is a U-Haul. So. <laughs> it's got like some lumber and they're on moving, it. They're already moving out from their partner's house. <laughs> <laughs> they're building a staircase on it. Uh, and are not attracted to men. Uh, like, have a really weird experience in patriarchal society and like the male oh, yeah. and like all of what? these things. So uh -huh. it's very common to feel like incredibly disconnected from womanhood as a concept. Anyone? Mm -hmm. Yes, because you're a woman, you are a yeah. female, but you don't identify with traditional roles. That is fine. Does not make you a man. Does not yeah. make you a he him. You are still a biological woman. Well, she's saying that lesbians are having a very tough time in a patriarchal society. Mm. I don't know oh, how. Fucking hell. As I could tell you, every time now, I've ever been robbed screaming for help, no one came to save me. Yeah. But if you like trip or bitch, people run over to help her. Now, if this is a spectrum, though, how can we how can we know we're in a patriarchal society if gender is fluid? Oh, God damn it. Who told you to My make brain hurts, sense? <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> simple answer is just say they, them, and it shuts them up. Mm. See, you use logic. Say fucking you. you. You know, <laughs> it's still patriarchal what you've just done. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like your patriarch didn't pay attention to you. Who uh, is uh. attracted to non-men if they so choose and feel comfortable doing so uh can identify as a lesbian and that's like a lot of people i just i am so glad what? this 18 what the fuck has what that's hard i know you gotta play that again I, I, yeah i don't know so non-male so what if it's um someone who identifies as a woman with a penis would she still go out with is them she in her parents house whatever? right now she's in her parents Probably. house that ain't her house. yeah yeah like, technically, technically, i feel there. like i identify yeah. as a vulcan so where do i stand there yeah. Like a foul mouth Vulcan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this is obviously her or his, whichever he decides right now, uh, mother's house. Like, look at that old ass fucking stool. You That's know what I mean? Point. It's obviously an old person's yeah. fucking place. And let's be real, there's no way this person has a job that could sustain them to have their own place. <laughs> yeah, considering they look like they're 12 house. years old. I mean, what the hell? What? Grandma's this, this house. This person looks like they're 12. You could do it now. TikTok. We're being all labeled as. Yeah, ages. Ages. Is totally. Gundam, you could do a TikTok when you're going through Ponfar. Like, if you, I identify as a Vulcan, <laughs> I'm going through Ponfar right now. 
Get him on to work with that. Yeah. My seven year struggle. Yes. Anyone who is a non man who who is okay. attracted to non men. Women. What? <laughs> what do you mean? So what if you're a woman and you're attracted to women, okay, I'm googling it. There is a terminology. So you're a attracted to non-women is insane. <laughs> okay, no, if you're a non-man attracted to non-man, non-man, no, woman attracted to women, exactly. So if you're a woman attracted to a woman, you're, you're a lesbian. Why do you have to complicate this shit? Stop. <laughs> What? It's uh, not complicated. I found the not. PDF. It's four pages. Read it. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> do it like a oh it's my easy. god! Just do drugs like normal kids, okay? Please. Yeah. Man, that, yeah. I I wish. Wish. Hey, Aaron, what, what is a drug? What are you talking about? California. Oh my god. Drop out of college, get a real job, and wake the hell up. Oh, well, Meanwhile, this is a, in ten this, years, this is a, we'll be invaded by Russia, and we'll be all speaking Russian soon. Yeah. So, or Chinese. I can't. Oh, it'll be, I China. It'll be China, dude. It'll be China. She is going to. Y'all seen those uh, military videos around, right? Like the ones where, like, they're very like masculine from like China yeah. and masculine yeah. from Russia, and then mm -hmm. the United States. Yeah, it's yeah. like we showed them oh, on the show. My, my two moms. <laughs> my two moms. We, we've, we've, <laughs> yeah. We've, Christ. At actually, this point, I think I welcome a Russian invasion. Odin. Has his laugh yeah. because he knows Ooh. we're on the brink of destruction. Yeah, yeah we're on the brink <laughs> of destruction. Exactly. 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 Uh, Odin, we've and actually... Nobody's going to do anything to stop it. They're just going to let them walk in. Uh, take Odin, everything. Did y'all actually... play that when I wasn't here? Yeah, we play, played yeah, it on yeah. the show. <laughs> uh, so, no, I can't wait for her to wake up, and she is going to marry a dude. She is a lesbian until graduation, a lug. As soon as she gets old enough, she's, she needs a man. I can tell it right there. She's going to grow up. I've had two, two lesbian kids. friends that then became heterosexual. So have I. Yeah, well, they it actually found someone that wanted to fuck them, right? I, uh, and it's like weird. Because yeah. like you're sitting there because one of them was a stripper. Her name was Hex. And one day I'm like, oh, what's going on, Hex? She's like, well, I'm in a relationship with a guy. And I'm like, uh, you've been gay forever. I'm confused. And then she goes, I just got tired of the bullshit. Mm -hmm. And at that point, mm -hmm. I had no rebuttal. I was just genuinely like, I get it. Okay. My ex-girlfriend yeah. makes me want to die. Maybe I should go see what's going on in the gay clubs. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the gay people do look very happy. That's why they're gay. If they yeah. so choose and feel comfortable doing so, uh, can identify as a lesbian. And that's like a lot of people. I just... Yeah, really? women. Well, well I, I imagine it's a lot of people for this circle that you probably, you know, socialize in. So many people. Mm. I identify as a male lesbian. You realize that her logic is uh, that's so what she women, identifies as. So many women who I'm, like women are <clears throat> lesbian. That that was her logic. That's crazy. That's mental. What? Mind blown. Worker and say that you Mind didn't understand blown. the vibe. Um, you didn't mean to hurt their feelings. Okay, so what? To non men, if they so choose and feel comfortable doing so, uh, can identify as a lesbian, and that's like a lot of people. I would just suggest that you apologize to your coworker and say that you didn't understand the vibe. Uh, oh, yeah. No. How about, how about you the shut up? The GNC up. shit. The vibe. <laughs> you you didn't understand the vibe. Fuck, I take back everything I said about millennials. I would <laughs> gladly welcome them back in open arms. <laughs> yeah, dude, Gen Z is it's almost worse. It is I have them bring the so hipsters. Technically a millennial. We'll drink PVR and we'll take photos for Instagram. Take me back, Clarence. <laughs> Do it for the gram, man. <laughs> wow, oh my God! What the? What was that? It was, it was somebody who is what it is. Tiptoeing around the subject and just saying women that like women are lesbians. Uh, it, it's it's this oh. idea that it, we used to say like fucking twenty years ago, fifteen years ago. It's okay if you're not normal, right? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Then everyone went out of their way to be as far from normal as possible. They didn't want to be like anyone else in any way, shape, or form. They wanted to be an individual to the extent that now we that has been promoted so much in society, I feel that we have this. People that have to go to these extremes to make sure you understand they are this thing and they're gonna let you know about it. I'm a pansexual yeah. that's only sexually attracted specifically to women. Women, um, only on Wednesdays. My, oh, yeah, well, uh, oh, on Wednesdays. Oh, so you're super straight. Tuesdays, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Mondays. Uh, and and uh, my gender pronouns are they queer self. So uh, every leap year, I would like you to only use those when you refer yeah. to me, or I will call the cops. I refer to myself as <laughs> wait, myself. wait, wait, wait. You'll call the cops. I will call the cops. 
Yeah, he could cops do that. Cops are bad. Cops are bad. Oh, no, yeah. Cops are yeah, good when you need them to help you. Uh, hashtag yeah. defund the police, dude. Hashtag, oh, my God. Uh, BLM. BLM. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm worried about the police hunting down one quarter of you. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy to say that until uh, that one quarter starts chasing you. <laughs> Have you ever had a quarter of your door call. knocked down as a... Cop Just the bottom half the quarter cell. Yeah. Well, did that, that quarter of you go into a like a news agent and try and rob it? Wait, yeah, what's the quarter All part the of you that I, have I to keep hit. myself from stopping? <laughs> Is it like an idle hand situation, like the film where you like it's just <laughs> your hand? It's not a hand. <laughs> uh, uh, quarter taking part of myself. Cash I can't register. Stop. Gary, I'm scared of my screen. We have a real, we have a real problem on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> Is this the it's same racist, yeah. Jeremy, 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 words are Jeremy, racist. <laughs> this Jeremy, is not satire, is it? Jeremy, is this the yeah. same Atlantic that said the Mandalorian could save Star Wars? The same Atlantic. <laughs> it probably okay. is. Yeah. It right. probably is. Yeah, so, so our popular puzzles are edited largely, by older white yeah, men. Or like edited by older white men who dictate <laughs> what makes it into the grid and what is kept. <laughs> oh my god. This is oh the my. nonsense. This is this is where we are. I mean, wow. these fucking people are crazy. They will never stop. They will never stop inventing new reasons to be offended. They will never stop calling things racist. Every time, how many times have we said this? And we're going to get to a point where they're going to call this racist. They're going to. Get, we have reached a point where puzzles are racist. The, the okay? knitting community, well, puzzles, it's, it's, crosswords are going after all my grandma's loves. <laughs> yeah, if you need proof that they're actually literally searching for things that are racist, here's your proof, folks. Yeah, yeah. it's just like yeah. what I, I say. A majority oh, of old white men. Okay, for if that's how we're doing it, majority. How about the NBA? Are we gonna say the NBA is racist now because of, of nope. players no. being of a, a hidden of a certain background? Atlante, what's, Atlante, what's stopping you from creating a crossword yourself? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you're a fucking magazine, right? White <laughs> privilege is what's stopping them. What are you talking about? Oh my god, you actually <laughs> want them to? You're, they're printing it on white paper. <laughs> the, the bigotry of printing on white backgrounds. Well, they can make the paper white. black. It's like the other day whenever yeah, the, but then the ink would be white. Yeah. It's, it's the other day oh, whenever uh, I made the joke about uh, the the lightning striking the George Floyd uh, mural or whatever, and I was like, uh -oh. uh, CNN reports that uh, the lightning was wearing a MAGA hat. You know, uh, <laughs> you be double demonetized. Yeah. I, 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 I tweet out. I tweet if we out. haven't been demonetized yet, there's no dude, way George Floyd got us. To that dude, point. I'm surprised so, I didn't say because of Trump's additions to climate change, that lightning struck the George Floyd. Yeah, yeah I said uh, I, I tweeted out defund the weather, and uh, and defund one of my favorite reality. replies Shit. was someone we... said all 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 clouds are bastards. That was my favorite. Hey, uh, I just want to report to everyone that we are indeed monetized still. Whoa. Hey, oh, there you go for now. Yeah. That's right. Oh, don't worry. When this we are not trying hard enough. <laughs> really are. <honestly. laughs> hey, it's because I hit three. Fit. By the way, you want to put uh, first uh, first word they could put in that crossover is tree fitty. Tree fitty. Tree fitty. Because I hit tree fitty. That's right. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Congrats, Gary. Thank you. Um, yeah, my favorite was uh, Lauren. Lauren Chin uh, commented in, on mine. And she says, "This is MAGA weather." <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my oh, god! This, this is unironically the Atlantic saying that black people don't understand words. Yep, like that's that, that's what the Atlantic is saying. Yep. So, so, so we just, the much. same way that they can't figure out how to get a fucking ID. Exactly. Right? Or, or use yeah. the internet. Or use yeah. the internet. Or, or how to make a Inkos. photocopy. You know, everything uh, is Welcome racist. to peacetime. Yes. Everything is homophobic. This is the, yep. the most peaceful time in human history. This is what you get. This you get articles you get. like this. No, okay. I say it's just America. America's too good. That's how it's great this good. country is. This yes. is America. Yeah, it, this it's is so the shit we're worried about. Someone as stupid as Jake Paul can become a millionaire. <laughs> and you're trying to tell me America yeah. is great. Everything's so good here. Somebody found time to be paid to write an article like this. Yep. <laughs> Do you think little children in Kabul, Afghanistan have time to worry about how possibly racist a crossword puzzle is? No, no nope. you got to kill your favorite goat so you can eat. <laughs> Yeah, they gotta they gotta burn the newspaper to survive the night. Yeah, if you found a newspaper, you hid it from your childhood friends because you knew the value in fire. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> but it's right to us. It's on oh, us today. Oh my god. Uh, it's all over. Mm-mm. I bet that person has never made a woman come in their lives. Just You're saying. Right. <laughs> I'm just going to throw it out there. Never, ever given a woman an orgasm, ever. Or if it's Not a even woman, a fake one. You've never had one. You can't give yourself one, and you've got no idea where your own clitoris is, okay? I think yeah. this is the type of you person that has a sexual sex for. <laughs> That's a winner. Yeah. That's a winner. That face there is a winner. <laughs> this is it. The more white you see of extra girl's ding, ding, eyes, ding, ding. the more she's appalled. Yeah. I think now the she's covering sex for him that did it. <laughs> I would uh, like to penetrate you now, my dear, tonight at around 8.45 oh. p.m. Do you agree to my list of kinks? I enjoy <laughs> spanking, adult play. <laughs> Adult Baby play. food. Puppets. <laughs> Our feet Puppets. on the table. <laughs> I would like to nibble your nose. Could you... You're, I can't. <laughs> Could you sign this in triplicate, please? Uh, and have your lawyer take a look at yeah. it. And we need yeah, a witness. We need well, an How are we doing now, Gary? How are we doing now? <laughs> See, you think it's funny, but there is a video consent that people are now doing for sex. So I have nothing for this. You can't make a joke of it. <clears throat> Still green. Still green. Well, that's David. <laughs> I'm promoting safe sex. We're on a right delay. Now. We're on a delay. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, sp- not that it matters. Sporking News Podcast. Susan's just waiting. For $50. Thank you, Scott. So, thank yes. you for slumming it with us on the dub. All on the panel have inspired us a lot to speak our minds, to fight back against these companies that hire for agenda and not for love of an IP. Uh, thank you again. I almost hit 1,500 subs on after the dump. Oh, that's great, Scott. Congratulations. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, well done. Thank you for the $50, my sober brother. It's a, it's a hard world to stay sober in. I tell you that right fucking now. Colt, especially these that. days, man. Yeah. I'm done with sober. <clears throat> I'm on drugs right now. Can I say that? <laughs> that's fine. No, that's fine. I, like, uh, I would not like to advocate for violence, sex, or drugs, but they've always worked for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it, Sp- Scott, Scott's a good dude. I give Scott a hard time a lot because he usually fucking deserves it. But uh, definitely <laughs> go, go check out Sporking News. Yep. For sure. And as far Absolutely. as Gundam's, uh, g- g- hey, personal decisions. I don't get involved. I'm always here for Gundam. Whether he's high or not, it's fine. Uh, I, I, yeah, like, you're ironic would mess, like, answer me anyway if I can't handle some real drug problems. <laughs> like, I uh, did a little speed, my guy. I'm losing it. I tried to level off of cocaine, but it's going bad real fast. <laughs> I'm spiraling. I'm spiraling. Smoke a he couple replied bowls. to me the next day to see if I was dead. <laughs> then smoke a couple <laughs> bowls. You should be just fine. We'll get through this together. So that's If you I, got a reply by the next day, you'd be doing a lot better than most people because yeah, uh, Gary usually doesn't respond within 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet. I'm a celebrity. Yeah. Right. I take it back. I didn't know I was on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got back to Gundam pretty quick. I actually uh, he dies. Yeah, I'm uh, like the type of guy that doesn't waste your time with bullshit, you know. Because I know some people like tweet you a whole bunch of stuff, thousands of messages. You're sitting there like, this isn't news. What the fuck is this? So whenever I talk to anybody on Twitter, like if it's nerd erotic, I wouldn't bother him unless it was like to be on Friday Night Tights. Or if I broke my arm on his front porch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and just see a text, my arm is limp. Just so you know, I'm suing you. <laughs> uh, yes. Those super chats are now, now mine. Yep. Yep. I, hey, uh, there was a scam going on, right? So in San Francisco, they put trees in the fucking sidewalk, and then they don't take care of them. And if somebody comes and fucking trips on that tree in front of your store, you can sue the store. Oh wow! Yeah, okay, and where are up. these stores? Uh, it's uh, th- these stores are in San Francisco. You just but the thing is, you have to avoid the poop. So I don't know. If Hold you, on, I got to get out my poop app. If, actually, wasn't, I'm wasn't glad you Jesse said that. Jackson's daughter doing that shit? Yep. She oh, didn't yeah. have people's like. Walk? Lawn or something? No, she was she. Uh, on people. She pretended like she got hurt when she tripped in front of a store and sued him. But then there's like a picture of her the next day standing up on a ladder, putting a star on a fucking tree and smiling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, she is Jesse Jackson's daughter. Yeah, Come on, yep. Grifter, yeah, yeah, Grifter, yeah. Grifter. Grifter. yeah. We we had an ADA scam here where the and uh, some lawyers would drive around and if your door wasn't wide enough for a wheelchair, so these lawyers would hire people in wheelchairs to go sue. 
businesses to, that weren't ADA compliant and they would shake them down. Well, they, they'd say, we're going to sue you unless you settle like with nine, nine, five to $9,000. This and is was, California? It was California. It was completely yeah. legal for, for years until they- That's uh, why everybody's fleeing like rats. It just gets worse and worse. Yep. Like oh, we're yeah. joking about a shit app in San Francisco, but that's real. It's real. Yeah, it's real. Can, imagine trying to explain that to someone in 1980. Like in the year 2020, <laughs> what are we going to have? We're not going to have flying cars, but uh, there's going to be this phone app that you can use to make sure you're not walking in homeless people's That's shit. Right. Hey, we did get a flying car. We finally got a flying car. Have you seen it? Have you guys seen if it? If I can't buy it and fly it, I don't give a fuck. I, I don't know. It'll count. I don't know if I can. I don't. Know if, I doubt any of us can afford it. Uh, but exactly, it, it, it it's cool. It's pretty damn cool. They float. Oh, I keep forgetting the country. It's some Czechoslovakia country. Oh, the, the worst Fox. place. Yeah. Uh, That's like right it, next to it, Russia, it, it's isn't like, it? It's actually a Hugo. Uh, so Is it? We'll see if I don't. I don't know. We'll see if it works. I share. When you think about my... how people can't drive, the idea of flying assholes frightens me to death. <laughs> <laughs> the, the idea of like traffic control, like how that would work. Air You're gonna be spaces. at the park with your kids yeah, having a no lunch way. and just be killed. Yeah. Imagine if what if you're a taxi your driver and you got some oh. fucking bint in the back going? If you identify as a female there and you're attracted to somebody. Driving. Who identifies as a female, seat. then you might be a lesbian. You know? I, no, you, I, I think you're flying trust, Uber. I don't trust <laughs> X ray girl driving, let alone flying a car uh -oh. over my flying house. A car. Ooh, <laughs> right? Just Watch saying. me. No, oh, no, thank you. No, thank Ryan, you. Wow. <laughs> From a He's safe distance, trying to get you and Ryan was never money. heard from again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know she's gonna be there in Vegas, so if uh, Ryan disappears, uh, we know uh, who's guilty. Oh, <laughs> look at this thing! I think you could have a man killed for ten G's in Vegas. Oh yeah, oh, oh, so easy. Five. I'd do it for less than that. Well, well we want somebody good. Wings. So this right, is, the, is the flying uh, car. He's gonna, oh, man, so he, oh I thought it was going to take up from the road. Yeah, of course, on, Scott. Wings. Fuck that. But they're retractable. Regulations, man. They're retractable, so they pull back it's into the It's barely car. a flying car. It's yeah. a plane with it's wheels. It's a plane with wheels. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a plane that kind of looks like They've been trying to do this shit for years, man. Each, each time a company does this, it's pretty much a scam <laughs> to raise money. I mean. Well, that was fucking negative, black poor boy. <laughs> Everything Everything said, hey, yeah, I tried to show one cool thing and then I fuck this fucking <laughs> assholes. You, you showed cars. it to you need to get a room of zoomers and they'd sit there and go, That's pretty tight. Can I do Leo, my TikTok I'm vibing from with it? this? Well, if it's a room full of zoomers that go typical, it's a white plane with a white man driving it. Mm -hmm. Wait, he's, yeah. he's gender fluid, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, then it's cool. Yeah, he's gynosexual. He's an individual who expresses <laughs> sexual attraction towards women and females and or femininity, regardless of whether they were assigned a female at birth. I'm reading this PDF to make sure that I am in compliance with everything coming on YouTube. <laughs> I, I, all, all I see when I look at this fucking car is just one more thing for Harrison Ford to crash. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, did you hear he's the test pilot? Pilot. Well, yeah. I was gonna say, don't you mean one more thing for him to die in? Because he's, he's well, well, this well, is what's well, gonna well, kill him. Harrison Fly Ford needs to hang that shit up. I'm Jones. Oh, is anybody seeing my bong? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be in this airplane. I'd be so worried that Harrison Ford would break his wrist on the bong. He might, or his <laughs> hip. He'd break his fucking hip on the bong. Like there every movie go. said yeah. he goes on, he breaks something now. It's yeah, like every dude, fucking time. It's it's time to let it go. All right. You didn't want to be Indiana Jones when you could have been Indiana Jones, you fucking prick. You just fuck off. Nobody wants Grandpa Indy uh, now. What the, is this the, shit? The director going after fucking fans on Twitter having a goddamn yep, yep. meltdown and then denying it ever happened. Did I, yeah. <laughs> no, what a bitch. Old James Mangold. Yeah, I wow. did not say that they lived in their basements. Somebody yeah, oh, really? did. Pretty, well, pretty, 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 pretty much sure exactly the receipts, what you man? said. Yeah, that, I'm pretty uh, sure that's exactly what you said. You know what? Don't go on Twitter high on fucking Xanax or opi opiates or whatever the fuck you were on. and write this down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After a 13 hour work. Take day. notes, Gundam. Take notes. Yeah. All men must die. <laughs> but. Yes. Hey, hey, Matthew Kadish got a blue check mark out of it. So. He uh, did? Uh, why would you won. want that? I don't know. I don't know why. Oh. Dude, he's been getting he like got it, but he got it's big harder, personalities it's, following it's him. It's harder now. to get taken off with it. That's for sure. I mean, Eric July, I still think he's suspended, but. 
it's harder to get taken down when you have it. I will say uh, that. Who cares? Yeah. I don't even want one. I'll fuck Twitter. Um, Twitter's a waste <laughs> of fucking time. I'm Absolutely. not gonna. I, I'm not gonna get one until it's <laughs> rainbow. Uh, it's not inclusive enough. It needs to be a rainbow check yeah. mark, please. <laughs> uh, let's see. We but you see, rainbows are, are also green. offensive because what about days when there's no rain? Still green. Still green. Uh, f- uh, now, Twitter's <laughs> a, I mean, like, yeah, Twitter for one. There's I, no black and brown I'll in the rainbow. just come out and say it. Without Perry, as- without Perry and As, it's not as fun. All right. We still got Jer- Jeremy. Are you on fucking Twitter or, or not? Eh, a little bit. A little not bit. much. Yeah. So. Yeah, Ryan was yelling at me the other day because I was like, I didn't hear about a news story. And I'm like, yeah. I, I haven't. He's like, like it's on Twitter. You, I'm like, I'm never fucking, on Twitter. Fucking Mel, it was just going crazy. Fucking Mel Gibson saluting President Trump at the UFC fight. And I was like, yeah, Jeremy, I was surprised you didn't make a video about that. He's like, what? It's like, it's because you're not on Twitter, you fucking loser. You didn't see all these pieces uh, of shit trying to cancel. That's what yeah. they meant by salute. I thought Mel Gibson said something about the Jews again to a cop. And then like, <laughs> know, right? salute, like the so did I. Not this I'm like, time. Did he drop some more anti-Semitic bombs yeah, that's he was drunk? Yeah, no, yeah. but he kind of did in their eyes because he saluted yeah. Trump. But that's the I same know, thing. I Mel know. Gibson is exactly <laughs> who we thought he now, was. People, he's clean. Mel okay. Gibson was so I much more Gibson. fun in the early 2000s. Oh, fuck he was yeah. saying stuff <laughs> about the Jews, getting drunk, and calling his like wife a greedy little money sucking <laughs> pig. Yeah, the girl, man girl. was on fire, dude. You yeah. suck my dick. I listen to those calls. Yeah, I deserve well. it. Uh, Check we, that monetization. As, now. Maybe we should listen yeah. to those calls later. Just to, you know, since we're green. I think, you know, it sounds yes. like we're getting away with everything today. Why not? But first, we need to read something from George Moilo. Moilo. Uh, George Moilo for uh, Moilo. $500. Moilo. Wow. $500, $500, George. Yay. Uh, let me do that again. Mark. <laughs> Excited to see George. Excited to see George. Uh, K, what's KF? Why am I missing KF? What's KF short for? I, I know what it could be. Kentucky Kill Fried. Boundary? Kentucky oh. Fried. I'm thinking. Of, I'm thinking of uh, of a, a website. But. Okay. What's this? What K, is it, dog? KF is now a cause. Oh, where's that mute button? With a camera. Uh, the agenda is all. Uh, he transform. Uh, he transformed Kevin from Feige. Kevin, Kevin Feige. Feige. Okay, thank uh. you. Kevin Feige is now a cause with a camera. The agenda is all. He transformed from MCU Titan into Glory Hole John, another Hollywood <laughs> prick, shoving his old thing through the hole happily, ho- hoping for any and all takers. So falls Captain America's home. Oh, uh, all hail Friday Night Tights, fighting villains. For fans from dusk till dawn. Thank you, George. Hell yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. I have so many acronyms to fucking keep track of. Sorry, George. Kevin Feige uh, is a fucking sellout, and he's just another douchey Hollywood producer. So he was playing the long game, and now he's uh, – I, I, I only half joke when I say he went to Bohemian Grove, did his little fucking thing for Moloch, uh, and now he's part of the club. He's part of that club. Yeah. He got skinny right around the time when he gets that Hollywood skinny. You know, when they start going on the juice diets or whatever. I Don't speculate too what, much yeah, in the comments. Those are. But you know uh, what I'm talking about, Alex Jones. There's a level of fame. Once you pass that level of fame, they start opening doors and, mm-hmm. and it's like sacrificing yeah. shit. And all, of a sudden, yeah, and all of a sudden you get like Hollywood skinny. Yeah. You, you get like a little skinny, yep. some yep. weird bags under your eyes. You start looking like the mayor of Chicago. And no, that's me. There Oof. you go. <laughs> Well, you I, did, yeah. Well, you, uh, you're trying to create edgy content on YouTube. That can that cannot be a fun thing these days uh, at all. Oh, but I when you're just it. trying to com- create something remotely funny and express the madness that we currently live yeah. in in a way that can be relatable to people who work real jobs. You know, when I get a message from a guy who goes, "Your videos keep me from driving my Amazon truck off a motherfucking bridge," <laughs> I am doing so much good. One, yes. he's not driving the truck off the bridge, so I've saved Jeff Bezos maybe like a few thousand dollars. And all those packages, not in the space. Yes, the packages yeah, for all the assholes who gave me. Yep. You know, I have by proxy helping that one man has made sure everyone got their day one prime that day. Damn straight. Fuck you, Susan. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Gundam is saving us all. He really is. 
Uh, I mean, I got, I, I, I got, I got a couple of, uh, I got a couple of uh, orders from Amazon the other day, and I want to personally thank Gundam uh, the, for for making that happen. So thank you. You know, you, when Papa you need Gundam. that lube in one day, man. Yeah. Um, yeah I pre- I no other shipping that. will yeah. do. Yeah, I appreciate that. So, so he's making the sacrifices so we don't have to. Sometimes you, you paid get, extra for that two hour. Right? Well, yeah. You sometimes it. you get yeah. that shit same you day. Get it. Same day, man. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, CC Thorn for fifty dollars. <laughs> says, hail, Friday Night Tights, and Az isn't here. Uh, uh, Az, <laughs> you look like Indy in the map room looking at the arc. Suggested to Jeremy on MK that we need Gundam and Rippa on together to deal a death blow God. to the blue-haired <laughs> land whales. Gary, working on the coffee mugs for you and DC. Love you guys. Why, thank you. I appreciate Hell yeah. it. Hell yeah. I Hell worry yeah. about doing a show with uh, Rippa because... Being around him, then like my ghetto side would come out, and when that comes <laughs> out, I say even worse shit. <laughs> like I just, I get yeah. raw real quick. You yeah. start talking this is like a clean o- version. You start talking like Obama when he goes in front of a bunch of black people. All of a sudden, <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden his voice changes. No, I start talking so like talking I'm to Ebonics. Shit. <laughs> I'm talking about semi-autos and body armor. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's uh, that dude. Imagining Rippa with Gundam on our Mario Kart streams would that would be crazy. So uh, maybe maybe one of these days we can set that up. So my Mario, the Mario Kart edit, which Ivan did a fantastic job, will be uploaded later tonight, right after Friday Night Tights over from Geeks and Gamers. So make sure you check that out. Uh, he did a, a great job, and you'll get to see Dan's fucking wins. Fuck Dan. I'm not even I don't like Dan anymore. I don't support him. He's practicing way too much. Yeah, what a bullshit. fucking try hard. <laughs> Everybody knows that being successful setup. is toxic. Yes. And if Dan is and white, racist. it's even worse. He's yeah. just influencing his patriarchal power over the rest of you. God, I hope so. <laughs> Tw- 21 Jump Street, one of the fucking most like true statements was when uh was when they meet in the parking lot and they're like, "What? You you don't care?" He's like, don't "Care? I don't I don't care about anything." Like I don't try about anything because he was trying to be cool, mm-hmm. and everyone like the the entire atmosphere of school has changed. That's who Dan is right now. Dan <laughs> is one of those little fucking twerps from Twenty One Jump Street who thinks it's cool to care about the environment and try hard in school. We're all Channing Tatum. That's not fucking cool, Dan. Dan's coming off like Johnny Depp when he was young and hot. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Super Mastermind for five dollars says uh, New Jer- New Jersey misses you, Gundam. Well, except for Newark. So. Oh, man, New York, New Jersey is fucking just no. Mm-hmm. I would never set foot in New York, New Jersey again unless it was to collect a suitcase full of money. And even then, I would require an armored car and bodyguards. And quick way out. <laughs> uh, Grand Wozu 42 for 20 euros says, Hail, it's Gundam. About time you got your ass back here. And remember, this is all satire. I did uh, apply for a job in Friday Night Tights, like showing up on an almost weekly basis. The application was rejected. Was it? In the best way possible, Nerd said I was too big of a star. And I was like, you know, that's how I like to be turned down. <laughs> like, if the did lady I... I went to get... Did I? Too We're big for the stacking boxes at Target. I would have left with a smile on my face. <laughs> she is just right. You are overqualified for Friday Night Tights. No, you can come back whenever you want, dude. Door's o- door-, door is always open for Papa Gundam. That is it. All right. Then. Right. When there I'm like go. high as fucking drunk and awake at four or whatever time this is on Friday, I might just show up <laughs> randomly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's fine. My and Nerd will won't... be like, all right, X-Ray girl, don't let him in here for the love of God. <laughs> His real voice Even if comes I say in. he could come in, don't, just don't. Yeah, it'll be like Howard Stern with Billy West. Uh-huh. When Billy was saying the N-word too much and on, he's like, Ah, it's funny, it's funny that off the camera he's like, keep saying it, keep saying it. But when I say don't say it, say it twice as much. Oh, the Billy West days. Those were so good. The legendary era. Fucking, that was the best era. Right before Private Party. No, the first book. When his first book came out, that's when he started. Yeah, Private Party. Yeah. Uh, BMB Studios for four ninety nine. So X Ray Girl is CCP. Cool, collected, and so pretty. Oh wow! Oh, oh, that's, that's pretty fans. good. That's pretty Sam. Nice. Thank you. I Thanks, genuinely Sam. thought like he was ratting us out to the FCC because the CPP is what we have to comply with now, isn't it? It is. <laughs> uh, I the just... Child Protection Act or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. There's I'm no... like the kids need me. No children. They're gonna turn Batman gay in no time. <laughs> 
Isn't he I'm the last gay? bit of masculinity you can get. Robin's gay. Oh, God, no. Gay. <laughs> I fucking forgot. Why did you remind me? I was joking. Uh, I discovered Gundam on Friday Night Tights. You should have him on more <clears> often, <throat> says James, for $10. Okay. Done. Uh, I listen to the audience. Uh, then we have... Wait. Oh, no, no, we don't. Do we want to do the $69 one? Yeah, let's do this. Yes. 69. Yeah. Brian Kim for $69.99. Says, hashtag, we love Gina Carano. By the way, we love Gina Carano. You never know if Gina might be watching. Uh, yeah, like I saw her like one of your tweets or something. Somebody got a like from Gina Carano, and yeah. I was like, holy shit. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, all for Papa Gundam. Today you can afford 50 cans of tuna. I'd love more <laughs> tutorial videos, especially on making clear parts. I want uh, to put LEDs on Penelope. Also, this money is to bring forth our Lord Billy into Friday Night Tights. Even a voice cameo oh my will do. God. Donate. <laughs> if I have to do Billy live, I'll have to, you, you, I can't do it live because I break character often. I should probably do like a reel of me just like stopping with the character and ranting about how stupid what I'm watching is. Yeah. We can, well, we can, I can warn you next time we can prepare, we can prepare some things that wouldn't, oh, well, if I were to do something yeah, like that, it would definitely be demonetized. Like literally. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I, I mean, totally fine. Who cares? We, we're, okay. We're still green. And I mean, I don't know. We've gotten demonetized on days. We didn't even drop an F bomb. And then, you know, as has no one six scale figures. There's no consistency. Sex. Well, if you say something about certain political figures whose name starts with the Hillary, uh, and Blinken, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or about elections. I've, I've or... literally had whole movies fucking each other. Erections. YouTube oh, deleted please. my video Erections. of me laughing at Hillary Clinton ranting about the Russians while Bill Clinton fell asleep in the background yes. and he's rocking back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Like, they got me on gore. They got me on what? vicious violence. Well, it is. Well, he is a rapist. You did put Hillary on the screen. <laughs> I did make yeah. one joke. It's implied. Where. I did say I, this might have got me in trouble. I said Bill Clinton nodded off and went back to Epstein's Island. Yes. But, oh, shit. I said it. Oh, fuck. Uh, who's going to edit that out immediately? We got a delay. There's got to be a delay button. There is. A, there is. I think there is something on studio where you can do that. But ah, fuck it. Here. What, what, what's, what's the delay? Seven seconds? It'll be all right. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're fine. Yeah, we should get like a fucking like a swear, like a swear button like they have in like radio and shit. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Get a sweat button today. You never had a sweat button. Just call it an Epstein button. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to call it McCaffrey. Got to keep relevant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, at some point, yes, we will talk about Loki uh, later on. But uh, the Grizzly for $50 says it's a Gundam. Do you paint anything other than gunplay? Do you ever. Uh, did you ever get into games like Warhammer or anything? If not, why not? Also, do you have any tips for painting miniatures that I can use for painting my miniatures? I'm getting my first gun. It's Gunpla. Is it Gunpla? Yeah, that's okay, it. Gunpla. So. It doesn't matter. Like fucking uh, Adam Savage was calling it gun. We're getting. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I did paint a statue of. Guts from Berserk recently on the channel. Nice. So there's that. Uh, miniature painting. If you want to learn miniature painting, there's like other channels that are fantastic for it. I'll give a shout out to Miniac, even though I don't think he'd openly want to speak to me because I'm too controversial. Yeah. But there's a, great a guy channel. right there. <laughs> yeah. That's a guy to watch if you really want to get into mini painting. I yeah. dabble in it. I'm no master of anything. I just try to paint to uh, deal with YouTube at this point. Mm hmm. Because cutting those little tiny trees, it sucks ass. It's not really that fun. I, I, it looks so fucking. It look. I, I imagine it's as does it all the time. Like I imagine it's so incredibly rewarding. Wait, like, he cuts tiny painting, trees. <laughs> he, he fucking Bonsai. paints all that shit. Bonsai. But like, uh, yeah. I, I imagine it takes fucking forever and it's tedious as fuck. But it's probably really rewarding when you actually like get done with your little set that you're doing. Honestly, it is. it's better than gaming, in my opinion. Yeah, it's because relaxing. you have something tangible at the end of the day. That's so true. Gaming, like I have a bill, and they're probably trying to sell me some other bullshit I don't want, while also trying to lecture me about how 
something is toxic or other. I don't yep. fucking know so it, anymore. So it acts just like bonsai, just like trim. It, it's the same thing. <laughs> well, the know? bonsai doesn't tell me I'm a bigot, so that's exactly. that. <laughs> <laughs> there, yeah, there's it's that. like yeah. raking the sand, you know? It's like you accomplish something, <laughs> you have inner peace, and yeah, you're not being called a bigot. Uh, that's always nice. Uh, Enoch Maman yeah. for $50. I worked with a lesbian at my last job. She almost Ooh. exclusively dates men. She said she did this because women always cheated on her. Men, on the other hand, pampered her, but her first and ne- her fir- her first and never cheated. I bring this up whenever I can. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I have friends who are, I mean, they're going to be lesbians forever, and then I've got friends, I've got multiple friends, friends who were that's why we have the the saying uh, like my wife passed i think it came from the hair salons it's called a lug lesbian until graduation uh mm. you know it's just easier for them to get through college than that you know they meet a man they settle down you know live in the hamptons or wherever the hell you live in the suburbs it's the way it goes sometimes it's fine i never thought about the possible fi- hypergamy being an issue in lesbianism where like the chick upgrades to another chick i didn't even think of that yeah it's a weird, yeah. It's Perks. it's it's different. <laughs> yeah, uh, John. Well, and then there's the pink economy. That's why the men look so happy because they are. They're like two male incomes, no kids. Yeah, it's fucking party time, and no women. <laughs> it's party time all the time. Uh, John, John, yeah. John Ghost sends a fifty dollars super sticker. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and Simple Sandman for $50. You're not simple to us. I'm laughing so hard my stomach hurts. Thank you for the dose of sanity Friday Night Tights. Is that what tonight is? <laughs> Thank Shit. you. That's uh, what we do. That's, yeah. that's how low the fucking bar is that's, at this point. That's, <laughs> <laughs> this is sanity? Yeah. That is probably one of the truest statements I've ever heard on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, what's this right here? Oh, I got to retweet that. And then we have, uh, I got it. Okay, so how do I pronounce this correctly? It takes me like 17 times to pronounce something, maybe 18 times. It's horror. Horror Amarada. Uh, Amarada. Horror mm-hmm. Amarada. Well, the, okay, because of the way I talk, which is, you know, I've been kicked out of three high schools. Every time I say horror, it sounds like I'm saying whore, just just to let you know. Oh. Oh. Just, that's just how that word sounds. Just how it yeah. sounds. Uh, for, it's like the word rural. Rural, you can't say wolf. it without fucking mumbling. Rural. Yeah. yeah I, rural. Or wolf. Rural. I say wolf. Well, for me, it's water. I think it's like the New York accent. I really like to focus so it doesn't water. come out as water. Water. <laughs> water. Yeah. Uh, and the, then the second that slips out, some asshole goes, Hey, I'm walking here. Like New Yorkers say that shit all the time. Nobody said that since 1980. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got $50. It's a tail This show is tights. money. Yeah, and it's a Gundam. Nice to see the combination. Gundam is just the right mix of snarky and depressed. Wish I could get to Vegas <laughs> to meet and I'm hang out with you. I'm filling that gap uh, Gilbert Godfrey yeah. left open. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Got to fill the hole, man. Fill the hole. Says, I wish I could get out to Vegas and meet uh, and hang out with you all, uh, but hopefully next time. So they can't make it. Hey, next time. Well, there will be a next time. We'll, same time next year. We'll do it again. Yeah. I remember the Howard Stern show used to have a Vegas show. Now Nerd Roddick does. Yeah, that's right. Well, well, Howard Stern's now an old F&T washed show. up cock. Fuck him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, now I have to bitch. show up to the Vegas show because I don't think you guys have an Artie Lang. No, we don't. <laughs> like I got to come in, blow man. like 10 Gs on a... Fuck yeah. Or a hooker. <laughs> Didn't say I didn't know it was a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? Oh, you tried. I thought she really liked me yeah. until she asked for five hundred dollars. Hell yeah! I think uh, everybody would love to see Gundam out in New York. I uh, thought it was just a well known Vegas. woman that maybe. Yeah, no, it is fun. like the, the the Vegas thing is just like it's gotten so much momentum, far more than I thought uh, it was going to. It's just continued to get bigger and bigger in terms of the anticipation. It's and, over, and dude. So we had a whole yeah, year we were supposed it to is. hang out, but. It is. So we're looking forward to it's seeing all of, you, all of you guys and girls out there. I mean, like me, me and Gary, when we were in New York, that's all we did, man. We didn't we didn't care about the, the Comic-Con or anything. We just like hang out. And that's, you know, now this is centered around fans. So we're going to do all we can to hang out with you guys and talk. We appreciate everything you guys I went to doing, two so. panels at con. We, we walked around the con for like an hour and we saw mm-hmm. uh, and uh, Cecil 
uh, fucking what did he was he fucking punked Mark Wade? He uh, fucking yeah, yeah. Got Mark Wade. Awesome. Awesome. I had that on video. That was on my great. Yeah. Yeah, great. I put the, and I put that on my old Twitter account that got suspended, so I can't access that video anymore. But that mm. was great. And then um, I went to an Expanse panel, so that I had watched the show. That was good. And then uh, Garrett and John F. Trent and I went to a fucking Antifa panel. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it which was really horrendous. Frightening. Yep. Yeah, it was. A I'm glad I didn't go to that's that. That's like one. me going to a Klan rally. What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> that's what it felt like. Yeah, that's what it felt like. It felt exactly like that. I'm like, are they actually going to burn a cross here? They might. Uh, Son of the Wolf for seventy five dollars. It's hail Friday night fights. Hey Jeremy, when are you going to get some G and G ringtones? I need the opening and closing sound for a text alert. Yo, Daddy Gundam. That's actually pretty cool. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure we could do something like that. I mean, honestly, when I created that that little uh, intro noise, the, the idea, and of course, nobody was watching our videos when I created it, but I was all like, man, if people ever get that sound and they want to put it as a text ringtone or something, I never thought people would actually want that, but it's kind of cool. This is like 10 know, years ago when like, everyone was yeah. doing that. <laughs> Everybody on the flip phone's yeah. like, oh. Yeah, in, in, in 2005, when you you know yeah. you were only cool if you had a ring back yeah. tone, <laughs> yeah. like some fucking <laughs> yeah. young Jeezy shit or something. <laughs> yeah. The fucking frog. God, I hated ring back tone so fucking, fucking much. Holler uh, back, youngin. Yeah. <laughs> so bad, <laughs> we're so bad. But that's cool as hell. We might do something. We can put them downloadable on the website. Uh, so thank you for that. That's awesome. Uh, I love hearing that. So thank you for the feedback, and I'll look into it. Uh, a sticks for seventy seven dollars says uh, hail to to the hunks of Friday Night Tights. Thank you, thank you very yeah. much. I'm gonna give myself applause for that. Let's do Jeff <laughs> Rick's I am feeling quite hunky. Hunky. Uh, seventy seven is better than sixty nine. Uh, you get eight more. Oh, okay. There you go. Eight more what? Look, I, 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 I see you in the chat, and I want to address something because there's a lot of disappointment. It's been a great show, but Gary has disappointed a great number of people no because clown. he's not had an accidental clown mm. horn yet. Yeah. Um, I can't do it on purpose. I can't. Yeah, it's got to be organic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got to be organic, man. Don't worry. It will happen. You know? <laughs> if you're playing bingo at home, everybody, don't worry. Whenever, whenever Gary isn't boomerang things, it's a major disappointment. I'll eat your ass. So, uh, I will. Remember that I'll one week he did it like four ass. or five times in a <laughs> row. Like, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never change. Never change. Oh, no. I, Isn't I it won't. sad how you goof up some technological bullshit that doesn't matter, and you're automatically labeled a boomer? But no one pats you on the back for supporting a family or paying for a fucking house. Something Gen Z can't seem to figure out. Yeah. <laughs> what a douchebag. He is a bad TikTok. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm putting out my coffee so you could help me afford a living space. I'm getting kicked out of my home. Um, I also identify as a small pug named Gordon. <laughs> so if you could contribute... <laughs> Are your pronouns pug, pug self? Yes, I'm a furry. (laughs) I have a pug in good time. (laughs) (laughs) Have y'all ever seen that video, uh, Pug Party? Oh my God. I I have something on this. I don't want to see that. Already Googling. I think. No, I I did see the third episode of the Fresh Prez of Fred. Oh, is it out? Is it out? It yeah. Came out already. I watched what? it yet. Oh. Well, uh, already. He's in the uh, private chat. <laughs> what is that? Uh, pug the, party. The pug party. I mean, is it like pug funny party. or is it porn or? What the, oh, what okay. Exactly? It's from Odin. It's, it's probably funny. Christian. It's Let's just be honest. It's from it's Odin, funny. so you have Pugs to ask being baptized. That's what it's <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of fucks in it. <laughs> Okay. Like a pug just barking and the, it's translated Am for the I pug. Yeah. This? <laughs> <Am> I <gonna laughs> it's the best man? pug saying the Lord's Prayer. Quotes. 
<laughs> that Thank was God fucking. the dog didn't Odin, go into that the was Uber good. venture. I'd have lost that it. That was fucking good. Oh, nice. yeah, I did it. What? I did it. There you go. I accidentally did it. There, there, you, there go. you go. There you go. That's how I scream when I see another email from YouTube telling me I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck, kill me. God is dead. God is dead. <laughs> we we <laughs> Uh, all right, are we ready for the fresh uh, Kyle Dunn again and the fresh progress oh, yes. of oh, uh, yeah. DC uh, third episode? Uh, we love. Oh, that. I thought like Will Smith got a DC show. No, th- uh, <laughs> th- you're gonna. Be, yeah, you're. Getting, we'll have to catch up to speed here. So this is. There's um, usually. Cap, right? There was a previously there's on the. Okay, thing. there's a previously. Hold on, on, let me get a little higher. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> One second. We, I could read another super chat while you like do whatever you need to do. You, d- don't shoot up, son. Though it's not worth it. Uh, Colt Seaman, is it Seaman for fifty dollars? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's big money, baby. Okay, oh, oh, yes. It threw him off his game. The plim I've subliminally put it yeah. in his mind. Yeah, now. it's like it's oh, it. you into his mind, <laughs> planted long, the seed. Long time yeah, listener, sure. first time super chatter. I'm, ooh, oh, be gentle. Uh, now I'm going to be a little rough. Just want to say, Maybe. if Marvel pulls a Tropic Thunder and casts RDJ as Blade and make the movie X-rated, <laughs> that there will be a wor- that will be world peace and a world orgy. Sorry, Bree, you're not coming. Ew. Plus, you never come. Uh, thank you, Col- <laughs> uh, Colt Seaman. Thank you, Colt Seaman. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I will see if uh, as Gundam might be re-upped. That's what I used to say. I need to re-up. Um, now that's a good way of putting it. Yep. Shrimp of Bellsbrook. If this hat story gets out, I'll be a laughing store. Be at my office at 7 p.m. sharp. And don't forget your laptop. She's what my people would call a turbo yenta. Call Bill Bar. Tell him to get his mouth ready. You just have 24 hours where I'll be forced to broadcast your son's homemade pornos on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> I didn't know he was so Italian. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was born and raised in Scranton, PA. <laughs> Come on, man. Just start the damn bell. Buenas <laughs> noches, oh. <laughs> <laughs> senorita. I got you this coffee <laughs> mug with the American balloon on it. It cost thirty dollars. I left the tag on it so you can see I'm not a fucking liar. Where's your laptop? <laughs> we'll get to the laptop in due time. But first, I have to tell you something really important. I don't have a laptop, but I think I'm falling in love with you for real. What? Don't worry. We'll get through this together. Oh. Uh, oh, see, yeah, you and me. Together forever, yeah. It's how I want it to be. Wait, what do you mean you have a laptop? <laughs> Where am I to store all my documents? I love the way you wear your smile and how you always play with your hair. And I love how smart you are. But what bows me up the most is your feet. Going with being to it, they were together to see. <laughs> I'm still mad about the laptop, though. But if you don't love me, you just love that up here. Where is my other room? I'm so glad. But before you go, take off your socks and just one time touch the tip of my dick with your feet. <laughs> take care of the heart of my <laughs> heart. <laughs> I told you about that foot thing, and it's pretty intense. How the fuck is this? Oh. I'm concerned about this. <laughs> uh, uh, under the radar, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> 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 they were taken <laughs> by a ghost. <laughs> That's the way it should be. It's totally absurd. You're cute, but aren't you married? I don't know. All I know is, screw up all the hats. You're being weird. I got this ironclad contract with China that's going to ruin my dad's career. I can't do anything right. Maybe there's a way out. Let me see your contract. I'm good with documents. I used to be a bartender. <laughs> Wait, there's no name on this contract. You never signed this document. At the bottom, it just says the word crack. 
No, babe, that means the contract isn't valid. For real? Let's call my dad, tell him the good news. Then I want to take you on a romantic date to celebrate. Maybe a foot massage after. <laughs> okay, but no butt stuff. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, ding, yum, yum. Sure, what is it, Kylie? New yum, ding, ding. <laughs> Does mommy sometimes get that not-so-fresh feeling? Oh, my God. Of course not, honey. <laughs> mommy knows how to wipe front to back. But you know what really feels fresh? <laughs> Saving money on legal documents at eForms.com. <laughs> Look, I got a liability release form for a 10-car pilot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a sea monster. No, Kylie. That's just Rob. <laughs> Rob I'm, I'm a human being. Oh, shut the fuck up, Rob. It was an honest mistake. <laughs> Sorry, Jet Link Ping. The contract's in value. So I guess we won't be taking those hats after all. <laughs> Don't matter. I still got your son's fucking laptop. <laughs> I'm getting my boy a new one. But it's got that weird porn he made. Is that the one where That's a lady smirk. gives him a foot job while he watches MTV's Ridiculousness? <laughs> yeah, you seen it? Everyone's seen it. I could be prouder. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. It's true. I'm surprised you haven't Googled it. Ah, fuck me, I banned Google. Well, I still got your $40 billion <laughs> deposit. Well, I guess I'll just have to print more money then. <laughs> 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 You may have fucked my ass this time, Mr. President. <laughs> As they say in the old country, Benetutti al Pacino Cavacchi. <laughs> Watch your fucking back. <laughs> you see, better for it, I told you, Hunt, you'd handle it. Well, congratulations, sir. Once again, somehow the Bidens managed to fall out. Heads up, I'm home. <laughs> I brought my new fiance. From now on, the only crack I'm into is hers. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the family, Jalapeno Banana Lopez. <laughs> My dad told me everything. And I just want to say that I think being gay is what's up. <laughs> never speak to me again. Hello, Benefer. AOC, you're looking well. Congratulations. <laughs> I know that vibe. That's what you used to bang, vibe. You guys did fuck. <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> Fuck you, AOC. I fucking love you, you fucking bitch. <laughs> hey, this is a clothes ghost. He still got my clothes, man. Uh, check, please. <laughs> Come on, man, they don't, even, they don't even fit you right. Come on, you're, come on, you're ruining <laughs> There's no gravity in this book, man. <laughs> so Phil Mar is here, as you requested. It's pronounced Blarp, you backdoor Barney. <laughs> you wanted to see me, sir? Something about a presidential <laughs> award, I assume? Not quite. I'm going to give you something even more valuable. Your dignity. <laughs> Say what now? You see, Barb, you made a promise on your show. A promise involving your mouth. But I thought no one found out about your hat shenanigans. But we know about them, don't we? The buffoonery was off the charts. Jimmy Fallon would have torn me to pieces. So you flew me out on Air Force One so you could put your penis in my mouth. Is that correct? By a scrant, we called it a mouse scrapple. <laughs> All a man's got in this world is his word. Now get to scrapping. Okay. I'll do my duty. Your country thanks you. If I don't make it, tell black hookers I love them. <laughs> All humans are inferior. I mean, equal. Are you just pretending to be woke so you can get to my pants, Mr. Zuckerberg? Uh, no, Congresswoman. In fact, recently I attended a, a, a marching ritual for Black Earthlings Matter. 
You might have believed Mr. Zuckerberg that these documents aren't real. They're just a visible document. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. No way we're monetized now. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, man. Thank you, Kyle Dunnigan. Woo. You son of Good a bitch. Man. You oh, son of a bitch. Gotta get him on the show. We got get, him, get subbed to that channel, folks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sub. Fucking hell, he's oh, so funny. Oh, my God. This week's... Uh, uh, oh, we still have Frank Stallone on. We're still green. We're still green. Yeah. <laughs> or now. This makes no fucking sense whatsoever. It says Odin, Odin's Welcome been praying YouTube. extra. Odin's been praying extra. Oh, yeah. as soon as Odin uh, leaves, as soon as the Christian yeah. leaves, we're yeah. done. We are fucking yeah, we're done. done. Yeah, we're uh, I, I feel like it would be the opposite way with YouTube right now, honestly. <laughs> That's very oh, true. Yes. God dang it. Uh, Dan Vask for 50 um, Brazilian pesos says, as now you have permission to be sexiest and no feminist will care. Gary, Friday Night Tights theme song is ready <laughs> and waiting for your DM, it, wait, waiting for you in your DMs. Hail everyone. Hail. Well, do you want to yes. hear it? You want to hear it? You want to hear it? Yes. You hear it? Yes. Yes. All right, there we go. Uh, I mean, like, I've got no visual aid. Maybe I can find a picture of, like, Dan being pretty or something. I don't know. <laughs> that won't be hard to find. It's like I mean, every that, picture of Dan. Seriously, oh. he's beautiful. I mean, ask. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. We're the hunks. Okay. <laughs> Super chat said so. You speak for yourself, sir. I will. Uh, <laughs> oh, he said hunk, not chunk. I know. <laughs> exactly, Ryan. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. So I, I am talked to chunk. Dan about it yesterday, and you guys are going to love this. Um, I, I'm really excited for this because uh, Dan, to me, is – like he's already a big time star, but I think yeah. like he's just I think he's a mega star in the makings, and and I've told him this directly. Like the dude just has so much potential. Yeah, with, too bad uh, he's involved it, with us. Yeah, I heard that. And, and, and <laughs> drugs thing that hurts him more and, than anything. And human oh. trafficking. Apart, apart from that, he's yeah, he's so yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, this Dan, is our is uh, awesome. Gundam. This is our theme song from Dan Vass, like Friday Night Tights theme song. So you're here for the premiere. Let's go. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, what the fuck. Just play, just play the clown horn and just tell everybody that that's the intro right there. <laughs> that was me. Sorry. I can see you running across the field like the six million dollar man to this. <laughs> Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah! Damn! Hell yeah! Oh my god, that was fucking that was fantastic. Beautiful. Now you gotta pick out your leather jacket with the spikes on it. And we follow oh. this up with Bruce Dickinson's cover of all the young dudes. Play it. Yes. Friday Night Tights Radio. <laughs> yeah. I, feel like, I feel like a pink lady already. Oh, <laughs> Look at the chat. The chat Hell is going yeah. crazy. Uh, yeah. Man, that is awesome. That man. was uh, fucking awesome. awesome. That, oh, that. Yeah. Dan, you're you're beautiful, man. Look at how look yeah. at that good looking guy. Yeah. yeah. He is. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's uh, all right. Yeah. Scrubs up all right, doesn't he? Scrubs yeah. up all right. Yeah, Did his recent kiss by a rose. Oof. Yeah, Oof. that was really fucking good. Yeah. He, 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 he delayed it a little bit. It was got delayed getting out because he was practicing Mario Kart so much. Yeah, but. yeah, that fucking, <laughs> fucking Mario Kart. Oh, uh, now I get. 
He uh, looks like that. He sounds a bit like Bruce Dickinson, and he kicks your ass in Mario Kart. I would put out a hit on him like a year ago or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you think you're so cool, don't you? Hey, uh, You need some cement shoes. And the good news is, in his country, they aren't that expensive. So, it's, uh, <laughs> oh my yeah, God. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. they all know each other there. <laughs> Viva Brazil. The dollar goes a long sure. way down there. So, <laughs> and and if you have not yet, which most of you should have already, go oh. subscribe to Dan Vask on YouTube. Uh, dude is uh, uh, he's a he's a legend in the making, man. Yeah, he's he needs and a, a lovely human being. He yeah, mm. he needs a few million more views on his videos. Yeah, just a um, few. Just a few. <laughs> Ray Tard Monkey uh, for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great follow up from that. <laughs> In this show, <laughs> I just all this, all this respect. Got yeah. this great theme song. This you know, superstar <laughs> Ray music guy, Monkey. And then it was just like all this greatness, wow. great energy, and then Ray. <laughs> It's gonna be like Ray Tard Monkey. Kathleen Kennedy's an insufferable cunt. I wish she'd be finally gone already. <laughs> the funny thing is, John Campia. I love that name. I was tripping so hard just now. Ray Tard Monkey flew right over my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was getting a little K in here, so we had to bring it back. Yeah, we had to bump it back. <laughs> Retard I'm monkey. over here, like, spacing out, like, oh, my God, the room is spinning. And I hear, retard monkey. <laughs> retard monkey. It's All like right, it brought back me in. back to reality. You, you, you got to Now we need to play this from a rose to right. get us back on. <laughs> For, uh, I hope somebody doesn't quote Gary. He's getting a little bit gay in here on, on something. That would be terrible. Uh, I would just, be a shame. Oh, man. For $5... Great T-shirt, Gary. That would be a great T-shirt. Yeah, okay. getting a little bit gay in here. <laughs> For $5. Right I just want for five dollars. Is I just want to hear Papa Gundam call Gary Nerdaholic. <laughs> nerdaholic. You called him Nerdaholic your first show here. I did. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's oh, kind of a, it's kind of a uh, meme at this point. It's, so, yeah, it's great to be I here. I love Nerdaholic's channel. <laughs> Can I say that? Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. probably Thanks, high man. during that show, in all honesty. <laughs> you were. I've been high every time I've done this show. I'm going to... High full day. disclosure. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I got nothing left to lose. <laughs> I get so fucked up that I'm barely here. Uh, it's like I hear something and my brain goes, okay, one-liner, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. Uh, <laughs> maintain, maintain. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I've been that, that high. I've had entire phone call. Well, I, yeah, I shouldn't tell, tell this story. I had, an I, had an entire, <laughs> You're late. I had an entire phone conversation with my mom, like, confessing all of my fucking sins. And the, the, <laughs> I never called her. The phone was never connected. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you know, so had to get it out in the open I had like it that, all, like, you know? Yeah, I just gave the whole spiel. And then, like, I'm like, Arctic. mom. Uh, I'd mom. never tell my mother any of my sins. Oh. High, drunk, or dying. No, it was yeah, it was yeah. The, it was God saving me for myself on that one. So uh, if that was me, I'd have been like, oh mom, I, I help kids. I, I reborn to the blind. Uh. <laughs> my son was a philanthropist. <laughs> I, I describe porn to the blind. <laughs> She's taking her left strap of her bra off. <laughs> it's currently sliding down her arm. Oh, she's very quickly moved and taking the second one off. The yep. floor plays very a sensual single right no, now. No, is it is it is it online porn? Because then it skips right to the sex. They like do the little <laughs> yeah. starring part yeah. and yeah. They all cut that it off, and it goes right to the sex. Yeah, the, uh, porn, yeah. the blind guy's just like, could you skip to the best part? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, and, and then you're like, dude, you don't even know what a tit looks like. How am I even gonna explain it? <laughs> it's a, it's a sort of it's braille sack of sack of fat, but it's, it's like human. It, it kind of turns you on though, but it's got like a knobble bit and and, <laughs> and it's a, it's flesh, but like you don't know what color looks like, do you? So oh, well, the, yeah. the, the, the areola's got bubbles, so you can pretend it's braille or some That's shit. Why I I didn't last yeah. reading point yeah. to the blind because I didn't know that they didn't see color. Yeah, how do you would describe blue to a blind person who's never seen it? I'm so. like, well, her nipples are very brown. He's like, oh, really? <laughs> 
What is brown? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I just realized you don't know. Oh. How ableist of me. Yeah. How are uh, we doing with pink? How are we doing? Not so good. Oh, great. No. This is just... Who's marvelous. more offended, uh, Odin or X-Ray Girl at this point is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still stuck on Az's comment about the fucking, the fucking little bumps in the titties being braille. Braille. <laughs> that, that, that's fucking perfect. <laughs> That's like yeah, little, the little bumps on the areola, just you know, it's a little braille, it's braille for the blind. Actually, it tells you every every single like, of a this woman. Is a titty. Is this is a titty, you know. <laughs> you have found the nipple in braille. That's what it is. Uh, Caboose mobile. For... I'm gonna check that green guy. <laughs> <Just, laughs> you know, we'll get an update on that. that uh, we'll get, yeah, get right. an update Before on that got, green guy. Caboose mobile. We'll be, we'll be right back. Hang on. We're gonna check it on the green. <laughs> Checking on the green. And now a and word from our sponsors. Yes. Oh, double. Are you blind? Right. <laughs> Do you want to see what porn's <laughs> like? Well, you can hire our online porn tellers. <laughs> Uh, Caboose Mobile for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Says back on the fourth of July, my great uncle died. I'm sorry. Uh, surrounded oh, by me and the family, yeah. with the sarcastic, uh, with the sarcastic mind still intact. At ninety, a ninety-one year old Air Force veteran, not even a uh, Hurricane Elsa could stop his funeral on the ninth. But I don't want you yeah, to feel sad because I get a. Fuck yeah, Don Garner. It would mean a lot. Fuck yeah, Don Garner. It goes yeah, out Don like a fucking Garner. man. Yeah. Fuck yeah, Don Garner. Is that Don the guy from Miami Vice? No, it's a badass Air Force veteran <laughs> great uncle. And a guy oh, from I'm Miami Don Vice. Henley. <laughs> Don Johnson. Uh, Don, Don Henley. Don Henley. Don Don <laughs> no, wait a minute. Hill, California. There, wait, no, there's a connection because uh, Glenn <laughs> Fry sang a song for the fucking Miami Vice movie, right? Didn't he, oh, like, didn't he, like, Glenn Frey sang a song for Miami Vice. He was in the in Eagles with Don Henley. So there is a connection there. Uh -huh. What was the fucking song? Mm -hmm. It was like Clever City. Boy? It was, no, it was like City fucking Heat bullshit. Whatever the fucking 80s. Just think of your most generic 80s song, and that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that's heat. it. See, heat. so hot. 1980s, yeah, this yeah. is a beat. That's what it just be like. Foot loose, kick Are off you blind and want to like porn? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine keeps you up to the early morn. <laughs> Smugglers Blues and uh, oh. You Belong to the City. <laughs> you belong to the city. That's fucking Now all I can think up. of is what blind people jerk off to. <laughs> like it, it's like the I cannot get this out of my head. Your now. voice, I don't know. Kylie Minogue. Uh, Kylie does it for me too. Yeah, she. Sounds, I just can't get it out of my head. She sounds as sexy as she looks. That's true. Mm -mm. Let me yeah, uh, Google how Kylie's looking. It's been a long There's time. There's a lot of people who could sound like that though, and you would have no idea how they look. Well, then blind. what? What do you care? You're blind. I mean, it's it's fine. You know, I don't know. It's cool. Well, Ray Charles was like super blind. He could tell if a woman was fat by rubbing her like arm. So your senses really jump up when you lose yeah, your power yeah. sight. Yeah. Well, I bet Kylie's looking great. Smell probably has a lot to do with it. Uh, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, Mikey Gussler for fifty dollars. Uh, this Sunday, everyone get on Twitter and tweet. Restore the Snyderverse. Hashtag restore the Snyder. We need to have this man's vision realized. Also, on August 15th, tweet. Hashtag release the air cut so we can see air's vision come to light. I went through uh, the same trouble as it went through the same trouble as Snyder cut. I uh, I, uh, I just don't know if it's going to work, Mikey. I, I, please do it. And uh, if you guys want to go do it and support it, by all means, go and support it. Warner Brothers has so moved on, and they don't even know what the fuck they're doing at this point. Like, to the point <laughs> where no idea. Harley Quinn, no, um, Matt, uh, yeah. Harley Quinn, she's got she's she said uh, 
she's not doing any more Harley Quinn for the foreseeable. And one of the reasons right. is, A, she said I'm sort of burnt out from the character because I did two films back to back. Yeah, so are we. And B, I, we, they don't have anything for me going forward. So what you know that? what I love about DC? They plan the whole fucking universe <laughs> the same way I plan my YouTube videos. No thought. <laughs> it's like whatever just falls on my plate, I run with it. I do the same thing. Produce it. No. Yeah, I think that's a lot yeah. of YouTubers. Go. Green light. No, think about yeah. it, though. That's their most popular character to them, Harley Quinn. And they're just about to come out with the James Gunn, the Suicide Squad. And, and she's going to quit? Like, yeah. after this is supposed to be their best tracking movie. It, is it maybe Warner not? Brothers is fucked. Yep. Yeah. This right, is their it, moment. Like, it. whenever in-game, in game, this is your moment, DC, to come in. Steal the show. If you had your shit together, you could steal the what, show yeah, right now. They've got a they've got a Batman film coming out that's in a completely different universe. They've got a, they've announced a Batgirl movie that's going to come out in a completely different universe <laughs> to the Batman movie. Wait, there's a Batgirl movie? <laughs> yes, there is. Yeah. Yes. And there was one that works for a long time from Joss Whedon until, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the issue, too, Not with all wrong. of those things, though, just like it is going to be with Black Widow, is that you have all of these films that are already in the process of being made or, or have already been finished and have just been delayed. And all of them have cost the same amount that it cost when the box office was healthy. You now have experts saying that the box office was not going to get back until um, 2019 numbers until 2024. So films like Black Widow, everyone's like, oh, it's doing so well. I think Black Widow is going to still end up in the red, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Because yeah. It, it is, it's doing well for pandemic times, but it still costs the same no, as a pre-pandemic right. movie. No, yeah, it's like, probably no, going to make Odin. about 550 yeah. mil just to break even Odin, at, this, at this time. Easily. You're trying to Odin. tell me those CGI effects <laughs> cost half a million, a billion Two, dollars or something. $200 million dollars 200 mil. fucking movie cost. 200 million production budget, Add 300 two. million with marketing. <laughs> yep. So and Odin. that's not including and, and delays. It, and it got marketed about Then delay, dollars. then you got... You delays yeah. you lose you got your investment you know so you are losing Odin. money every day do you yeah. do you uh, by do you by any chance recall what the original tracking was for this film because it, it had so, original tracking prior it, to the coup so so the opening weekend tracking the updated tracking was they thought it was going to make anywhere between 80 and 110 million opening weekend domestically the fact that it hit 80 million so the low end of that you take into account that's only 10 i think it was million. up to 100 i do think it was, uh, tom's put it but i it, it was up to 120 so, so no, I talk about opening weekend. So for yeah. opening weekend, no opening only... weekend, they were saying up to 120. Well, originally, mm. I mean, originally prior to the coup. the range, yeah. yeah. So no, the original range was actually a lot less than that. Like it was probably between like like 60 and 90 million dollars was the original range. Then they bumped it up after Fast Nine because they said, oh look, people are showing up, and then it did only 10 no. million more. But what really is kind of odd about that is that. When you look to the opening night on Thursday, it made twice as much as Fast Nine did on its Thursday lot. opening, and yet it only made ten million more mm. on its opening weekend. So, so this than movie Fast Nine. was made prior to COVID coming out. Yeah. So yeah. what was their tracking prior to COVID? Right. That's uh, what Gary's asking. He says, okay, okay. I typically don't look at those numbers because those numbers don't mean a damn thing. Because at well, that they do early now, on, they do now because that's what they were originally wanting for the movie. Like all this yeah. adjusted shit over the last two years doesn't mean dick to me. What I wanted yeah. to know is what were they expecting from this movie when they made it and put two hundred million dollars into it prior to COVID? With I say I don't I don't I don't know what those numbers would even look like because I I don't usually track that early on. So mm. oh well, the CGI they makes do. sense now. They're saving money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is if you know base it, ba I would say base it somewhere between Infinity War and what Ant Man and Wasp made on this first weekend so maybe oh, even worldwide they were expecting this film to be at least 500 million probably more so 750 8 to 850 million dollars i would guess i would th i would think of more eight eight hundred nine hundred million. 800 million i mean considering and again we, we know we know why captain marvel made a billion mm -hmm. but yeah. i i think you have to assume that the <laughs> biggest female action star in the world scarlett johansson in a marvel movie with a highly beloved character, I got to imagine that your expectations expectations are, are got to be flirting with a billion, got to be not it's in a post end game world where the character about is no longer you. relevant. Well, I, I mean, I but a post yeah, but I think they have the arrogance to expect a post it. a post end game world means that you're you're coming off a movie that did what three billion dollars. A post end game world means dick to investors. Yeah, they're, the they're like yeah. Yeah. we're expecting yeah. a billion. Yep. That's what we've gotten last three, four movies. So I, I, and I'm not That's saying right out of it, but I, I got to say you got to be up well over 500. Well, I'd say like yeah. 800 
is probably like you know 800 to a billion is what they would it's, be expecting i think a range of that would absolutely make would make complete sense to me but yeah, yeah i'll have to see what the numbers are going to look like this weekend because then i can actually make what the likely end result will be but the fact that i mean I, I looked back a little bit to 2019 because i was like hey what what were some of the films making back during the time you know prior to the pandemic because everyone's thinking about oh look how amazing these numbers are look how you know uh, how much it's making which again for for pandemic times it's fine worldwide number though <coughs> worldwide worldwide opening now obviously it didn't have china but to this day the best worldwide opening for pandemic times is godzilla versus kong well, you got to admit that Godzilla versus Kong fights are pretty good. The rest of the story was absolutely stupid. Yeah. And like, I think we also kind of got our perspective skewed a little bit because there was like that year, the, the, like the last real full year we had, it was like the most billion dollar movies we've ever seen. And like, yeah. all, of them were, like all of them were from Disney and most of them were f fucking garbage. Mm -hmm. uh, but like you look back at Thor Ragnarok, <clears throat> that movie made like what? 850 worldwide. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, and you think at, about like how that's perceived. You want to think about how fucking well, long we've been dealing with this shit. The la when I was, when I first started hearing about fucking COVID, was when we were in New York. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm looking at uh, yeah. Spider Man Far From Home, which mm -hmm. is 2019, which was, and Black Widow was meant to come out after this. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Far From Home ended up with a worldwide of 1.13 right. billion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's opened, what they're expecting. And it opened up to 92 domestic, 92 yeah. million domestically. Mm -hmm. but a hun uh, And then that was on a 160 mil budget. So yeah. that's on a lower budget than Black Widow. Yeah, uh, just yeah. before we got to you know about six months before we got into the. Oh, the if you want to see an even an even bigger discrepancy, mm. Joker, fifty five million dollar budget opened to two hundred and thirty six million dollars worldwide. Mm. No China, no okay. China, yeah, and China. a billion, yeah. and a billion I, well, hits I, a billion. But, but I do think that like what you're saying as the idea that Spider Man <clears throat> uh, made one point one billion and only opened 10 million higher than Black yeah. Widow did domestically with the pandemic, plus all the Disney Plus shit. Yeah. Like that's, uh, like, I what think they claim. that goes- okay, What sure. they claim oh, okay, Disney okay, Plus Okay, made. okay, but we don't actually have any fucking evidence of anything. No. So we kind of have to go on what we you have. You have to go on what they say, like, yeah. That's kind of not bad. I think that Marvel is probably pretty happy with the numbers oh, that shit. they have yeah. gotten from this right now. I, I don't especially think... compared to how this is being received by a lot of us. Yeah, they'll be they happy probably with brought it, and then all of a sudden they'll still be in the lot, red yeah. for the film because, yeah, it did well for the pandemic, but it's still costing them, right? I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I, can anybody oh, see yeah. Black Widow? I think they're happy. Lose. I think they're happy with the film, but I, I think this film is going to struggle to, to hit yeah. even. Can it get this it? But I think they're, they're happy because I think they I think they saw probably a 300 mil loss here. Can anybody see Black Widow making a billion dollars this no, year no. hell no no i it's don't think no so. chance no chance is it no. being released in china no not I so. initially no i will it's phone up yet. china right now you call china I, there's barely any black people in it so i assume it is <laughs> uh, <they're> great <laughs> they, they could just cut out uh you know soulful saints scenes just cut them yeah. right out it'd be easy uh yes <laughs> this I want, film would be lucky to make 500 million dealer, you know because arms dealers are the nicest people in the world they're always so just nice. like rom-com lovely guys. I, I think this weekend's probably going to be. It's going to tell us whether it's going to be really successful yeah, yeah. or not. I think we're going to see a, a pretty significant drop off this well, weekend. We know, like, I, I, I want to let y'all know too. what the projections will be at the end of this weekend once we get those numbers so, in. What, does it? Nobody has projections for. Well, I guess they're not. Uh, well, I mean, they so do, early. but it's, it's typically <laughs> when it's this early on, it's so hard to tell. Like the second weekend is the best indicator because it tells you the drop off. And also, typically, you look to most films and how much they make in their first two weeks. And normally, films make between 50 and 70% of their entire gross yep. in their first two weeks. Yep. And so, mm -hmm. if you it's take like those metrics in, you can basically reverse days. math yeah. it and say, okay, here's the best case scenario and here's the worst it's case like scenario. It's like the first 72 hours of our videos. Uh, yep. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. Yeah, so like th this weekend really will tell us, you know, how much word of mouth may have affected everything, all this shit. Um, yeah. But as of right now, I said it, on Sunday, when these box office numbers came out, a lot of people didn't want to hear it because it's good. I, I know we it's all, good. I know we all think, we all want to think that yes, Disney's screwing with all oh, these numbers aren't real. We can only really go based on what we have at this point, and I think <clears> they're <throat> probably pretty happy with where the numbers are at right now, oh, right. coming out of the pandemic. Yeah, absolutely right, and that's why we have a giant uphill battle, and that's why we need to keep doing what we're doing and. Uh, informing the masses as much as we can because we need to win the hearts and minds of normies not alienate them not piss them off 
because they make the world go around, and unfortunately, they're still going to this shit. They're still liking mm-hmm. Loki, and that like there's people saying that Loki and Black Widow weren't woke. Oh, okay, you're right. Like, like I said earlier, filled with intersectional feminism and third yes. wave feminism, and, yeah, <clears throat> and communist fucking Marxist beliefs, but it wasn't woke. Uh, and yeah. people are like, what? It wasn't that bad. You're seeing ghosts. No, it's these two were actually some of the worst two cases I've seen from Disney. Uh, like, but I would argue it is woke. Well, it, like see, well, it's, woke. it means your general term. Feminism okay. is woke. Th- yeah, there's it's kind of like under the same Or to bro. trigger some people. So there, there are a lot of people that were really up all on the uh, that's Tomorrow not, War. That's not and, woke um, to some people. That's a, it's not. Yeah. Tomorrow War wasn't woke at all. But guess what? People thought that because it wasn't woke, it was good, even though it was a crap movie. Uh, Tomorrow yeah. War had some of that <laughs> fucking <laughs> weird women and STEM shit in it. I don't, it. I don't it really did. know if people said Tomorrow War was good. They just said they enjoyed it. There's a difference in saying something's yeah. good versus mm-hmm. you enjoy yeah. it. It's Nobody's not, saying like this is the greatest film I've ever seen. It was and not like, a good I movie. liked it. I, I, liked I, it. I don't know if I enjoyed it. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I watched it. it. I, I loved it. It's, it was so, it's something you can. Fuck. I didn't love it, but it's something that you can watch that is entertaining, and it's not just fucking preaching to you. <laughs> and that's that's yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't preaching. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Mentally, there wasn't the point where I went, oh, for fucks, you know. Well, we have to say the women sat down and just. Oh my god, the men are just fucking up everything. His his fucking yeah. daughter, like, I designed everything. I mean, just like you know, fucking in Black Widow, I designed this yeah. whole. Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I built and it what myself. What about Volcano Boy? You go back to a high school student for volcano information. You know, it's just... yep, yeah, not to a yeah. volcanologist. To a fucking well, fifteen year old kid. Yeah, yeah, but like I mean, oh, one of the things we rarely see is, is, is a redemption. we rarely see any type of legitimate redemption arc these days. We actually gotta see a redem like some redemption story in that movie, you know? Like again, it's not yeah. good, it's dumb pop popcorn. A lot of this shit doesn't make sense. But this just shows you the low bar, and I said this many times. I thought about this shows you the low bar that Hollywood has set for us, where we're willing to take like the Tomorrow War ten years ago was not anything we would have ever discussed in any detail or any depth. No, and guess what? Five years from now, is, no one will talk about Tomorrow War. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody completely forgot. You're right. You're going to be weeks. talking about Tomorrow War too. It's like got a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, the point is, is that the standard is so low in Hollywood, and Solo did lose money. But the the, the standard has been set so low that that now we look at something like the tomorrow war and we go man that was entertaining i'm great that was made me so happy and that just shows you how bad things are it's like chris gore's video 99 percent of hollywood's are dog mm-hmm. shit because they yeah. are dog shit and uh, that's why the tomorrow war has been discussed and it's why so many people are enthusiastic because it didn't preach and that's a big yep. thing right now to be real, I, I forgot that Tomorrow War happened. Like, yeah. Prime keeps telling me about this shit. I'm like, oh, what the hell is Guardians of the Galaxy doing again? <laughs> oh, this looks like some sort of Sam this Fisher bullshit. <laughs> well, anyway, Go that's going to be it office. for me, everybody. So y'all all have a wonderful... Take care of... I think a, a lot of people did. Later, See you, man. Ultra. Bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. 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 Uh, I think a lot of people with this bye-bye. Tomorrow War were more kind of... Um, defending it because they were ripping chris pratt for nothing yeah, to do yeah. with the film whatsoever yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and so if, if you're going to be critical of the film be critical of the film mm. you know if you and then if you're going to be critical of chris pratt be cr- critical of his performance within the film his performance was fine so they couldn't be critical of his performance so they had to go back to all the bog standard boring stuff which is oh, he's a conservative he's a politics he's a christian all that kind of jazz and so when mm. people see that they're going to be like nah no, we're going to go check this film out and we're going to kind of support it because you are unfairly uh, attacking yeah. this guy because you're, you're t- attacking him for his religious beliefs, for his uh, political affiliation, and for something he wasn't even fucking invited to, you fucking retard. Exactly. So, you know, it, exactly. it, so we're just, <laughs> we're just in lame. these stupid elements now. So people mm-hmm. are going to want to to check out the film at least, at least be more lenient should we say yeah. towards yeah. it because um it is unfairly getting uh, unfairly getting hit and they're trying to i think overcorrect to to bring a a balance back to what the yeah. film actually is which is schlock well i i watched it for two reasons <laughs> number one because yellow flash recommended it and he and based on how we heard how bad it was and yellow flash is like it's not the worst thing ever it's actually kind of solid so i was like all right cool i'll check it out but then i heard all of the criticisms of it, but I'm like, 
Chris Pratt might be a Republican, so the movie's bad. What? <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, well, the, this is the stupid. It's so it's just a typical thing, like because we all know why why they target Chris Pratt because you know he's a, a Christian white male who might be a Republican who didn't go to the what was that the Bernie Sanders fundraiser? Bernie that was, Sanders, yeah, it, it, and that's why they're mad at him. So I went yeah. and watched it for that reason with very low expectations. And yeah, just thought it was dumb fun. Yeah, and I yeah it was it. straight up I, dumb I, fun. That's what I, I, I will say that if, if all of those people in 30 years didn't come up with the idea that, oh, maybe the white claws were or white spikes were here before, they're fucking so retarded. They all did deserve to die, honestly. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, Ray Tardin. Yeah. Well, our, yeah, our Zoomer children, right. had to, uh, our, Zoomer, our Zoomer children had to come back and ask us for help in thirty years. Is anybody surprised about that? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, not surprised. Actually, that's very. Can angry. you come to the Guys, future and die for us, please? Because yes. we're running out of people to die. Our TikTok that's filled up, message, and we don't. The internet filled up, and we don't know what to do. <laughs> We tried uh, doing dances for him, but then it just killed us. So. I tried to dance to make my trash go away. <laughs> just did it. Just piled I up. Told, I don't know what to do. I told the white spike to respect my pronouns, and he did. <laughs> <laughs> he just right. lasered my face off. I what are your what pronouns do. on your planet? <laughs> no, no, no. It was negative interactions with the white spikes, guys. Don't yes, forget that. Negative. <laughs> negative. Uh, they voted Welcome, conservative. Tom. What's up, Tom? How's it going? Hey, kids. Hey, Tom. What are you doing? What up? What up? What up? Uh, Valiant uh, Renegade has given us one hundred dollars. Damn! Wow. Valiant Renegade just hit a thousand subs. Uh, hail nice. to Friday Night Tights, <laughs> the chat, and the glorious wrenches. They are hail moderatics. Uh, wishing you all my very best, and thank you for your continued hard work for fun, entertainment, and inspiration for all of us on the ground floor building our YouTube presence. Great panel and great show. God bless. Why, thank you, Valiant Renegade. We have, it's very valiant of you. We appreciate that. Yes. Uh, we're, you know, we're trying to do our part while we're still here. By the way, I think it's a good time to check and see if we're still green. We started talking about chime. That. It's a good time to check. Uh, chine? It's a chine? Uh, it's better it's than being a good time unchained. to check. <laughs> good time to check the green. I, I, my Sean Connery came through. I was possessed by <laughs> Sean Connery. Time to check on the green. Time to check on the green. Uh, it's still green. It's still green. Is that green. English? Uh, no. Pop, uh, Ruben, Papa Gundam's powers are, are, are really impressive, considering we're still green. I appreciate that. Yeah. Job, uh, hey, Gundam. your influence with uh, Mama Susan is, uh, yeah. I didn't think it was this much, but since, you know, you got spanked by her a couple times, she seems pretty happy about it. I uh, think she really enjoys my move to TikTok content. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get that Sniper X wolf money. She bought a million dollar home, basically... Yeah, breathing oxygen while watching. I'm at least cracking a joke or two. <laughs> okay, is that uh, is that somebody on TikTok or no? She's Twitch? a YouTuber. I'm not going to expose you to this. Okay. You don't need that level of fucking depression, honestly. <laughs> I, don't. I don't. Well, you know, we always have we have a grading curve here that we always bring up that you know an Uber Eats driver made it to 165,000 subs on this platform. <laughs> I'm not no, impressed with serious. myself. I try to keep the perspective there uh Ruben, what does this uber eats driver do because sometimes uber drivers have an interesting stories about going to crack houses and stuff they if that's do. what he's doing like giving you the raw raw shit all right we're going to rodney's house so we got some kfc chicken nuggets hey man what the fuck you up my nuggets uh, he's got a gun you know i would watch that i would too nah, he, he's <laughs> got uh some stories about carrying boulders though boulders. oh fuck yeah. that <laughs> i'm here to see someone get shot yep <laughs> Uh, oh, Ruben Christopher man. Haynes for fifty dollars. <laughs> Says, "Hail Friday Night Tights! Congrats, carry on! Oh yeah, three hundred, three fifty, three hundred, three fifty, three fifty, three fifty, three fifty. We need to realize we all are creating original content. We should support each other. Our channels. Let's archive all IP so Holly Woke doesn't erase our legacy. Everyone here needs to know we are the true fans. We are, and thank you. Yes, we fucking are." Nice. Uh, I archive all my stuff, and I recommend you do because you never know when Mama Susan's going to take it all away with the snap of her fingers, which will happen. It, I mean, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Uh, but they I'll did. talk to my oh. agent at Dick Bag Productions to see what we can do about this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Auto backed up to Odyssey for everything. Yep, yep. same here. Yep. I applied for the manager. They finally asked me, and I never heard back. You applied to what, for the YouTube the manager of the, Odyssey. Uh, for, no, not yeah, that's what I'm picking Odyssey, up on for uh, for YouTube manager for the YouTube manager. Uh, oh, yeah, they never. Uh, 
Oh, uh, 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 I sorry, I'm high. I will get someone to look into that for you. <laughs> yeah, because uh, like shit. I, I want uh, the you know no I'm just searching YouTube in my email now. Come I've got a copyright complaint. Copyright complaint. <laughs> fire ass off just of Friday like night bills, lights. Bills, bills, fire. Jury, pretty good at getting back. Fire bills, Ryan. Bills. Fire Ryan off of Friday night tights. Fire yourself off of Friday night tights. All these wonderful emails I get. Uh, uh, gets Barry for seventy five dollars. I know that name. Gets Barry says for Gundam. I'm pretty su- sure you are the reason Susan secretly buys and smashes rare Gunpla. Mm. Is there a video of it? Yeah, if there's video of it. We should. That know. sounds like a fetish. I would watch it and then I do like a video saying that she was harming me because I'm LGBTQ plus AI. They probably wouldn't do anything. No, <laughs> I'm LGBTQ plus Asian. So there you go. Uh, mm-hmm. No, there's no real email saying fire as Orion. Nobody's asked for that. <laughs> uh, no, it's just what yeah, it's, it's, sh- it's shocking. I know it's what I think but, about uh, every day. No, uh, all the kill yourself <laughs> emails go to spam. <laughs> yeah, they go straight, they to, go the straight trash. to spam. I get them to find myself. Yes. Uh, gets Barry for $50 says they got more fucking monsters in the Loch Ness waters than they got people. Uh, then they got people like it's a Gundam. There you go. Yeah. There's no, no, nothing like it's a Gundam rare breed here. Uh, a breed of one. Uh, no. Yeah, they'll kill me soon enough, and they'll stuff my ass like the fucking dodo at the museum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the toxic YouTuber was a problem of the early 2020s. <laughs> that picture makes more sense now. <laughs> no, I'm looking up the stuffed dodo. Yeah, there is a stuffed fucking dodo. Is it in the <laughs> British Museum? Did I see that? Yeah, look at that poor little sucker. Oh, wow. They I really can't did. see it. We'll, we'll fucking stuff anything, dude. Well, yeah. Well, oh, God. Well, yeah. The only way you're going to see one. I was at F- your. Stuff anything. I was at the museum where uh, you had a. There's a giant tree sloth. I mean, they had to recreate that. But you had a, a stuffed bear that was so old in your museum, as in London, that the fur had faded because it was like 400 years old. <laughs> I'm like, you didn't. Re- you can't find a new one to replace it with. I don't know. But not the- bad. Just glad he wasn't trying, dude. That was the museum. <laughs> I got. I did this special behind the scenes tour. I was by myself. I have. I was an ugly American. I had my backpack on, and it was the Darwin exhibit. And they pulled out uh, all his fucking butterflies, his butterfly collection. And oh, I nice. Somebody called my name. Uh, said sir, you know, because I was wandering off, and I fucking turned around with my backpack and the and <laughs> I, the. Hit the fucking, I hit the fucking Darwin butterfly no! thing. Yes, and if the lady didn't have cat-like reflexes, they would have been all over the floor. I was fucking oh my mortified. God. <laughs> In the Darwin exhibit, yep. exhibit A. Whatever, they were already dead. The human man. We have brought back the guillotine for an American who destroyed the fucking Darwin exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> the crap we put you in the, in the fucking Tower of oh, London. Yes. The end of you. <laughs> A boomer in his natural habitat. Yes. Oh, yeah. that was... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nathaniel in Stan- the future, this guy will be late for streams <laughs> <laughs> uh, and will own at one time own a comic book shop. Yes, I mentioned it over and over again. Nath- oh, we got to bring hey, that comic shop's closing, by the way. Yeah, I heard very sad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nathaniel Stan- Stanley for $50 says, Hail, it's a Gundam and Friday Night Tights. I have nothing to say. Uh, so clown horn me, please. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Well, as long as he knows that the female actor of Taskmaster says that her version of Taskmaster may be even stronger than the male comic book version. Oh, oh naturally. Oh, no. This you is know, positive biology. news. Um, hey, it's v- stunning and brave of Olga Karolinka, who wore it for all of like fucking 30 minutes to say that. But, well, but she was in a green was screen room. Done by a man, though. The character was a man, so... Well, did you guys talk about how it was originally supposed to be the gun runner guy anyway in the original script? Yeah, yeah that, I figured that, that's, what, no. that's what some, pe- that's <laughs> what some people are saying. Yeah. That's what some people are saying. I I, I don't know. It, it is definitely possible. And well, it would make a lot of sense. However, that hasn't been confirmed, but the Tony Stark thing was. Right, exactly. And I heard an interview with OT, whatever the fuck his last name is. I don't know if I can say it on YouTube. Uh, but he, like, 
I, I just don't think the way he reacted, the way he sounded in that, it seems like he's trying to necessarily hide or anything. Just didn't even seem like it was really a thing. I don't know. I Okay, so why can't they find a stunt woman that's big to walk around in this suit? Why did they make the deliberate choice to put a man in there now? Do you guys think it was supposed to be a man all along and they changed their fucking mind or they wanted us to believe I, I that they're the same thing? They- I think they needed somebody that can make the character look uh, like it was a badass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I, but I just feel like I, I mean, I, I, do, I despise women, but I do feel <laughs> like <laughs> there has to be some uh, some women out there who could have done this. Some women, female stunt performers that could there have done are. this. There are. Yes. There's tons that could have done. Like, it. Grant, some I, of I the people it... from the fucking like the Amazons from like uh, on the fucking on Themyscira. Right. Yeah. Well, what's like, her face from Game of Thrones who played in uh, Star Wars as Chrome Dome? Uh, no, she, yeah, yeah. She's just no, no, you, 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 you don't, you don't get it. Yeah. This is pre coof So this is the, the era where they thought a reveal of a woman would be a gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So I think they purposely got a man. They purposely made it look like a male suit because it was. It had pecs and abs. They, and referred, they referred to him as a man in the movie. They referred to the people who don't know, obviously, who is yet yeah, right. referred to it as a male. But right. then it was meant to be like a gotcha it's at a, the oh, end. It's, it's the bait and switch. Oh, the, no. I'd like to think it was it's the first thing woman. Gary said. I doubt it's the last, but I think Az is right. If I had to put my two cents in. because I saw this coming from the yeah. second the trailer happened. Yep. And I was like, at now, the end, Every single Marvel thing is exactly the same. Just as yeah. exactly the same. You know what would have surprised me? If the helmet came off and oh. it got you. Despite the fact he's dead, he's also very small. <laughs> who, who was we that? Lost, we lost, we lost, we lost you there. You skipped out. Goddamn broken piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was me for a second. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, well, I can't remember the joke, so we're fucked. <laughs> so, yeah, you are high. Just fucked. Um, <laughs> That's the best first, way. But yeah, if it, if he, at this point in Marvel, if he had taken off the helmet and it had been a fucking white male, we all would have been shocked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. so, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I yeah. would have been more. Mm-hmm. First, oh my God, it's man. First, Kar- Karilenka claims the gender swap fits the story. Uh, no, it doesn't. She says, no, you, no, it doesn't. you see, it does fit the story. I was concentrating on, thi- on this story. She then stated the decision, character changes, wasn't made by me. And as far as I'm concerned, I was happy for that decision, of course, because well, it yeah, involves you're, me. You paid for it. And it's so much fun. What? You're getting your head CGI'd on something? Uh, (laughs) like the general statement of it makes sense that in a film that's about the subjugation of women and women breaking free from this bullshit that this mistreated person that wasn't her fault would be a woman that part is true but taskmaster is the part that makes no fucking sense you could have made just literally a shadowy character that was just dressed in all black they didn't say taskmaster none of that fucking garbage they could have just said it was like another another black widow it could have been nobody but they did it because remember that first trailer everyone was talking about taskmaster's outfit taskmaster's uniform oh taskmaster that's an interesting villain for black widow that's what everyone was talking about they used the character of taskmaster to get people interested they and switch. well, it's because he looks so much like Cobra Commander yeah. that everyone was just mesmerized. Yep. Well, um, if they could have made the Mandalorian a woman, they would have kicked Pedro Pascal to the curb. The only problem <laughs> with the whole subjugation of women thing was a woman subjugated all the women. Uh, yeah, she came we up with toxic. You notice that? Yeah, she came up well, with. There's the always those headlands. Round. <laughs> An ex Kurilenko Kurilenko claims the gender swap is irrelevant. She explains, "Well, I understand that they swap gender, but I think it's irrelevant, really, whether the character is a female or male, because who cares? That's the point of this. They don't. They there is no difference between men and women at all, uh, if, nope. except yeah. for that huge chest size and upper body strength and that extra six inches of girth." <laughs> That was <laughs> two characters. The scientific thing called sexual dimorphism. Yeah, uh, yeah. Big it. I I wonder if she would feel the same way if in Quantum of Solace her character was replaced with a man. I know I'd feel differently Ouch. about that movie. Yep. So, <laughs> it was still it was still bad, but it would have been way worse. Okay, dog shit movie. She then asserts. Well, 
She's okay. just as strong and maybe even str- she's just as strong and maybe even stronger. It's not about what gender you are. It's about what your capabilities are. Um, physically, yes. And uh, you you had to use a man. You had to use a man to make it look like uh, it was uh, that the taskmaster was capable of those capabilities. You couldn't use a yep. female stunt woman. Uh, so it does matter, and it, you guys lied, basically, and now you're saying there's no, and it, it was so fucking low effort, you didn't even try to hide it. That's no, the, wait, if the argument of who cares doesn't hold any weight, because if it's a who cares, why did you change it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. That's the, that's the big thing. On on the uh, Uncharted 4 video game with Neil Cockman, Kel Surprise, uh, the child at the end of the game was meant to be a son. And then somebody said, what if it was a, a girl? And so Neil changed it to a girl. And then when he was questioned on it, when he revealed this gender swap, he said, well, it, you know, it didn't matter if it was a boy or a girl. But it did because you changed the character that you wanted to right. put into a different gender. So it mattered and cared to you. Same with Taskmaster. Taskmaster is a male character. Loki, female Loki. We're seeing it with everything. We've got a Hawkeye, but we've got Kate Bishop. We've got Tony Stark, but now we've got a fucking Riri Williams. We've seen it with everything. And they say, well, it doesn't matter if your race change. It doesn't matter if your sexuality change. If it doesn't matter, why are you doing it to these characters? In the first place. It God, matters yeah, but, but, to you. So you can't but, bullshit people with that line. Yeah. But this is the shift that they always take because they're the ones that introduce the identity politics. They're the ones that tell you how important representation is and how it's important that we have more diverse characters. And then when they get what they want, then they flip the argument to go, well, what does it matter? Well, no, what does it matter now? Because you've changed something. You've changed well, the lore. You've changed yeah. this character. Well, now you want to fall back on the same argument that you claimed was toxic and bigoted. It took energy to change the character from what it was supposed to be. Right. It right. took energy. It took more You could have energy. just done what is in the comics and what the c- character is, but it took energy to change it and come up with a completely different storyline and backstory for a character when you already had one created. No, so this, it did matter. This, and, it, and it did matter, and it was stepping yeah. too far. You even have the uh, uh, some of the Marvel stands were fucking outraged by this. And that's like even Charlie in yeah. Emergency Awesome was like, ah, that wasn't a very good decision. That's as hard as he'll ever get. So, yeah, you step too far, and for you're right. You guys are right. For Olga to come out and say, who cares? Fucking every fucking nerd cares. Well, every yeah. fucking I, nerd I can make cares. the point from like the ang- angle of I barely know who Taskmaster is. So, like, to me, to change the gender wasn't a big deal. And I don't know if you guys would agree with this or not, but to me, the bigger issue wasn't so much that it was changed. It was that they did it for no good reason. They didn't add anything to it to make it like, well, that's a good reason. Like, I don't know, even if they would have just had it to where she wasn't this autonomous fucking robot and she actually had motivation and that's why she kept going after Black Widow because she killed her dad or attempted to kill her dad and her. The the character was so... at Paper least made thin. more exactly like it would at least given her something to work with. And to me, it was just like, why does it even matter? And that's like, why, exactly, yeah. Like that's why so many people were saying, "Oh, maybe that's Rachel Wise's character, right?" Because people were thinking that would actually it would be fucking stupid for them to change it. But at least that would be like some sort of right, some sort of twist, a character right. betrayal. Right. Oh, I trusted you, right? Yeah. But that's not what but, they did. Oh it's no, just it, some, it, it just some girl in a flashback well, that and we they didn't actually, see yeah. close. Yeah. And they like actually, from, we saw this girl from like 30 yards away. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Didn't have any dialogue. We never met them in person. It was fucking Tech Taeyun from fucking Doctor Who. It's the same fucking thing. Uh, <laughs> the same fucking and thing. And we, uh, yeah, we did I'm see pretty Ripper's sure video. someone pitched a Twitch like, you know, what if Taskmaster was a woman? Because <laughs> that's the message we're putting across that women are strong, bold, beautiful, and capable. Yeah. And oh, it's that's right there. It was yeah, like, that's yes, it's directing. a great idea. Put that bitch in a green screen suit and just Photoshop her over the dude. <laughs> Not only that, reshoot. make her a mindless s- slave on top of it all. No, she wasn't yeah. mindless by choice. They robbed her of who she was. And oh. Black Widow gave it back. Is you he bigot. gone? See, I, was, I gone? was waiting for she wasn't mindless by choice. She's just a woman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it, right? Uh, and then, and then uh, John F. Trent comes out with the, the facts, you know, like a fifty uh, t- uh, a bunch of 15-year-olds beat the female soccer, Olympic female soccer team and from Texas. Yeah, that was classic. Multiple times? Yeah, multiple times. <laughs> multiple and times. Uh, clearly, 
Kirilenko admits she's happy she took the role because it benefited her career. I don't know about that. But all of her <laughs> virtue signaling about gender not mattering is exactly that, just virtue signaling. Uh, the, uh, the fastest time in the 100 meters by a woman was set by Florence Griffith Joyner of the United States at the 1988 U United States Olympic Trials in Indianapolis, Indiana. She ran a time of 10.49 seconds. There are four high schoolers from just California that ran faster times in 2019. Uh, so yeah, yeah. it, it, and they did it all men, by the way. Yeah, they're all men. But you know, gender doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Is that we the director? See, uh, that's the director. Yeah, that was the director Who's right in a, there. In a yeah. fucking moo moo directing an action <laughs> scene. <laughs> I need Jesus my coffee. Christ. Well, her Terrible. last job was directing traffic, so I mean. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Where's your trigger? I'll just stick with that one. I meant to hit my rim shot. Fuck it. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah, we yeah. did see, we saw, we saw Young Ripper's video, and Young Ripper was just in the chat. So what's oh, going on, was. Young Ripper? Oh, yeah, Ripper was in the chat. So, what's up, Ripper? Um, and you guys go, yeah. Ripper's had some really good takes on a lot of this stuff recently. So, um, much better than his Mario Kart skills. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, the uh, oldest character, uh, she went from a twelve-year-old girl when ScarJo was what, probably around twenty-eight to thirty. Uh, getting blown up to a 41 year old woman and older than Scarlett Johansson. I didn't even fucking <laughs> think of that. I, I, will, I will say that, like, it, that part almost doesn't matter because she's fucking covered in burns. So, she like, she's covered in burns. She's older. We talking about. Yeah. She was still she was fit. Up in like the, I'd be like, she had a it. piece of bacon stuck to her face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her face was fucked up. And I, and I can work with that, do, quarter black. I, I can question, work with that. I do question why on. General Drakov had no lasting damage from the same blast. She is but, 40, yeah. she's exactly, 41 yeah. years old. So, yeah, she was a little girl to Scarlett Johansson by 10 years easily, right? I didn't even mm -hmm. think of that. And until now she's you six years that. older than Scarlett Johansson. Low fucking yeah. effort. It's it's Disney whipping its dick out and saying, You guys will just take anything we'll fucking give you. And no, I, it's Disney whipping its labia let's out. Just be real. Slum it up. Here well, same like thing. Same Wonder thing. Woman yeah, made no thing. sense. No, it didn't. Wonder Woman. Yeah. No, it didn't. <laughs> Like we're sitting here like, whoa, she came out older than Scarlett Johansson. I'm like, uh, did you see Wonder Woman? The Wishmaster? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, Wonder Woman eighty four is is bad. W one of the fucking. It's, <laughs> it's worse than Black Widow. Yes, it uh, is. Yeah. Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Um, Much Pat, worse. Pat, Pat, I, don't know, I, I, don't know I don't know if it's worse. All I know is I ain't watching either of them ever again. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, I don't think about so them much less sense. Sense. You got uh, Wonder Woman raping a guy, or you got Milena fucking subjugating and a this is where as is like i don't mind that rape <laughs> <laughs> knock me out who baby. would uh, who would chris pine take over my body mate now, now that's what they want you to say gundam to to justify the the horrendous rapping yep. uh, you're right yeah. what i've just said was ableist and bigoted yep yes <laughs> wait wait oh let's check hang on time to check the green oh Ah, we're still good. This is impossible. Maybe my cookies are set to the wrong thing. Maybe let's go inside. Let me go. Let me go. Try to get too monetized. Shift, shift refresh, man. Yeah. Let me check. This is weird. Shift. It's, I'm uh, monetized. It's, the kind it's, of this shit. We, we, with with quarter black and X ray girl, uh, we're barely over the diversity quota yeah. right now. Oh, so we are close, green. So. We are green. Maybe it's yeah. The, yeah maybe it's the representation. It is. Uh, hey, Gundam, Gundam's bringing us a little bit of representation. Yeah, Thank you. I'm bringing a whole bunch. I got fucked out of a country. <laughs> <laughs> now, that could mean a few things for you. So A couple, yeah. But we're mm. going to focus on the one where I should be paid for the loss of land to my ancestors <laughs> and having to walk across the goddamn country. That's another one. True. You yeah. did Kung Fu? Fucking hell, dude. That's awesome. I was going to say, is it bad I that didn't I offered you? I didn't know they made Asian people walk across the country. <laughs> is it bad that I offered That's you horrible. beans and whiskey to come on today? The Trail of Tears. Yeah. I walked it every day on YouTube. Uh, the hex spelled for three hundred dollars. Oh boy! I wow! Uh, whoa! <laughs> almost did the clown horn. Nearly, close, nearly. This close. <laughs> this close. Thank you, the hex spelled. Uh, been following most y'all for years. Seeing you all together is more than orgasmic. Ooh, ladies! Nice. I'm gonna have to get myself one of those things, man. 
Dude, there it's an it's orgasm. Oh, an orgasm? <laughs> no, the little <laughs> I'm gonna have to get me one of those. It's a road <laughs> podcaster. I gotta get myself one of those <laughs> orgasm <laughs> things. Even that's I got right, girls even laughing at that one. Yep. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the break uh, from the incessant the joyless then. mutterings of the woke. My first super chat, very long overdue. See you in Vegas. So you get a double. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Dude. Hell yeah. See you in Vegas. The hex spelled. Uh, yes, there will be an RSVP out on Monday and there will be a flyer and information on my website and on Twitter and on Instagram and all that shit that all those assholes and big fucking Silicon Valley own. Uh, Jason Smoot for $200. You guys are absolutely killing it tonight. Freaking hilarious. Why? Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Enoch Maman for $50. $50 says, hey, Jeremy and Ryan. Been watching the Mario Kart streams every week. Thanks for those streams. I just bought a Switch and Mario Kart 8 today. Nintendo should pay you guys. Maybe someday I can, uh, maybe someday I can, I can your asses. Unlikely. Way. But a man can dream. Maybe beat your asses. Your own word there. I think he meant to put beat your asses, but yeah. Yeah. Fuck your asses. Or fuck and your asses. asses. Yeah. Or maybe pass. someday I could fuck your asses. I, I, I maybe totally, maybe totally I could just like fuck your asses. Well, hello there. Yeah. I agree with that super chat uh, that Nintendo should be paying me to play that fucking dog shit every day. They should be paying me. Uh, so I agree. They, they should be paying me. It gets mentioned so much on my show. So. <laughs> That's true. That's fine. But yeah, it's. Uh, the uh, the amount of Jason, I think taking them out in. to lunch first might might help. Yeah, before yeah. The, yeah. The, you need to yeah. be quiet. And fucking yeah. Nintendo will come yeah. with a bill for you, I, motherfucker. I, I, <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think if you watch these streams, you should know that if you fuck up like that, we're gonna re- we're gonna use it against you. So uh, talking about yeah. a man can dream and doing things to our asses. Ugh. <laughs> So borderline hey, careful. As long as it's, it's as long as it's those guys over there, I'm ab- I'm absolutely behind you on that one. Uh, behind you? Wait, wait, you're uh, behind him? him? <laughs> oh, <whoa>. Well played, <laughs> this Jerry. Is a now. Oh. This is just a chain. <laughs> Drowning this clown. This is all kinds of fucked up. Now. Fifty dollars. <laughs> Hail Friday Night Tights and Mohammed bin Salman. Uh, <laughs> I love you, Papa Gundam. Y'all be gentle with him. Oh, we promise. Thank you for the $50. Oh, Az, don't give up now. I think we need a reset. Is it still, oh. is it still hot over there? In I'll the- do it for you, Gary. Basically, we're trying to give him heat stroke live on video, so this would <laughs> yeah. be part of the best of. We are. It's for science. <laughs> there you go. Welcome, Alastama bin Azan. You made a no- you made a noise like a few super chats ago. You were like, "Hello, can you do that again?" <laughs> can you say Basha K Ali? <laughs> You're gonna trap me. Whatever you All do, I don't mention say Jihadi John. Is is Allah Akbar and and I believe I believe in the. Look, there you go. <laughs> what was that about Admiral Akbar? Ad, Ad, yeah, Admiral Akbar! It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. Leo Fisher for $50. <laughs> Hail Friday Night Tights. Welcome back, X-Ray Girl. They missed you last week, X-Ray Girl. Mm. Uh, you make the night 10 times better. Her husband, new husband, made us sick. Yeah, it's uh, time to give it up. She's married, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Like, uh, the second a woman gets married, I pull the fucking ripcord. <laughs> <laughs> I had an ex-girlfriend, like, messaging me, and I was literally like, um, you just got engaged. Swipe out of here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my agent says my time is money, baby. I can't go wasting it on, like, nowheresville. Ah, uh, yes, let me <laughs> fill the void of your day while he's at work. Yes, <laughs> let me entertain you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. No, it's, it's, it's actually kind of juicy. I like it. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. Wait till they become your ex-wife, and then you're like happy when they stop calling. And uh, yeah, and I've got a new issue where money. ex-girlfriends that got married are now getting divorced, and they're looking for me. Mm-hmm. And thank God I never exposed that I'm it's a Gundam. 
to my personal life. So like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm in accounting right now. It's very lucrative. <laughs> We're looking to put some money in livestock. Uh, do you believe in stonks? Stonks. <laughs> I'm not telling her I got anything going on. No. No, no. There, there, I'm sure there's entire Facebook groups. Uh, ex, well, newly ex-wives looking to re-up with old boyfriends. It's a thing. Uh, J mm -hmm. switch. Oh my god! How in the fuck am I supposed to say J H Schwalbach? Sh I'm, I'm fucked that up. Sorry. Fifty dollars for J H. <laughs> Daughter booked her wedding two years ago in France. Koof put it off until this August, and now she is pissed that I'm going to Vegas instead. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's her fault. Hey, your daughter will have another fucking wedding. Yeah, she point. will. <laughs> well, technically, he could FaceTime the wedding. That's oh, what it's I too It's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. Uh, he says she's uh, always been selfish. Hail the two bills. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yes. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've never hey. seen Ryan so happy. Yeah, I, 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 a good female getting owned story always <laughs> really gets me going. You know, I really it's appreciate amazing. that. There are people who try to push the narrative that I hate women online because I make jokes. I genuinely think Ryan is angry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm happy right now. Like he came out like I hate women unabashedly. There was no hesitation. The dude rolled in like Mike Tyson <laughs> fighting Buster <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, demonetization anyone? I, I, I wear my heart on my sleeve, what can I say? Yeah. <laughs> I wear my, my oh, God, I'm, I was going to say misantry. I wear my I was, wife beater all the time. That now. <laughs> Misogyny on my I wear my wife beater on my chest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an open book. Oh, my God. Uh, and then, again, for $50 more from J.H. Schwalbach for $50. It says, if you don't make a vid of X-Ray Girls' reactions during this show, you're not human. <laughs> no, yeah, that I'm might be the Schwalbach. move to make, honestly. I'm married to Kevin Smith. No, I'm not Schwalbach married to Kevin Smith. I gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you for the $50. Uh, I look so at an X-Ray Girl. Okay, that's not too just... bad. <laughs> Uh, not Natia for fifty dollars. We'll say Natia. Hey guys, I love you all's content, and have been bringing for years past week. You can count me in with your biological female Zoomer viewership. Said I have to qualify <laughs> like that. Says Natia for fifty dollars. Thank you. Natia. Natia. Interesting accent Natia. to use. For yeah, it's like female. what accent is that? Mm, <laughs> I don't know. Right. It's, it's Eastern European female weightlifter accent. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bigoted. That's what it is. That's, That's all you need to know. Uh, uh, yeah. I make you my girlfriend. Uh, by, uh, Brian <laughs> for for one hundred dollars. What, what, what was the name? What was the name? <laughs> Uh, I, I almost said Byron, but it's Brian. So, that, yeah, I probably <laughs> fucked that up. But it's for a stream live donation. You, oh, my God. What? I've been kicked I out just, of three high schools. Get fucked. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just remembered that. Remember in the Olympics when, like, some East German women failed a sex test? Because they had, like, too much. Like, too, too, now, too, I guess it's not a big oh, deal. Sounds I know. Nowadays, because <laughs> they had, like, you know, elevated testosterone levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. So they, so they felt, nowadays, just fucking come on in. Come on. Got a dick. No big come on in. Uh, yeah. Nowadays. Want to lift weights? Want to smash every world record and make women a mockery? Come on. I'm going to enter your balls, women's featherweight boxing. It's like they're going out of the way to prove that men are better, better at everything. <laughs> yeah. It's just like. You could. They're even winning beauty pageants. Exactly, oh, my no. point. Like, oh, you yes, hear about are. that? Yes. How did you fuck no. you is that? And you're going yeah. to Vegas. What? Yeah. I missed that because no, I'm off. I'm off Twitter. Oh, I got banned I, from Twitter. I, 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 did, I, did not, I covered it on live stream. I think it was like Miss New Mexico as the trans. No, it was Miss Vegas. Miss Vegas. Yeah, maybe it was Vegas. Uh, yeah. Miss Nevada. How are you Nevada. guys yeah, going? You don't there know. You I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm in Britain, in Brame. I'm in Britain. I'll dig up the article as I'll send it to you. It's pretty funny. Oh yeah. yeah, I know. I mean, oh my god, they're still well. They're still bitter because you know what, what they're trying to do. Caitlyn Jenner won the men's decathlon back in like 1988 or some shit. So now they're some trying to even time. the odds here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what bothers me about Caitlyn Jenner? 
Oh, the fact Number that she one. got away with killing somebody? Okay. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, oh, there you one. go, man. Answer. Caitlyn Jenner transitioning. Got rid of my joke. I can't make the Bruce transgender joke no fucking more because he actually did it. And yeah. two, doesn't even bother getting a woman's voice. <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> didn't even try. Yeah, you hear like this dude talking. I come in the room. I'm like, who's this fucking dude here? What? what that's a woman, right? What's going on here? I really think what finally gave Caitlyn Jenner the extra push was when she realized she truly does drive like a woman. Uh, so that's, oh, when, that's, that's when Bruce. Oh. That was a moment of realization. Yeah, it was Caitlyn. And that's the moment we used the green. I, I used yeah, all the rubber pronouns and everything. We it wasn't. It's fine. a Gundam. It's Ryan. Of uh, course. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, when you guys like come for me online. Just find Ryan. God. You're radicalizing. It's a Gundam. <laughs> Jesus, Send stop my it. Way. Send him my way. So, um, uh, oh, okay, whatever. No, are you gonna? Well, you can still comment on it. Just, I just. Uh, yeah, I, go for it. Fire, fire. Go. Do it. As you should have told do it. As you should have done it. Is, <laughs> you you now you're just goading as me. Person. And you should have shown as that person be like, hey, as look at this chick's pretty hot. Yeah, huh? that's good. <laughs> hey, as that I met, I, as, as you're missing out, this is Miss Vegas. You're missing out on meeting this this chick. And you're like, oh, let me get out my fucking I would smash it. that and everyone be like, ah! as I met a girl online. <laughs> <laughs> still, my, still my favorite uh, Caitlyn Jenner picture. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up, buckaroos. Buckle up, buckaroos. <laughs> I'm going to be a serious question. Soon. Is this before or after the transition? <laughs> is, it's after. Um, it's after. Because it's a MAGA hat, so it's after the 2014 Oh, you're right. Or whatever. Oh, my God. How did I miss well, that clue? You're still wearing uh, a polo. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get out of shirt. Gavin Newsom. Uh, I'm coming after you, Gavin. I'm a nice fucking Jimmy Choo's, huh? I would be it's surprised if Billy office. Jenner could still kick my ass. <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah, could kick guns? all of us asses together in this room at once, probably. One point, I'm not going that far. The I, world. I have to get back to that super chat. <laughs> so, uh, Brian, for $100. <laughs> Uh, we need a movie ratings qualifier. A girl might be an eight, but only a Hollywood four. The Tomorrow War is a four, but only a pre JJ Abrams two. Okay, so I it's get like the math. we're rating it. I'm we're rating it yeah. like okay. I got you. Well, lowered expectations. I mean, I think everybody pretty yeah. much said that. I agree. Mm -hmm. I yeah. totally yep. agree with that. Yeah. 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 Yep, absolutely. It, it I, was, I would never argue that. It was perfect for a, there's nothing else on. It's Sunday at 9. We're not that tired. Let's fucking just sit here and watch a dumb fucking movie kind of movie. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, WG for, oh, what was that, Ryan? Go on, sorry. There's, there's a lot of dumb fucking movies that we all really enjoyed in like the 80s and 90s and shit. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Oh, my girlfriend dumb, from hell. That was a classic. <laughs> just dumb action flicks, you know? Um, and that's like, ironically... That's kind of what we need more of in Hollywood. Well, just shit like that. Action, 80s action movie renaissance. That's what I want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. That's what we need. At, we need some blood sports. We need some. Well, that's what we need. Some of oh, that yeah. going on. Well, Kick boxes, we need, like, Kind of like new that. Rambo. Some toxic masculinity. New Rambo, Look at the yes. movies that have been the most popular ones as far as like the surprise hits in the last. Oh, just even two years. Uh, let's start with like, you know, Joker. And then you've mm -hmm. got like Fat Man. You've got uh, the one that uh, with nobody. the guy was nobody. That's thank you. That's the one I was trying to think of. <laughs> nobody, yeah. and then just recently with the the future war, which like you guys said before, John I came Wick. In here, yeah, John Wick of two is another one. That, yeah, I, I even forgot about because now it's a franchise. That's the thing, you know, and that's the thing. That's how franchises used to start. You know, you'd have like a big hit, and then it's like, oh, how, how can we exploit this? Instead of thinking, well, how do we create a franchise with this before you even get the first movie out the door? That's exactly. Nobody how was nobody was good fun. Videos. That was that yeah, was a it good, was it was great fun film. I like that. I like that. But what's what's in common with all those movies is they're not like overly woke. They're not like throwing crap in your face. Are they like overly masculine? Not really. Outside of maybe Fat Man, <laughs> like really, I, I just don't get it. And even Fat Man's probably the wokest of the bunch. But I think like any fight scene that involves someone bleeding is more masculine than what we deal with today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
I, I like how Caitlyn Jenner is still on the screen. <laughs> well, you know yeah, that should have been taken down a while ago. You just <laughs> that is the perfect the yin and yang of masculine look and feminine this, uh, coming look, together, I, isn't is it? That, is that Rene? Look at I, look what I found when I was doing the search for it. I, I didn't even know there was more to this story. Look at look at this right here. Look at look at the reason. Here comes behind trouble. It. <laughs> accidentally wore it. What the fuck? Accidentally? <laughs> fuck you! Accidentally wear a hat. Well, my eyesight must be really bad. It could explain the accident. I, the never heard that Whoops. Part of the story. I accidentally ordered a MAGA hat from his I website and didn't put it on before I drove <laughs> it. A convertible. I'm sorry, I Dad. can't. What the fuck? Did I this is probably the best thing I've seen all day. <laughs> I, I accidentally murdered that again, hooker. I, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> My bad. Ordered that I hooker and I promise to get rid of the hooker. I do promise. Caitlyn Jenner says she accidentally wore a pro Trump. She accidentally <laughs> rear-ended somebody and killed somebody. I promise too. Yeah. to get rid, of it. get rid of it. Okay. I promise Did Caitlyn film it. herself burning that hat full of hate? <laughs> it shows you how much the bitch gives a shit about poor trans people that's for fucking sure make american great again there trump and i get some tax breaks yes caitlin you're a beautiful woman i'm gonna make sure you keep all your money so your vagina stays moist no 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 that was a mistake i forgot i was on youtube no it's okay we're still green we're still green oh wow i accidentally made that joke at work this is actually i didn't realize it before this the photo has actually been edited uh what i didn't realize that initially i i am yeah the original here gary um they were trying to protect the career of a young tom holland uh, <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only person that finds it took me a second to horrible. see what was going on? That is great. Well, Renee, done. Renee, <laughs> fuck yeah, Renee. <laughs> we, we, you know, it's, we're gonna get promising future. We're gonna get right to the end of the stream. It's all going to be green, and then X-Ray Girl's just going to say the M-bomb, and it's all yeah, fucked. Totally. Yeah, that's going <laughs> to throw it's going to go down. Honestly, and then I've got a hitter, and then it's like, Asian hate. Yeah, every, yeah, every, week, every week she does this, you know, so it's... <sighs> why we keep her muted. She sits there and gives, like, these looks, and that's how I know how bad things are getting. <laughs> the only time she doesn't have a reaction is when Ryan says something about women that seems misogynistic. She's stone cold. <laughs> like she's used, used to, it. to it. <laughs> I was like, that's how you could tell a spirit's been broken. Good lord, what am I doing here? She's secretly <laughs> sharpening a knife. Balance. I just caught her doing Morse code again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Broke. A couple weeks ago, she was sending out, uh, yeah, right there. She was sending yeah, out. Well, you guys get so fucking so. canceled. They're going to say, like, X ray girl was held captive in multiple <laughs> yeah. streams listening to misogynistic man children views. Have you seen the Gundam? Have you seen the secret? Emotes already? Come on, yes, man. Yes, I have. The emotes just say help. There's a reason yeah, why. Help. help. She needs yeah. help. She wants to escape, man. I just <laughs> sat there and thought, oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> It's not even funny. That's, That's the show, folks. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> God. I, Ryan's will has finally I been broken. What usually I want to smash a fucking pizza, I want to smash a burger. I would take being smashed by one right now. I'm so fucking hungry. Uh, but. You're yeah. telling me that turkey burger doesn't fill you up? I have them all the time. I will. No. Nutritious and delicious. It's not even getting a turkey burger. It's fucking uh, ground rice and ground turkey. Oh, yeah. I'm cool with that. Oh, my God. God, I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> Put some soy sauce in it, man. I want to see the American Psycho clip oh, okay. of uh, Ryan. Do we have that on standby that Perry did? That was so good. <laughs> I, I think, like, everyone is like, oh, extra girl, she has it so bad. Extra girl has it so bad. Her options are fucking this, which I don't think is that fucking bad, or, like, fucking making Nikes or whatever. So I, I, don't oh think, <laughs> I don't think that this is Why really Ryan that bad. This time getting us canceled. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> like, when you guys go down, he's going to be the fucking catalyst. <laughs> Oh, 
hit his head in the end is so fucking funny. <laughs> like angles down. <laughs> that is perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> I've never yeah, seen yeah, anything so self-work. lifelike in all my life. <laughs> <laughs> right down to the two Asians that I got in the background. You know? Oh my god. It's like, just like you, you, you two stand there and watch me go and it's just like, okay. You were just well, over it. Let's see if I can break my neck on a slip and slide. <laughs> <laughs> right now. I did hear you were a big deal in Asia, as I mean. Oh, well, man. you know. I yeah. haven't seen a slipping slide in thousands of years. <laughs> well, as you live I mean, in the city, do they make them? Probably a good That's how I'm going to get into bed do. tonight. That's exactly how I'm going to get into bed you tonight. In, you live in this place called New York, so there are other places that have like grass in front of their houses, <laughs> and they can slide on. Oh, I'm in slides. upstate New York. We have very interesting things. Uh, oh, I'm you can be attacked by a bald eagle if it so chooses to swoop oh. in on you. Um, you ever fight a turkey a before? I don't recommend it. <laughs> no, <laughs> those little well, motherfuckers, dude, they're in the mood to kill you. They the come wild for ones? you. Yeah, they're fucking this, this is getting kind of hypnotic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little mesmerized now. Yeah, I know. I can't take my eyes off him. Oh, no. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's oh, strangely no. satisfying. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've ridden my motorcycle to the mountains and found rams. I've never seen a ram <laughs> chilling on rocks before. Yeah, they, they stay, well, they're <laughs> like Spider Man. They fucking stand on like like yeah, they do. something yeah, it's like, like this on the far rock out. looking at me, just looking at you, and going, like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, it's like, "What is he doing?" I'm like, "How is it not falling?" Yeah, and he's, like, <laughs> the, he's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" We you have him. What fucking Lee looking at mate? Ah, uh, why are you falling off the rowan? Fuck you. The Rams like, look what we got here, boys. It's a city boy. <laughs> 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 Hey, little Ram, you want a candy bar? (laughs) Well, that was a positive interaction. Squeal, little piggy. Squeal. No. I don't go that far up. Uh, Actually, I have gone that far. You're in deliverance country here, boy. You know you're in trouble when you smell nothing but cow shit when you roll down the windows. Dude, that's when I'm oh, home. To Wisconsin. That that's back. when I'm home. I, I run on the window cow shit. I'm like, yeah, baby, we're back in the country. Uh. <laughs> we're, we're caught now, and I just retweeted it, so that probably doesn't help. <laughs> Triggering Twitter. Hey, uh, WG has given us a uh, wait. Oh, oh, I almost did it. One hundred dollars. <laughs> Thank you, WG. Hey, on Friday night tights. Great show. Uh, per SOP, uh, per you is that per you? That's not so? per usual. Per se. standard operating procedure. Standard operating nah. procedure. Thank you. Uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, the this gun darn it guy is no slouch either. Only issue I have is I think Ryan confused tonight with his women haters of America San Diego chapter. <laughs> women <laughs> haters anonymous club. Uh, which e man woman haters club. <laughs> which are Monday through Thursday, Saturday, and twice on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a correction to make. There's nothing anonymous about it. Uh, yes, <laughs> it's very out in the open. Week. It's, it's public. It's you t- got to give it to him. Like he does it, and it's toxic. But a we lost you again, we lost you again. God damn it. Hold Mama on, Susan's attacking you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's too hard for YouTube. It could be my, you. I was trying to hook up this uh, amplifier as simulator in my computer, not knowing what the fuck I was doing. Long story short, I fucked up my sound for God knows how long. I'm just going to buy like a $2,000 cabinet fucking head and call it a day. Yeah. I'm with Nerd Roddick. Fuck all this technology bullshit. Yes. <laughs> it's not guitar if you can't feel your organs vibrating. That's right. That's goddamn right. Uh, look at this, man. Uh, took longer than usual, but dinner finished, and the show has been fantastic tonight. Hail all. Mm, mm, mm. God, that looks good. Fucking, is that right. lasagna and meatballs? Oh, Ooh, and fucking, is that lasagna and Alfredo? Oh, that's, uh, oh, pesto really right lasagna. there. I'd be that looks really good. So, pesto and chicken. Dinner looks like something I'd make for myself. And Alfredo would, lasagna is something I would fuck right you know, now. Lasagna. I'm so fucking <laughs> Christ. <laughs> and pesto chicken. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. And uh, a stretcher. <laughs> There you go. Tastes just like and cherry cola. Cherry cola. I, yeah, I like That's how awesome. Gary always pretends he doesn't know how to pronounce German words just to throw everybody off. You know what I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't sorry. know what this means. 
<laughs> what does Reich mean? What I mean, yeah. R- Ricky, Ricky What's mean? This word, what does this Reich mean? Reich. 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 Oh, I'm sorry, Reich. Reich. Yes. Reich. Oh. <laughs> what does this Reich mean here? I just, I just don't oh, sorry. Uh, we are still green. All right. Still green. Thank you, WG. Thank you. Thank you. Tom Brown for $100. Oh, Jesus, you guys. You guys are making it fucking rain tonight. Hail and uh, can't wait till they said Godzilla is racist for killing Japanese people. Gary, I have an extra picture <laughs> of the Storm King I will send to you. I should have the full album for you soon. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Tom Brown. Uh, thank Godzilla you for the is Japanese. Uh, That's a good point. It, well, is he? It's a lot of Japanese. He can on kill Japanese, as many Asian uh, people as yeah. he wants because he is an Asian entity. So it's okay. That's how it works. So it's okay to kill <laughs> as long as you're the same race. Is that, is yeah, that, that's, okay. that's race like. on race. Yeah, it's violence, it's violence, it's policy, to be honest. So just stop problem, all the Asian talk. hate. That's uh, that's what I got. I know, say. right? Apart from on the next right go. I'm just saying I've seen enough videos on Twitter <laughs> of black people running each other over in the ghetto. This seems oh, to be a correlation yeah. between that and Godzilla, I think. They're like having shootouts and the people are just recording yeah, they, them from the window laughing. It's like Grand Theft Auto, They're like, shoot dude. him. Yeah. Shoot him. Like, shoot they run shoot him, him over, shoot get, him. Him. get out of the car and shoot him while he's down and get back in the car and the person filming doesn't react. Just like huh? X-Ray Girl when Ryan says something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so oh, cool. they're shooting. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, girl, look at this shit. They driving mm. away. Like and I'm like, oh my like, god! It is so calm sometimes, <laughs> like just a daily occurrence. Uh, Ian, so forth for seventy-five pounds. That's oh, that's real money, real money. Thank money. you. Oh, uh, British yeah, ball rock girly. Rock. Uh, this show so still green. It's particularly a plug-in hybrid. Oh, ha, ha, very, I'll give you that. <laughs> But you barely earned it, and only because you paid for it. But no, like yeah, you know, I, that's what you seventy five bucks got you. That's what it got you. I'll give you another one just for that. But there's, yeah, I, I, I guarantee you, the minute this thing flips over, it's going yellow. Oh yeah, yeah. as soon as it processes. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Well, well, I got a meme that's probably going to help get us there. Okay, let's go. Now, so no, let's not do that. Let's screen. do some inclusive I'm stuff. Sharing my screen now. So um. There we go. <laughs> Hell yeah. No ma'am. I need to buy that show on DVD. No ma'am. Uh, no ma'am. No ma'am. I, I need totally that shirt. Yeah. Actually, we do. The great Al Bundy. Uh, <laughs> Man, Classic. back when back when comedy was actually great. Funny. I think, yeah. I think Ryan should become the new Austin Powers. <laughs> hey, is a, 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 are there I stand with Vic? T-shirts, there have to be, right? Out there, do you know sure. who sell, does Rakeda sell them or something? I need one uh, for the Star Trek convention because the Star Trek convention <laughs> banned Vic Mignogna uh, for being Vic Mignogna, Mignogna, lasagna, whatever, however you say it. They pronounce him because they couldn't pronounce his name. Or yeah. they banned him. <laughs> Fuck. They, they renounce him because they can't it. pronounce him. There it is. Oh, <laughs> Boom. whoa. Wow. Boom. Got him. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, um, there is a uh, Amazon link for you, Ryan, so you can go and buy that shirt. Oh hell yeah! Woo! Hell yeah! Look at that. I dropped it in our price. Ryan's gonna be like, oh Man. shit! I still I say need. they got to do married with grandchildren. It'd be That'll brilliant. never happen. <clears throat> never. Fucking brilliant. You know what? You know what they would do with it though? They would completely fucking turn it on him. its head. They would they cuck would every cuck every his dude. ass. Unfortunately, yes. But what it should be is you have. You know, Peg and Al are stuck raising the grandkids, and and Bud still lives in the basement, but he has two beautiful daughters who he has to constantly beat <laughs> a bunch of assholes off of that are just like him when he was growing up. Yep. And then Kelly's some super famous model whose kid is this uber geek, like knows everything, who's the exact opposite of everything she was. And you can make him the woke character, so he just gets on Al's nerves all the time. It would be brilliant, but they won't it do it that be, way. It, You're right. No. Hmm. And I love how we're beat him. Yeah, I love, I love how we're destroying uh, X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> disappointment <laughs> corner. <laughs> That's how Odin looks about seventy-five percent of the time that yep. he's here. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who came to. He we, looks we, so with ashamed. Idea. God boy, <laughs> that, 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 he's, 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 he's counting all the, the words he's got to confess this week. So I hope he doesn't go to hell because you people. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, clearly he is. Ryan has radicalized him so much. It's I think no, no I think I've only made Odin ascend further into heaven just in comparison, right? God's like you got geez, a point these are the people you <laughs> fuck around with. You the fact that you are staying true to my, me, son. We're we're putting you to the top. <laughs> well, Jesus always did hang around with the thieves and the hookers and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, tax collector's so point. Yeah, yeah, tax, yeah, just to make himself look better. The riffraff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Who wouldn't look like the son of God when you hang out with people like that? God damn it. <laughs> I guess if you hung out with Hunter Biden, you would look pretty tame. That's a good <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Oh, He's got the Messiah standing next to I can't believe true. Ryan said that. <laughs> Father, <laughs> Father Christopher Miller, uh, we apologize. Yeah. So sorry. <laughs> Don't bring weed. Oh, no. What the fuck you are you talking about? Weed. This is all you got. Speak for yourself, buddy. The royal yeah. weed. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny to me, but it is. Hang on. Is that mean? <laughs> it's, you mean it's, the whole? You mean the whole show? No, no. The <laughs> sh- yes. No. Uh, no. It's uh. <laughs> it's fucking open. <laughs> 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 It's a fucking Templar. You fucking what? What? Templar. I don't know. It's fucking hilarious. It's, it's hilarious. Can you imagine no, Odin being a Templar? Personally. Can you imagine Odin going on a crusade, Jeremy? I'd have to go outside and get on a horse. Oh. Uh, Are you winning, son? Like, <laughs> if you had a shotgun yeah, in his hand, it would have been perfect. Ay, ay, ay. Vasidius for ninety nine, ninety nine. Yes, Vasidius says rock on emote. A rock on emote. Thank you, Vasidius. We got to give you that or that. Thank you for the ninety nine, ninety nine. Son of the wolf for fifty dollars. Says Gundam. I was stationed. At Fort Drum by Watertown. Great part of the country. Loved it there, even in the winters. I don't know where Let that is. Let me Google Watertown. Uh, yeah. Like, where's Cause... Watertown? Is it near water? Is it town? I would assume so. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> it got Take a like, look. Like this? I'm getting <laughs> Allentown in my head from Billy Joel. So I know I'm <laughs> I love that song. Take me. Yeah, away. as you can see, the woke has uh, moved over to the animal kingdom now. Shark advocates are calling for rebranding of violent attacks as interactions. <laughs> what? Or no. mostly pe- peaceful oh, so biting. I, I get the joke now. Mostly peaceful shark attacks. Mostly peaceful biting. <laughs> get it right. <laughs> it's not an attack, comics. That's right. That's- so if I share this then that was in the chat, that this makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> there you go. As, yes, it does. I was That's getting good. to that. Thank you, sir. Oh. <laughs> I get it. I was like, I don't get it. Yes, I don't I, get that's it. Why was, that's why I kept saying all night positive interactions, negative interactions. I'm like, did anybody talk about the shark story this week? I guess not. Yeah, evidently, there's a bunch of scientists who are advocating to get the term attack taken out of shark interactions. A shark the negative interacted inter- the leg off of a 12 year old boy. And what's funny is in their explanation of why it should be changed, they actually use the term predatory fish. It's like oh it's in their God. fucking name. <laughs> it's like the, the, it's, the, really, insanity it's never toxic. Stops. Uh, they, these people, they need 20, to be muted. 21 folks. Muted. <laughs> they need, they should, they're not allowed to reproduce. Not allowed. It's New to them. World. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I need this technology. Where do we get this? Yes. On your <laughs> walks away. You fucking uh, did. Yeah. I got proof, darling. That's oh, crop dusting. Dang. <laughs> Damn. I just need to know so I can keep it out of the house so I can continue to blame it on the dog. That's all. <laughs> That's dispersal. That is dispersal, man. A moist that. fart in the wind. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, rhetorical thrill for five dollars says I can't watch live tonight. Well, pff, why? Uh, you better be doing something pretty fucking amazing. If uh, and like, listen, a guy's missing his daughter's wedding to fucking come to Vegas. So rhetorical <laughs> thrill, I need fucking explanations. Uh, She'll divorce. She'll on, get married again. It's on funny. vacation with the family. So what? 
Uh, just Fuck wanted em. to say hail Friday yeah. Night Tights, hail Gundam, and hail chat. Catch you on the replay. Well, it's right here. It stays right here on Nerdrotic from now on. We're three episodes in a row. Uh, 100K views, and that's thanks to you guys. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did not on Woodbury. Hey, oh. That's pretty fucking crazy. Uh, MV, MB Zovic for five euros says best Friday night tight episode. I uh, episodes have Papa Gundam in it. Fact. Eh, it's kind of true. It's kind of true. Uh, somewhat- <laughs> it's like I'm the rat pack rolled into one piece of shit. You get Frank, you get Dean, you get Sammy. Then there's the other guy. <laughs> the other guy, the other guy, Dean, Dean, uh, Dean, Dean Martin. Martin. No, yeah, I said Dean. Dean. It's Frankie, Dean, oh, you said Dean. Sammy. Frank. Yeah, he did. Who's the other guy? Uh, Sammy. 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 Sammy David Jr. He we, said that one. Yeah, he said Sammy. Everybody only remembers Sammy. three out of the four. What is the other? You remember one? Frank and Dean, and oh, then you remember no, Sammy because no, you know you're right. There's another, <laughs> because there's another guy who was just a hanger on. Wasn't Bing Crosby? Was it? No, who was? God dang it. Uh, the Rat Pack is not Jerry Lewis. Dean. Joey Bishop. Who Joey the fuck Bishop. is Joey Bishop. Yeah, Joey exactly. Bishop. Exactly. Who the fuck, who the fuck is, is Joey, Joey Bishop? Bishop? Joey Bishop got all the drugs. Okay, he's the guy who got all the drugs. Oh well, that explains yeah. why he's there. Yep. <laughs> uh, brightest day for four ninety nine. <laughs> Petition to get Gundam and Ripa and just some guy on Vigilante Williamson's channel. No, I'm going to get him on my channel first together, and then we'll get, uh, get him on Vigilante Williams' channel. By the way, Vigilante Williamson is a good dude. Go check out his channel. He is a great guy. Awesome. Uh, Vigilante yeah. Williams. It really would just right. jack up the black representation substantially in a lot of things if we were all in one place. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it would really break the whole, like, we're racist uh, thing. And I don't know if I want to break that no, narrative. No, it won't. Yeah. It won't. No, yeah, it's not going to work. Uh, no, it doesn't. People yeah, still are saying that I'm a Nazi. J- Jeremy yep. just has women on his channel because he's trying to cover up how sexist he is. Yeah. Uh, that, that'll be not the doing narrative. a very good job of it. And we'd be just accused of fetishi- fetishizing them anyway. So well, maybe when I come ahead of uh, just some guy in the white supremacist list next time, because he beat me out in one of them. So, <laughs> <laughs> damn, uh, yeah. But I beat that Jeremy. Always blows. You got to work on that, Gary. I, but I beat Jeremy, and that's all I care about. Uh, Gomer Kyle seventy nine <laughs> for five dollars. A wise and great man once saying, "Broken hearts are to blame," and I one hundred percent agree. Hail, it's a Gundam. Yeah, that song was written about my ex fiance. And on one of our sad fucking conversations where nothing was her fault and it was always mine, she said something to the effect of broken hearts are to blame. So after I finished weeping into my pillow like any strong modern man, <laughs> I went to making music. <laughs> See, I'm so macho, I call that making my eyes sweat. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> After I, thought, I cried like a fucking baby, I just I decided to make the music. <laughs> After I was done dancing with the devil and contemplating suicide. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, Biz Marquis did pass away, sadly. So Biz oh, got no. to Google this. He had what I needed, wow. unfortunately. He's trending on Twitter, yeah. yeah. No way. It's sad how Biz Marquis had to drop dead. For anybody to remember his cock broke. Oh, oh, no, my head came out wrong. <laughs> I meant to say cockeyed. <laughs> well, I mean, he was a one hit wonder, but still. Oh. Yeah, you can't even say the one hit he had. Oh, wait, no. You that's got, one. What I need. got what I need. Yeah, the other one was Shamsarachi. You got what I need. You uh, say he's just a friend. 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 You say he's just a friend. Oh, oh baby. baby. You got, you got what, what I need. I need. That was for you, Biz Marquis. He's more disrespectful than anything I've ever done. Actually, I bet you he'd love that. Are you kidding he's me? He's not he even in his grave, and he's yeah. he's currently rolling around. Still. People nah, are all love right, that. like all over the world. People are singing, "I got what I need." In that horrible tone, he would have loved oh, it. Oh, baby, <laughs> he's he's like, this was That is, he right. would have loved it. Oh, um, he was only fifty-seven. Yeah, wow, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got to be healthy. Young. I thought he was older than that. Damn. Well, look at the pictures of him. He looks terrible. Probably. That's from like 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is the video. Not that That's like 30 I'm, years ago. Right I'm now. looking oh, on my screen. I'm looking at current Biz Marquee. How the fuck you go on board? Yeah, I, I, thought he looks great. I thought he looks great today. Uh, <laughs> look at a video from 1980. Like, what are we going back? 60 years ago or something? 
<laughs> it's not quite that long, Gundam. Yeah. Just a period like of report. I'm looking at also von Bismarck. I don't know what the fuck's going on now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that proves you've never looked up Bismarcky. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bismarck. Um, oh, uh, he was even on Beavis and Butthead. The video who, made Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. <laughs> who passed away? There was a, I forget. There's a rapper that passed away like a few months ago, where like the first reports were completely DMX. wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was. Yeah, DMX. Yeah, DMX, yep. and it, like the initial reports were like wrong. He wasn't dead. He was like on life support, and then like <laughs> yeah. later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it was kind of like that one uh, uh, actress too. They did the same thing with. Yeah. Uh, the, the I'll one never from, forget uh, DMX's death. What was the that, first Gary? part. Hmm? Or oh, Gundam, you go first. Yeah. Oh, uh, fuck it. I, I, I won't forget DMX's death. One, we all knew he was, like, doing crack. Mm -hmm. So him being laid out was like, oh, yeah, X is uh, on the rocks again. Yep. But the most Literally. amazing part was all the women on Twitter that were selling OnlyFans on his obituary. Oh Jesus! That'll yeah. never what? leave me. Whoa. That's right. Yeah, they, they were just putting they were just putting their links to their OnlyFans underneath like viral. <laughs> yeah. What the tweet. fuck? Wow. Well, let's yeah. be real. It's a Gundam. You don't come up with lyrics like uh, after a cup of coffee. So. Uh, that's true. Uh, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> give it to you. Awesome, give me the. Uh, <laughs> you can't take this one for me, baby. And it never occurred to me he was hitting crack rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Sense. Hit the, the pipe. Uh, the pieces uh, uh, Randy yeah, Schreib Schribner. Randy Schreibner, thank you for passing me on the link to the I Stand with Vic shirt, which I will be buying and wearing at the Star Trek convention. Uh, hopefully, pissed. Did you off. get a chance to meet him last time? No. Nope. Will oh, you be you filming didn't? yourself when they kick you out? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's well, the if move they to kick make. me out, oh, if they kick me out, oh yeah, I'll be live streaming them. Easy hundred K views. Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh yeah! Hell yeah! I mean, if if their security matches like the demographics of the people going, it's likely going to be seventy year old men. Dude, so I if, I, here's Benny, yeah. if I was able to go with you, door. I would be a plant. I'd wait till someone asks you to leave, and then I'd rip the oh. shirt off you and start screaming as loud as I could. Yep. Yep. Look at Ryan. Look at Ryan. Up. Indoctrinating everybody into his. Uh, into his everybody to. knows I'm right. So he is natural. too ugly. I'm trying, I'm trying to shift the Overton window back to the 1950s, ladies. Whoa. <laughs> um. uh, me Zit was. Oh my God! How am I supposed to say this? Me Zit was odd. Meat wizard was odd. Meat wizard. wizard. Yeah, meat was odd. Meat wizard. Yeah, but like when he's in the show, he says it like the weird way that uh, nerd redded. Uh, yeah, in that meat wop voice. Nerd redded. Sounds like something Bill Cosby made up. Meat it was odd. No, it's funny. So it couldn't have been Bill. Meat. Oh, it hits me in the heart. Meat was twenty dollars. <laughs> says, did Mama Susan preemptively demonetize this Friday night tights when word got out that Papa Gundam would be on? I stand with it's a Gundam. Hashtag pay the man. P.S. Meat wad. It's not wizard. Well, then why? Oh, did they have yeah. You need to see the episode when he goes. It's meat was or something like that. Uh, I've watched go. Aqua Teens enough to know. Because I go oh, meme hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has been a long time. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> The last time I was walking, watching uh, Aqua Teen, I don't even want to say that story. That's a story for another day. Nerd Rod just exposed himself as the typical YouTuber that uses a Segway. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was walking, I mean. Uh, Finn Sane uh, for two euros says, Yay, Papa Gundam is a guest again. Non Next stop, EFAP? I don't know. Papa I think Gundam I was on, on there EFAP. before. Yeah. Uh, he was high. He's not. He's not sure, but he most likely that was high. Possibly, so. maybe. Uh, Monopoly loser two for nine ninety nine. Hail Friday Night Tights crew. Hail Gundam. Your full mechanics. Barbados looked badass. Thanks for providing quality entertainment after a very emotional week. Viva Cuba Libre. <laughs> hey, I'm terrible. for Cuba being free. Fuck man. it. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. How's that going? I'm also by the way, for big booty Brazilian girls. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do I support? What were you saying? Big, uh, it, Cuba, yeah. Cuba not killing it. <laughs> <laughs> anime titties, probably. 
Oh, yeah, how about bad guys on my tight eyes? And, and tight remember, eyes. freedom is a anti-government slogan now. <laughs> wow, R- really? Yeah. yeah, I guess like technically bro- it great. is. Comics is not just in America. <laughs> <That's, yeah. laughs> hey, no, like the, I think I think it was the New York Times that said uh, people yelling freedom and other anti-American slogans. It's like, <laughs> well, okay then. How is that anti-American? Uh, well, I would agree it's anti-government. Yeah, <laughs> I would agree with that. I would too. Anti-Silicon Valley. Report- Down with Zuckerberg. We hey, report what? posts that are problematic. When we went to Facebook to make sure they take down misinformation. Geez. Yeah, Facebook's yeah. like trying to turn yeah. everybody into a rat. The, the, the idea, like all the stuff going on in Cuba. Would you it, like to grass on your friends? Join Facebook. We noticed your father's wearing a mega hat. Would you Would like, you to, like us to shoot him? <laughs> that was, that was Would you like us to shoot him or both of you? So, so, <laughs> update us on Cuba, Ryan. Well, I, I just think it's it, it's insane that in the the first couple days of this, where you have the Cuban people, um, you know, in the streets marching for their freedoms uh, against a tyrannical communist regime, that you have the government of the United, well, the leaders of the government of the United States, first off, ignoring it. Mm-hmm. Second, they tried to spin it as the people in Cuba protesting because of the coup. Lack because there vaccines. was a spike because there was a spike in the coup and that's why they've taken to the streets about something about the the restrictions no there's nothing to do with that they're literally trying to fight for their freedoms right now uh you have uh you you've got the person uh, you've got the person in charge of i forget exactly if, if there's homeland security or what he is saying hey don't don't try to come here don't try to come to america you'll be turned away if you try to flee here from cuba Whereas we know what's going on with the entire rest of Central America. You the, flee to Mexico but, first, then you can flee to America. Yeah. That's how you, you have to the, go. It's a step. And the fact that it took so much pressure for the administration to come out and finally, you know, say uh, communism bad. OK, like it, it's yeah. insane that that's where we're at. And I, you know. I, I, it was it was a big step for Joe Biden to uh, alienate half his base with that statement. Yeah, but <laughs> there it is. There yeah. it is. And you know what's funny is uh, it's not funny, but those Cubans who have to go if to Mexico, those Cubans uh, who have to go to Mexico first will not be let in. Right. No, the, they'll be, their asses will be kicked out of Mexico immediately. Uh, that's how. Uh, Imagine you have to flee to Mexico. You fl- yeah. What a terrible scenario! Damn. And their border is tighter than ours. Um, so, hey, ladies, like, oh, what do we got here? As, <laughs> as, as what am I sharing? Here we go. Oh. Uh, we got we got uh, we got the rapture going the on, rapture. <laughs> and then we got we got Odin going up because he's been a good boy. And uh, good girl. There's 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 uh, Gary and there's Ryan, and then uh, Ryan's just like, uh, no, you fucking don't, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, here with us. You can you can get back down here with the rest of us. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hold on, motherfucker. <laughs> no heaven for you. No heaven for you, Odin. Oh, Only God. hell, hell on earth with us. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man, that is good. That is good. Holy shit. This is the only fucking thing I miss on Twitter. This is so fucking annoying. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot you got banned for something. What yeah. the hell did you do again? I quoted <laughs> Game of Thrones. Well, I didn't think that was going to get me banned. But how mm-hmm. did you quote Game of Thrones? Was it bigoted in any way? <laughs> well, I, I quoted yes. this. <laughs> kind all of. Men, instead of all men must die, I did put black in front of men, I admit. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I'm Couldn't surprised help no one came to your house and put a pillow over your face while you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I just put all men must die. Yep. Like thousands of other tweets on a, on a stupid Marvel comics post where they just posted a she hope looking like a super saiyan Targaryen. And you yeah. t- and Twitter were just like, no, 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 Oh, always has been. Yeah. yeah. I am impressed. I am impressed. Um, Alex Marchenko for $20. Gundam is back. Thanks 
You, uh, thank you, everyone. Gundam, pick a bar. Drinks on me in any bar in our trash city. As thank you for not letting me watch trash DC shows and instead <laughs> hear you do what you're doing. Much love from B, uh, BK to you all. So thank well, you. Well, if I end up oh, doing yeah. a show at like uh, this famous gay bar in New York because they know how to treat a celebrity like me correctly, <laughs> you're welcome to come. They said they have a backstage for me to do all my costume changes. I'm sitting there like I feel like David Bowie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's this, uh, there's a bar, uh, my friend was in a band, right, and he'd play at Slim's in San Francisco, and to avoid all their little, the groupies and stuff, there was a, uh, there's a bear bar right down the street called Eagle Tavern, <laughs> which is like the Blue Oyster Bar, it's straight up the Blue Oyster Bar, so they would hang out there in the back at the Blue Oyster Bar so they, so, so the, all the girls wouldn't bother them, I know, it's such a terrible problem to have, so I had to meet them there. <laughs> I had to yeah, I had a worse problem. I had like this dude who was a recovering heroin addict that was trying to kidnap me after shows. What? So I would have welcomed women. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, that sounds well terrible. Uh, like I said, I did a very David Bowie esque thing. And what a lot of people don't know is uh, I'm an amateur makeup artist, or I was. So I could make myself look like an attractive woman if I feel like putting in the three hours. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and I figure, what better way to piss off Nazis and rednecks than to look like a woman wearing like a Nazi getup from World War II? I call this gender <laughs> fuck Nazi. So I'm up there doing Guns and Roses. It's so easy. Meanwhile, I'm turning some dudes on. This thing in a long. So anyway, my guitarist talks to me when we hang out at this uh, guitar shop that no longer exists. I miss. Brick and mortar guitar stores, yes. like you wouldn't believe. Great musicians come in. There's like an atmosphere there. It's like a television show, but whatever. So I'm hanging out. I go, hey Tony, what's going on? He's like, hey brother, you got fucking problems. And I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, there's this dude who's coming to like the heroin addicts meeting. He's trying to kidnap you. He's got a van and an elaborate plan. I'm like, how the fuck do you know this? You're not on heroin, Tony. It's like, oh, it's because your guitar teacher Henry told me he's on heroin. Oh, and I'm shit. like, <laughs> I'm like, well, at least I'm getting the news when I need it. And nobody took it seriously. Nobody in the bail was like, yeah, we'll help keep this big dude off of you. Yeah. <laughs> it was like this big joke for the longest time. So after every show, I'd have to sneak out of the backstage and hop into my sports car and get the fuck out of town and make sure no one was following me. So my point is, yeah, I would have really welcomed women trying yes. to do that to me. Instead. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds really nice. Yeah, I would. Well, I would have. T I would have rather have had the women around than walking in that bar to meet them and having guys buy me drinks and stuff. So yeah, as long as no one tries to stuff you in a trunk, you know. N no, well, oh, in oh, a trunk get, it, oh, get into in your trunk. trunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Drop something in those drinks. Uh, uh, Trent, I uh, it have dropped my change in your pants. No, oh, I didn't even think about dropping stuff in the drinks. <laughs> Fuck. This is what a woman must feel like. Yeah. Uh, Every time they go out. Trenna the Knitter Guthridge for $5 says, <laughs> Papa Gundam, I listen to your music at least once a week. Damn, you have a set of pipes. Wow. Look at I hate my life because <laughs> I'm only doing YouTube because I couldn't get the record deal. Everything's lined up. Dave Grohl's in the mix. Flea from the Chili Peppers. Robbie Krieger from the Doors. I pretended I liked the Doors. I fucking hate the Doors. The oh. Doors suck. Oh. And I'm sitting there like, oh. oh, Jim Morrison, the Lizard King. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Celebrate his whole, his whole album. It did. I'm like, this is it. It's over. My life is complete. I did it. Steven Tyler is right. Fake it till you make it. This one's for you, Freddie. And then, you know, the manager gets back to me. He goes, well, um... There's a little bit of a description. See, they're worried you don't have enough of a social media presence. I'm like, social media presence? What are you talking about? Led Zeppelin didn't need a social media presence. No. And they're like, well, nobody's following your Facebook page. I don't know, because everybody in the fucking band knows how to play multiple instruments. Uh -oh. Come on. Long story short, uh, yeah, lost the recording deal. Oh. I knew there was trouble in paradise when the manager stopped calling, returning my calls. And she stopped pushing her son's shitty rap band on me. Have you ever thought of putting my son's rap band as your opener? No! No! Uh, 
Sorry. Oh, no, man. it's okay. And now, like, music is dead now. It sucks. It sucks what's happened to uh, our once beloved industry. I mean, getting a contract at all these days is almost impossible. Getting close to a contract without having 50,000 or 500,000 followers on Instagram or something, it's near impossible. Yep. And that's why yeah, they want that sucks. built in audience, yep. I guess. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. Mm. It. Uh, and now I don't give a fuck to get on stage anymore. No. And that, well, we could get on stage for a little while, but that's about to end, folks. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot about that part. Yeah. Fucking LA County requiring masks. We all know what the next step is. Enjoy yeah, your Yeah, they're going to be swabbing your buttholes, nerd. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I, I, I said it a while ago, like, the, there was going to be a big push and that, like, the Vegas thing, I'm wondering what's going to happen. And I am worried. Me I, too. I am worried. Uh, I, 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 I hope they put it off enough to where we can just get Vegas done and get, yeah. and get the fuck out of there. Damn it, I just bought my fucking ticket. Not time for oh, that I'm refund. Going. Oh, well, like, no, what, I am fucking whatever going. Whatever happens, we're going to do shit. Like, I am going to be there. Yeah, it, yeah, is, yeah. it is fucking yeah, happening. There. Fuck that shit. Yeah, got my hotel room. Well, I, I was smart enough to get a refundable ticket, ticket go. but yeah, I, I got everything. No, They're going to lock you in. They're going to go outside. It's four weeks away. I mean, like, if they, they might, like, require masks or something. That's all. I don't think they're good. But I think by uh, September, October, uh, oh, if, yeah. if you're in a – oh, definitely. If you're in San Francisco, L.A., San Diego, you're getting locked down again. They're, yeah, already, uh, totally. they're already doing the mask stuff for Vegas. That, that came out today. Uh, even if you're vaccinated, they're, they're <clears> pushing they said the mask they're, encur- they're encouraging oh. them at yeah. this point. But yeah. – uh. Oh, I wear a mask anyway. I'm looking like Taskmaster when I go outside. <laughs> it's like an excuse to look like I came off of the division. There you go. <laughs> People move out of my fucking way. They don't know if I'm diseased or if I'm going to kill them. It's great. <laughs> no, you were first in line, sir. I thank you. <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I got to get me a Vader voice box for that. That would yeah, be sick yeah. as fuck. Oh, that would be cool. Uh, Are you first in line, sir? Saw Dog for fifty dollars. Says, "Hey, Gary and Papa Gundam, love the stream, guys. Keep up the awesome work." By the way, where's Billy? Uh, let's see, Billy. I'm probably gonna move him to TikTok. <laughs> I was going to do a puppets only YouTube channel, where basically <laughs> it's like the "Are you winning, son?" meme, except it's oh. always Billy watching Twitch. Oh, yes. Oh. But okay. since YouTube continuously demonetizes or age restricts my puppet shows. I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't think Jim Henson dealt with this. Yeah, but a new channel, a new channel, dude, the algorithm is a completely different kettle of fish. That's fresh and new. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. like that's like te- that's virgin territory, well, and it's just like, hey, come on to YouTube. Everything's so great. Okay, come on. Then you put the videos out, and it's like, right, stop that. Exactly. Yeah. Yellow. <laughs> exactly. Well, whoa, what are you trying to entertain people? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought that this little puppet jerking off to his favorite Twitch streamer, Indy Fox, was funny. No, no, this is bigoted. It's problematic. It's <laughs> disgusting. You hate women. What, he is, Amaranth, is, is Amaranth still banned? Are they still banned? Oh, Indy Fox is done for good. Ooh. Amaranth is back. Oh. I thought about seeing if Indy Fox would do an interview with me, but then I knew it would deteriorate into a Howard Stern-esque interview where I'd basically <laughs> sit there and go, what are you wearing? You know. <laughs> so why your, haven't you done it? What color are your toenails? <laughs> can, you, can you sit on this uh, speaker, please? <laughs> uh, on yeah. the speaker yeah. while I scream. <laughs> Demonetization as loud as I can. <laughs> I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask uh, Kyle Dunnigan and Kurt to see if those uh, Fresh Prince uh, Prez of DCs are monetized or not. They could mm. not possibly. Why, do you, why do we get no both way. her and Kyle on together, yeah, man? Like, we're trying. Yeah. You bring too much exposure to him. He's going to wake up a victim of suicide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. No, I, there's no way that those are monetized. Nope. I would think. There's, I just can't see any possible way. Well, they have their own advert. They, they, they're sponsored because there was right. adverts in the middle. That's a legitimate product. That is a legit. Yeah. Uh, ad. That's a they're legit product. They, yeah. just turned, they just turned it into a funny ad. Thank God yeah. for sponsors. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. I've got one in my Loki video coming hey. up, by the way. What's up? 
I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be grateful to advertise some shit. Right? <laughs> I'm <laughs> now looking at so. Nicolo and praying that the one phone contacts me next. That way you don't have to worry about what you say so much. That's right. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Gets a berry for $50. Says, I am surprised Gundam hasn't turned into Carl from... A T H F T B H. Hunger Force. Yeah. Uh, 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 he seems like it, losing his mind when something inconveniences inconveniences him. But when crazy happens, he just minds his own business. Then sometimes gets a little involved with the crazy. Uh, you know, well, I can't get involved with too much motherfucking crazy. I just told you I can't even do puppet shows. People yep. sent me wild <laughs> shit on Hunter Biden. Fuck it, it's not my channel. Yeah, wild. Absolutely mind bendingly wild. It was so fucked I had to delete the email account immediately. <laughs> because I knew I would Forced be involved Earth. in something by default. <laughs> and they're like, you need to talk about what Hunter Biden's up to. I'm like, you need to mind your fucking business. We could be dead. Yep. I'm not talking about this. You need to never contact me again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sending Ryan after you. God damn it. You son of a bitch. If you're a woman, you're in double trouble, little mister. It's a trap. I'm going to call my friend Billary Clinton. Uh, <laughs> Billary Clinton. Oh, no. uh, call it. Call it. George Moilo for $450. Oh. George. George, you're crazy. Oh, George just sent us a message. Thank you, George. George, come on to message me on Instagram and let's talk jazzing together. Uh, And SJW's mantra, if I feel bad, it is bad. And if it is bad, then it's on you. And if it's on you... Then and if it's on you, then your actions are bad. And if your actions are bad, then you're wrong. And if you're wrong, then that's evil. And if I feel bad, then you are evil. All <laughs> hail. Thank you, George. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. all our fault. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Hello, suicide hotline. I'd like to place an order, please. <laughs> 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 that's that's not how we do things though what's your name bill clinton i mean nobody nobody bye <laughs> hello suicide hotline i got a problem <laughs> <laughs> sir you sound familiar <laughs> yeah. Yeah. suicide hotline i have a problem the russians were helping trump could you I send somebody over as quickly as possible home. Lady. I have not ever been president. Honest to God. <laughs> I have not, I have I have not no, ever been. Trust me. Like, back in the it's day. Always you been what the fuck was always he been Hillary. Always been Hillary. She was That's fucking right. 19, dude. She was fucking 19 years old. She was 19? Old. She didn't look 19. No, but she no. was fucking 19, <laughs> man. She's like a golf ball up a 12 foot hose pipe. Whatever. How did, well. <laughs> How did she have a job there in like. Uh, what, what, dude, what do you think? Intern, baby. Yeah. What do you think? think? <laughs> I mean, shit. I, I, I've said this. I've told this before, but like, you know, back back when it happened, it didn't bother me that much because I was young. Right. But now that I'm older and I have I had a 19 year old son, I'm like, holy shit. What a piece of shit. What a complete yeah. piece of shit. Uh, yeah, maybe if I had a kid, I might still give a shit. I don't give a shit then. I don't give a shit now. I gave it just a makes shit. sense. His wife was Hillary, and she's nuts. Well, yeah, she, yeah, that's true. But uh, <laughs> if you had to choose between a 19-year-old chick and Hillary ranting into the heavens, the 19-year-old wins every time, even if she looks a little pudgy. Hey, at least she's an adult. <sighs> but no, because Hillary, Hillary couldn't have a go, because if she tried to open her mouth and have a go at him, it'd be, look, I'm letting you be president for eight fucking years. So shut up. <laughs> yeah. Then it's my turn. Then it's my turn. Then you can do your own stint and be president for 16 years. Good luck. <laughs> uh, Lady Grave Master for $50. Lady Jail. So happy you were able to make it back. You make the lads actually work. Even Ryan comes off as funny. Wow, <laughs> Lady Grave Master. Ouch. Ryan. Oh, thank God. I'm Even Ryan's misogyny comes across as funny. He's you know, that, about I, the hatred of women. I, I would appreciate that if I, you know, cared about 
what a woman thought. <laughs> I didn't think he'd go there, but I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> been thoroughly enjoying your coverage of Drama Kids' cool uh, Koof TikTok songs. The Beatles are just a rich man's Beach Boys. Long live Sabaton. Uh, the Beatles are just a rich man's Beach Boys. I don't know if I agree Everybody's with that. lost in that one. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of ironic, isn't it? I like the Beach Boys, but I don't, I don't know if I... Of course you do. <laughs> I like the Beatles, I, I so the the Beatles rose the Beatles. from the fucking poorest parts of London, uh, from Liverpool, dude. Yeah. Uh, but no, thank you, Lady Gravemaster, for uh, for the super chat. I, I, I like the Beatles and the Beach Boys. And, and, and most of the Beach Boys songs are written by a crazy drug addict. So. I'll take the Beach Boys over the Beatles. Relatable. Yeah. I think the Beatles are, are overrated anyway, so it's fine. No, um, Beatles. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just saying, if the Beatles yeah. were, were products the of their time, with Jeremy, are, on this one. Jeremy thinks the yeah. Beach Boys are overrated and In N Out's the greatest burger ever made. Well, In N Out is the greatest. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but I, Opinions I don't, I don't can't like be the Beatles. Yeah, I'm weird if, on the Beatles. Yeah. Like, I think if the Beatles were, were, were in any other time, they'd just be another band. You know, yeah, be another were, boy band. Yeah, they're just right, another boy band. This is what happens when a jock tries to talk about music. Just don't let them. Yeah, I'm just, not I'm just, just no. I'm just telling you. Sorry. Like, if, you put, if, the the Beatles, if you put the Beagle, Beatles in today, they wouldn't be anything special. They'd just be another they, band. They, they the be Beach Boys are a boy band. The they have boy in their top. name. Jeremy, you're you're somewhat right because the Beatles are one of the reasons music is the way it is now. Yeah. I mean, so, so you, you like, got a point. So I can, way, I can understand kind of people right. not but liking them. But if you took. If you took yeah. Michael Jackson and put him in today's oh, music, he would no. still be the biggest star on the Michael planet. Jackson okay. wanted to be the Beatles, though. That's I fine, but the point is that he <laughs> transcends. He bought their whole catalog of music. Oh. He bought, I was going to say, yeah. yeah, exactly. No, absolutely. I'm not disputing <laughs> Paul McCartney. I'm not disputing <laughs> their impact. Something Paul fucking McCartney I'm, himself. <laughs> I'm not disputing the Beatles' impact on music. I'm not. I'm just saying that they're a product of their time, not their talent. That's all I'm saying. I well, will the Beatles, agree, though. I think the they Beatles. got better when they got older, though. How many yeah. bands could you say well, that? Well, yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 a lot of bands are product of the time, That's what I just. That's why I said yeah. Michael Jackson would be the biggest star on the planet, no matter what time period he's in, because of his talent, not his time. That's what I'm saying. No one could do what Michael Jackson was doing on stage. He, it was just incredible. No one will ever be that level of talent. Whereas Beach Boy, or, I mean uh, Beatles. Okay, fine. Yes, they were transcendent for their time. But if you put them in another time period. They'd just be another That band. is the re most retarded way to compare <laughs> anything to I fucking anything. I love Michael Jackson, Jeremy. I don't know. I, Michael, I Michael Jackson's fine. I mean, I'm like, I'm not a Michael Jackson fan at all. I respect his talent. You're about to ability. get cut. I don't care. No, I don't give a shit. I, I didn't like him back then. I, I'm not into fucking like disco poppy shit. I like I like fucking rock and roll. I like uh, I'm I'm a bit of a music snob, but like that's fucking crazy. The Beatles music is trans transcends time like fucking. Like Beethoven, that like they'll they'll be around forever. They have been around they're forever. Their catalog constantly oh, fucking fine. Over. And that's so fine. does Michael McDonald's Jackson. Is known by everybody so too. Oh, come on, the Beatles are better than McDonald's. Too. The only thing you've said that I think made any sense is that the Beach Boys are underappreciated for what they did add to the musical, you know, lexicon. Ah, Other than that, I don't know yeah. what you're talking. Here's about. Here's what I think about the Beatles. <laughs> Seriously, hold on. When they hold on. the Beach Boys, when did I when did I say the Beach Boys were underappreciated? Well, no. Well, like somebody brought up the Beach Boys, they were better. The Beach Boys. Somebody said they were better than the Beatles. No, 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 no. I never, I never said the Beach Boys were better than the Beatles. I said I like the Beach Boys. Oh, the Beach Boys. That's true. I never said they were better. <laughs> That's true. Well, let's compare it like this. Even the Beatles' last album was more respected musically than what Michael Jackson did at the end of his career. Yep. Like when he yeah, was right. ended, it was sad. It was sad. The body I've lost. Um, I mean, I don't know. He's on his I mean, way back, though. Yeah, no, he Michael Jackson's dead. Was on, That's yeah. why he's on his way back. He was he <laughs> he alive. He no, never back. bought his he, shit. Yes. But, yeah, he was on. He was on a comeback streak. A lot of was not that good. He was fucking coming back, and he was still fucking great. I watched the live. He was alive. Michael Jackson's the goat. Michael Jackson. What is on the dance floor was a nightmare. Michael Jackson's the greatest of all time. Greatest entertainer ever. Period. Says the man Period. with jeans. Nah, that's it. I don't well, know. It, Freddie Mercury. Prince. Freddie Mercury. Yeah. David Prince. Bowie. Freddie Mercury. Okay, David. I give you Prince. Bowie. Prince. David. Bowie. Yeah. Bowie. Okay. David. David Bowie was great up until the later years. That's true. So the same with uh, most people. Well, Freddie Prince 
wasn't that great towards the end either. His stuff was the queen was getting very poppy. You heard me fucking say it. That poppy fucking queen. You heard me say it. Those last couple albums, except for his last song, which was beautiful, but yeah. So he still didn't get it. Oh, Gary, Gary, the, like, there's this beautiful bit by Michael here, actually. Right, well, let's, let me see. Okay. <laughs> Freddie Prince. Did I say Freddie Prince? Yeah, that's yeah, Freddie Prince. Yeah. Yeah. Freddie, Freddie Prince Jr. was an amazing singer for five years. I said what I was confused with. <laughs> <with. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Prince was like, he was a great actor. He was a he great actor. Nice bro. 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 He revolutionized bro. everything, bro. Bro, bro, bro. 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 That's what bro. happens when you uh, I, need, I need food. Dan Vast uh, and Elvis Presley. I half expected, like, ass to pull out my Michael Jackson clip. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not too far away from, you know, it's going to be... Uh, no, I, I, yeah, I've never been a big fan of Michael Jackson, but totally respect his talent and all the stuff he's done. That's great. I'd rather listen to the Beatles. I'd rather listen to fucking Abbey Road a million fucking times. I'd listen to even fucking Stairway to Heaven, which I can't listen to anymore because I've heard that I mean, song I, too much. Fuck. Yeah, Stairway is definitely. I like the Hey Jude. I like the Hey Jude remake from Across the Universe more than I like the Beatles. Oh, version. get that! I'm gonna kick oh. him from this fucking live stream. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ, like, <laughs> tasteless motherfucker! Truth like, hurts. Twitter, Twitter level is getting blast from Je- this Jeremy's, year, really. Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy's about to get to normie status right hey, like now. Hey, if you, hey, you, you demoted hey, every word. Hey, yeah, hey, that's fine because uh, it's like if you dis dis Mike in any way, I can read this the Beatles in any way, so I, I can go for that all Mike day is long. Fine. Uh, Mike is fine. Mike is fine. Michael Jackson is fine. Those guys. Mike had um, five good albums. I will yeah, say that. He, like people liked him. That's great. After that, it's questionable. And then a lot of the stuff they put out after he died, they got busted for faking. So oh, yeah, like, it was other singers. Yeah. yeah, and so I don't know. It I mean, I love Michael. Let Michael that. that has nothing to do with his talent. No, I, at all. I, I, I just think there's a Goat. difference. I think like. If you want to say the Beatles are overrated, I think that's like a take that's like, okay, like we can have a discussion. I think to True. say the Beatles are just like one of the, they're not special. They don't stand out in any way, I shape, or form. That. That, that's essentially you did say what that. you said, Jeremy. No, did not. Exactly no, 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 said. no, I said, you take them and put them at any other time, and they're nobody they would just special. be anybody yeah, else. You know what? No, yeah. if you take Michael Jackson and put him into 1540, he's not going to be very uh, well received. So well, that's, that's I mean, not a bad Have you seen Michael dance before he died? They do the the wider Michael got, the worse he fucking danced, and nobody had the balls to say it. <laughs> I mean, he got old. Except yeah. for Papa Gundam. There he you was go. Popping a lot of pain. Oh, I pills. pissed off a lot of people with Gary, that. Show the clip, Gary. Show the clip. Show the clip. Show the clip. Yeah. I. Oh God. Oh, really? Do we? Yeah. Do we really <laughs> want to do this? Yep. Yeah, Uh-oh. I can't wait now. Okay, so Michael just wrote oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'd like to address this horrible HBO documentary about me. It's filled with lies and ignorance. I would never hurt children. I love sleeping love with sleep little, little boys. boys. That's, That's all. all. Oh, my God. Sleep with that. It's a stream. Who's that fuck them kids? Come on. Oh, oh, yes. I was a good pet for too, huh? Good Lord. You know what's bad? X-ray girl oh, had no reaction. We're in trouble. <laughs> no, we're getting her eyes though. Well, for one, we was getting Michael echoey. Jackson is one hundred percent innocent. By the way, that's a fact. Yeah. Uh, anybody that Razor believes Fist, that, go watch Razor Fist video. Anybody that believes yeah. different is just a fucking moron. <laughs> Michael Jackson is one hundred percent innocent. I just want to put that you, out. You can't walk it back now after playing that. We're already fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael didn't do it after we watched a video like this. <laughs> this happens almost every week, though. It's so. a confession, then, Jeremy. The nerd happen. accidentally played that clip one time. You know, as is classically changed. The classically next week, changed. it's a, uh, Razor Fist, uh, who's been a guest on the show and is welcome back anytime, has made a very compelling video on him and uh, Bill Cosby. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 100%. Yep. Like, it, it, once you start actually digging into everything behind the case, behind the multiple yeah. attempts, the fucking lies by all the people involved, the misrepresentations, you know, that they fucking came after Michael Jackson. And I, there's not really yeah. any evidence to back and, any of this shit up. Just to yeah. let anybody know, uh, like, uh, Valor Morgalis, any pedo, that's proven. Like, you got to oh, prove yeah. it. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Easy. Burn end them. End no them. problem. Uh, irredeemable there's certain things everything's forgivable but except to that then you can just end them 
just got to prove it. That's all. That's well, the only well, thing. We still got like, like court of law shit. Yeah. Right. Michael Jackson's really what kind of should have, you know, made us all aware of how corrupt the fucking media was and, and how corrupt Hollywood was. Uh, we didn't really see it back then, but yeah. that, no. was, uh, that was the first and it was kind a of precursor. It's like cancel yeah. culture like in its infancy. Yeah. yeah. And it's a precursor to what we're seeing now. And, you yeah. know, somebody brought it up in a super chat and, and, you know, this is the, the comfortable masses we've got <clears> right now. And this is why we need to win more hearts and minds over. Uh, you have three me- you have four major media entities. You got NBC, CBS, uh, Fox. Uh, why am I missing one? Oh, MSNBC, ABC, and ABC. Thank you. And three of the four like say the same shit. Lock, stock, barrel. They say the same fucking shit. They're in competition. They should be saying different stuff. There is no way they should not be in competition. Ex- unless, but they have been in line for years, decades now. They've been like, if you go from fucking CBS to ABC, you're not going to hear anything different. At all. How is that? These, these they, This is a cutthroat fucking business. Well, it's part of the fucking plan. Our buddy uh, Comics Division here has been talking about this for a long time. And what sounded fucking nuts four years ago doesn't now. No, you know? it doesn't. <laughs> well, I think Nietzsche described it best with the herd mentality and herd morality in which mm-hmm. we are currently living in. Yeah. Every one of his biggest fears have come reality. <laughs> yep. Realities. So. Yeah. Absolutely. I've had a... Negative interaction with current day, I tell you that much. <laughs> you mean you were attacked by it? Oh, definitely. No, no, I'm not supposed to say that. That's, you that's interacted negative. with right it? Right here, right here. There we He's go, He's got Gary. a point. He's tearing the screen. Uh, negative interaction. That basically sums up this stream in every Friday night nights <laughs> anyway, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, no. I, love the look wow. I like that I'm smiling too. Yes, I do. Like what? they went out of their way to find a smiling photo. So it didn't seem as hard. Why is every picture of Porter Black Garrett looks like some dude from 1985? Why is that the one that gets pulled? I don't know, but, but yeah, it's like Ryan, a live action Carl from Aqua Ryan, Ryan absolutely looks in charge right now. <laughs> <laughs> in front. It's my time. I'm a cutting time. misogynist. Time. Hi, Errol, kind. Uh, I like um, Az's face in that one. That's what I said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I, I, it looks like I'm trying to suck it. It looks like I'm trying to suck it. Women. My, my gut or something in that picture. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Uh, Mikey Gussler for fifty dollars. <laughs> says Gundam. Have you ever danced with Mr. Brownstone? I get up around seven and I get out of bed around nine. I don't worry about. I don't worry nothing about nothing. No, because we're in a waste of my, my fucking time. time. We've been dancing with, yeah. Well, I fucking yeah, know the. If I had my guitar on, I would have started riffing that. On yeah. The- I could karaoke that song on karaoke night. I'll I'll karaoke that song at uh, at the meetup. So an absolute classic, a song dedicated to the cheapest booze you could find on the Sunset Strip. Now, wow, wow. You don't leave me alone. Do a little bit. Used to do a little bit. A little bit. Whoa, Well, every drug addict can really relate to that song too. It uh, feels like YouTube for me. Yeah. Just trying to get a little bit of a little bit of them before. Oh, oh, oh. Same thing. That's right. I used to do a little, but Susan said a little wouldn't do it. So <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, toxic man. We've been flu. dancing with demonetization. That's the fuck we need to cover. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let's Let's with demonetization. Yeah, time, time for a, time Let's for see a green check. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, we're still a- uh, hanging in there, guys. We're gonna hey, try we go. a little Ooh. fucking harder. Has it been That's processing, amazing. man? Like five minutes in, I'm already demonetized. You know, I think this. I think this is more so kind of like with my Game of Thrones uh, tweet that I didn't get suspended for so long, but they were suspending everybody else responding. I think they're basically just like, let's see how bad they can bury their fucking <laughs> yeah. selves. Let's just keep it green. See how much more worse shit Ryan can say throughout the night. That's all they're doing. They're just setting us up. Uh, oh yeah, once this ends notes. and the AI yeah. goes through our chat log, it's over. Yep. Jeremy <laughs> might have a point there. I think we'll be all right. He uh, was way off on the shit 10 minutes ago, but he's got a point there. <laughs> but he saw it now. <laughs> he redeemed himself. <laughs> I, I wouldn't I, go to that point. No, no. I, I, I think we'll be all right. Uh, Susan likes me. I just, that's the way I see it. I'm not, not sure why, but I think she does. Because you remind her of her pool things. Because you remind her of her pool boy. That's why. Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, young Cody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With well, his tights, shirts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you missed the spot, Cody. 
How would you like to make it on Rewind, honey? <laughs> <laughs> There's a spot open. <laughs> Did you guys get like a, a, a survey a from YouTube to enter that stupid award show they have? Fucking what? I didn't you know? know it was for an award show. I think that yeah, was just like, for you. It's streamy, right? Where you can like nominate yourself to get a streamy award or something. Oh, wow. No. Oh, I just I, clicked it off immediately. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> just survey it's all. I thought about but, sending in my chicken tendies video, but I knew I was on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have sent it in anyway. Fuck it. Yeah. Toxic yeah. man flu for uh, $100. Toxic man flu. Hey. Um, you guys are fucking killing it. Tonight. Yeah. Jesus. And yeah. He's, he's got a great point here. He said, wait, Paul McCartney was in a band before Wings? Oh, my God. <laughs> that is actually funny because I had a friend, my, my cousin, I should say, had a friend at work that had said that exact thing and she's like oh my god you're serious what she's like she had no idea that he was in a band the beatles no so like she knew the beatles wings. existed how she was she? like she just was born at that age i guess no, i don't fucking know did you take around the back and just put two bullets they in should have i'm like i'm like you're kidding that's gonna be a joke and she's like no i'm like then she's freaking stupid i don't understand Sm <laughs> smells like teen spirit you mean the song from the black widow movie yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. God, that was hard. That's like when that's like when when we were talking about DMX earlier. But when DMX passed away, there were so many people on Twitter. And they were like, "Who's DMX?" Oh, boy. Like, oh. So hey, fucking before, Gen Z. I had a DMX when I was a kid. It was great. It had two wheels before, and everything. Hey, yeah. Before we roll out, uh, it's in the title. So quickly, uh, Gundam, you probably didn't watch it, but uh, Loki. Shit. Fucking Loki. Uh, so I, I. Uh, We'll just quickly go around the horn. Jeremy, you didn't finish it. I, so. I, I didn't. Uh, I have not you, watched it either. As you no. did a video, what did you I think? fell asleep. I fell asleep on the first watch because <clears throat> there was 30 minutes of sitting and talking. So I actually did fall asleep. So I had to watch the fucking thing again. Um, it was shit. Dog shit. Dog shit series. Dog shit writing. Loki's been absolutely fucking destroyed as a character. I couldn't give two fucking shits about season two. And I don't know why they brought Benny from Total Recall in, in the last episode, but he was fucking shit as well. And to Google this. Never been so bored in all my life with six yeah. episodes of shite. It was terrible. Did he have hey, the little hand in the under the consistent with the Marvel comics, though. I got a boring. Back his feet. It, it, it oh, is, the black dude. I it, control it, time. We've <laughs> been... Like we we can sit here watching this and it's it's it is very boring. They sit and they talk, or they walk very slowly and talk, or they stand and they talk. That's what so much of this has been. And the last three episodes have so much been Loki just simping for Sylvie, like talking about how special she is and how incredible she is. She's different than all of us other Lokis she because she's a woman. And I, but I still go back to the aside from all of that. One of the biggest problems that they did in this was that we saw Loki, a character who a lot of people cared about him. Why did they care about him? Because we saw throughout the entirety of the MCU, he went on this arc. He went on this arc where he starts as you, he, it gets revealed that he was behind this whole thing in Asgard in, Thor, in the Thor movie. Then he's the main villain in Avengers. Uh, then he gets busted, right? He gets busted. He gets in prison. You find out he actually does care a lot about Thor and about his mom, even if he's pretty resentful of his dad. Then uh, he makes this sacrifice, but it's not really a sacrifice, right? He actually takes Odin's place um, and fucking puts him <clears> in <throat> New York, wherever the fuck he was. And then even through all that, he goes on a journey with his brother. You still find out that he does care about his father, even if he does have some problems with him. He eventually makes a sacrifice, does the right thing with Thor, and then makes a sacrifice at the end with Thanos, trying to do the right thing. And he dies while looking at his brother, the one person that he has always cared about, who also he felt has always actually cared about him. It's an incredible arc. And what Marvel did with this series in the very beginning, with what started with what they did in Endgame, they took that away. They, they shit took on it. that arc that we had with this character and they took it away and they tried to give him a cliff notes version of it, but that is not the same thing. It right, it's it's worse yeah. though, because not only did they take it away, that whole thing that you just described was not free will. Yeah, Hang yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. made all of those decisions. None of it was Loki. None of it was his decision. Nobody in the universe has free will. It was right up to a point in the final episode where they went, ooh, now you can make a decision of your own. 
because it's I've run out of where I've written time. <laughs> Nothing that has happened Stupid. in the 10 years, 12 years of the MCU has meant shit because yeah. it's Kang that did everything according to the show. What a load of fucking shite. Yeah. And then Kevin Absolute Feige basically shite. confirmed that they're going to go down the Star Wars route. I don't know if you guys <sighs> saw it or not, but they just recently just recently had an a meeting about all the rules for the multiverse. You are four fucking projects deep into this and you're Jeez, just fuck. having a meeting now. Um, remember when we used to praise you for actually having a fucking plan going forward? Plan and then everybody is vagina. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah, point, yeah, it's they they apart. have no plan. They don't hear shit until the last minute. Shit changes constantly in the last minute. Gee, it's starting to sound like fucking Lucasfilm over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> As was so young, and oh, I, I was beautiful in those days. You were yeah. so stunning, Holy so shit, I were easily manipulated. Yeah. You still I have know. that stained I dress as yeah. You should learn. I I can't fit in it at all but um <laughs> Just i think do still love a cigar it. every now and again oh shit i fucking hit the red fucking x i fucking hit the red fucking it's an episode has he gone for a wank he's gone for a wank. <laughs> I love I there love it is. The, I love listening to the replays when he does that because he can't see us. He's just like, oh shit, not again. <laughs> I'm watching it right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there it is. And he's gone. We are oh, entering a broadcast studio. Uh, I meant to put up another. And he's just sitting back there hoping to God one of us doesn't say the N word while he's gone. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at you, X Ray. Go. can't hear us. No, we can say whatever we want. No, you gone. can say whatever. When I'm gone, that's all they see. See, they, I'm because I'm running this through my OBS, so they don't see you. They see me. They hear me going, motherfucker. Oh, so they didn't hear us at all. Yeah, they, no. they hear. They see it all. So they on, missed that joke. That was the greatest joke screen. of the night. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, guys, it's easier to share stuff in the. Just share it here. And don't put links in the private chat. And just if you want to share something, just share it here. It's fine. And so that way I can share it because if I put up a link, it puts it up the link on the same thing that's feeding through the OBS. So I have it to pull easy. it over. It's, it's very easy. Yeah, it's to a do big it. pain in the ass. So there we go. Okay. Uh, but no, sorry. La you were talking about Loki as uh, just, the, just the the fact that um, he had uh, nothing, nothing in the MCU for the last twelve years meant diddly shit because Kang was the one who predetermined everything. And so yeah, the MCU. I think Tom was saying there's no plan for the MCU. Well, the the, the bridge, it's, it's vagina. Yeah. The only things that are coming through are fucking women or characters which have been changed to women. Uh, Kate Bishop, Riri Williams, She-Hulk, uh, Ms. Marvels, you know, Marvels are all coming. Uh, <clears throat> sex changed Eternals, you know, yeah. th that's all that's coming. That's their plan. It's going to get real old, real fucking quick, and real the, boring, real fucking quick. Are you excited it as? <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Yeah, neither am I. <laughs> yes. In the past, it was like almost like a myth. It was like Marvel has everything planned out and everything's planned, like it written. It was, it was all bullshit. I don't, I don't think the, it was all bullshit. I think they had something was, planned. Well, obviously, they, they were always building up to something. Sorry. Go on, Garrett. Go ahead. They were always building up to something. It always mm -hmm. seemed like we were going in a direction. At this point, that something is not Thanos. It's not the Infinity Gems, it, uh, the Stones. It's just wokeness it's this this character is now a female this character where where that's from the comics that is like a female empowerment story now she's getting a film now we're doing a team up with all female and then the the goal i swear the fucking goal is going to be all female avengers that's where they're going a force and they got a force that they've said it so yeah, that's, that's, that's what they're building up to they're not building up to something that <clears throat> comic book fans actually give a fuck about they're building up to what they give a fuck about. Mm -hmm. Th Thanos was a last minute addition in that end credit scene. In the in the first one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, when they uh, yeah, yeah, we, they were building phase one and phase two, they were doing it on the fly. Yes, mm -hmm. and they were like, oh, okay. they wanted to see if it worked. Uh, so the Nick Fury, but thing, at least it felt <clears> like it was going. Somewhere. Well, it was. They they, they had you know? a plan, but they weren't sure if they were going to buy it because each movie had. Once all of them, once they had multiple successes, once Iron Man, Iron Man was a huge success and it carried it because Hulk wasn't. 
And then once they had a couple more, they started throwing in more stingers. The stinger yeah. in the in Hulk was a last minute thing. They got Robert Downey Jr. back to make it. So they, you know, they they had well, it's kind of halfway. They had a plan. They weren't sure if the studio was going to go for it, right? And right. then in the phase two, there was a bunch of problems with Kevin Feige and Ike Perlmutter, and because they, mm-hmm. they they were getting kind of. That's where he changed. hosted Ike, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they were getting and short And at that changed. point, the, the all the phase, the phase got a little muddy. But well, and that's kind of what I was saying, as clean though. as that first I'd argue, phase. I'd argue. Because well, you had the Humans, too, that there was supposed to be a Humans movie, and then obviously that got axed for the TV show. Well, yeah. well and then that TV show got axed. Went that, down yeah. for like a storm. Not that it yeah. was terrible. Well, that's when well, that's they, kind of the point. Oh, sorry. Go that's go when they want to do uh, fucking diminish the mutants, and they did in the comic books. They actually diminished they one did. of mm-hmm. the best-selling comic books of all time for the Inhumans, which didn't fucking work. And that was th- there was a battle between Ike Perlmutter and Feige, but Ike yeah. Perlmutter didn't want the shit to be woke. That yeah. was where he he stopped that shit from being woke earlier. So you can thank Ike Perlmutter for that. Kevin Feige is the woke meister. He is all about it now because he is completely in charge and has carte blanche, and he's using it. Well, it's just such a like for somebody. I, like I said, I watched a little bit of Loki and completely checked out. I didn't watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The WandaVision was okay for those first few episodes, but if like if you take those Marvel shows and you compare them to the Daredevils and the first season oh, of not Punisher even sure and Luke close. Cage oh. and I mean, yeah. I, it's just such a drastic difference. Like, there's not even a. It's not. It doesn't even feel like the same people are behind it. The same universe. No. It, it it feels completely no comparison. detached. The, it, and it's so just depressing that, that that's where we are. Oh. I hated Wandavision because it increased the price of Silver Surfer number one <laughs> and Silver <laughs> Surfer number two and three. And I was trying to buy them for under a grand each. Oh, you mean the, for the Silver Surfer comics? Comics, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. because those are the double size ones. Um, yeah, I could. Well, if you're still looking, I can probably get it for under a grand for you. Well, under. Yeah, I'm looking for something in immaculate condition, like you know, a 7.0 at least, something I could put on the wall, look at. Yeah, you yeah. know, grade it. And I go get, look at this. I it's get, worth gold. I can get one for you for for much cheaper than that. Uh, my buddy's comic shop, by the way, I do want to shout this out. Got fucking broken into, piece of shit, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Um, oh, dude, and I, I want to looking for that silver server. I want to <laughs> blast out what got stolen. So if anybody sees these across eBay and you see them selling these books in Southern California, San Diego in particular, you will know. Uh, and. A, a lot of times these guys do get caught because they're fucking stupid. They're drug addicts well, and they don't understand that we talk to each other. And these shops are all in communication. And as soon as a shop gets broken into, they contact all the other shops and say, this is what's stolen. Not just so, that. If they're graded, aren't there some kind of uh, yeah code system on them? Unless so, yeah, they that's break them out, Unless they bust them out of their cases, which you can't Yeah, do, they'll break you, them out of the cases. You That's risk, jam- you risk right damaging right the book. Uh, so right. let's go and we will share. Yeah, I saw that list and shit. I was just like, are you kidding me? I saw the damage and shit. It's just like, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the list. Uh, by the All way, right. Southern California Comics. Uh, the, you go to SoCalComics.com. Uh, Jamie Newbold is the owner House of Horror, number one, CGC 7.5, and then a bunch of Teenage Mutant. You can screen grab this if you want. I know y'all screen grab out there. So you can screen grab this. Uh, <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 238 and 300. If those are raw books, they're not worth that much. They left behind much better shit. They were fucking idiots. They were yeah. fucking idiots. And I won't tell them what they left behind, but very close to where they got these books, there was books that were fucking 20 times more than this. Uh, large feature book number three. Number the low. It's supposed to be the Lone Ranger. Uh, here's the damage they did uh, to the cases. These cases aren't fucking cheap. That's what sucks. They can replace oh, the glass. Oh fucking hell! That's terrible man. But look what they did to the books below. Oh, Jesus. Um, fucking I, assholes. So they. Re- I would have snagged all those comics. What Dude, was the point of breaking the glass? Uh, you break the glass and you don't take that bottom row right there. What the fuck? Right. Yeah. And they well, both like. They busted his door, and his door ends up being more, right? So th- somebody tried to break in two weeks ago, and they failed, and obviously they're persistent. Now Jamie's going to have to do what I did, is I took all my books home with me every fucking night. I was oh, going to say get a gun, dude. but that sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't do that in California. Um, yeah, it, California. Can. It's, pretty, it's pretty easy. I was not supposed to own a gun, uh, gun no, um, and I oh. did not have an AK-47 under my counter. <laughs> I've so, seen Asian good. guys pull those shits from under counters before in the hood. It's a good weapon of choice to really de-escalate situations. Yep. 
Oh, what a cop told me was to have a mag light. Don't have a baseball bat because if you hit somebody with a baseball bat, the prosecutor will ask or the whatever attorney is involved, like, why did you have a baseball bat? So I can hit Obviously. People so I can, yep. yeah. And then it was like, well, then it's assault. But if you're hitting somebody I have a with a mag light to light things up, yes, it's office. more, yeah. it's more, Just trying to get out of here, in the dark. Sir. This is an LED. And the cops were very helpful with me because they didn't want me to be in trouble. Uh, I almost went to, I've told the story before, I almost went to jail for uh, picking somebody. I like wedgied him. I picked him up by his pants and his fucking underwear and uh, and then by the back of his neck and tossed Sounds him out like my high fucking school. store. And uh, he called the cops on me because uh, he was. He I could have called the police. Rats. Yeah. Rats. Yep. And I almost went to jail. We live in such a ridiculous society we do. where you, uh, you bother a man in his business. And he takes you outside in a very gentlemanly way. Not once did you elbow him in the back of the neck. You just threw him out like a shitty cartoon character, Dennis the Menace. And he has the balls to call the police. This country is going to hell in a hell. Going basket. to hell. Going to hell. Uh, Big time. Just like Loki. Loki sucks. I'm going to do a review. It'll be out on Sunday. Uh, that was a customer interaction, right? Not an attack. <laughs> Oh, that, that's was a good a, no, that was a typical customer interaction. That's, a, that's just yes. that's how I dealt with all of them. No, no. He was uh, screaming at my manager and screaming at me because uh, I wouldn't buy a, a Daredevil <laughs> number one uh, for what he wanted. He wanted like thousands of dollars for it. And at the time, Daredevil number one, at a, it was like a, a 1.5. It was it was way it was garbage, garbage at the time. The book now would would be a couple thousand bucks, a few thousand bucks, maybe. Uh, but back then it was uh, not it wasn't even five hundred. So and he didn't like that answer. So he decided to pitch a fit. Uh, so hey, we're gonna wrap things up. It's been a great show. Gundam stayed yeah. the whole time, which you did not have to do. Thank you very much. Been laughing mm. my ass off. Had a great Cheers, time with man. the guys. Sorry we Gundam didn't talk also. about Loki and we would have pissed off the Marvel stands because uh, I fucking hated it. I, I hated well, it. Well, you much weren't as attracted to Loki. That's why you couldn't see how good the show was, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the show was awful. It was fucking garbage. It was as bad Tom as Tom Hiddleston's a dream boat. You're a fucking beggar. Uh, and uh, it was, yeah, it was as bad as Black Widow to me. So and I'll explain that in a video. So in the I meantime, like the way that his bisexuality really came into play, by the really way, during did. that show. Well, well, that, yeah. Groundbreaking. Mm. Like him and Richard E. Grant had that, you know, sex scene. Oh, they didn't. That's right. So, no, uh, but he, he only like he only likes himself when he's got a vagina. <laughs> yeah, but he is going to end up fucking himself because he kissed himself at the end, mm. and that mm -hmm. was supposed to be like a. They played it like a real romantic scene too. Yeah, I I, I almost boffed in my mouth. Nothing was, weird about that. I thought it was that. hilarious, man. <laughs> uh, Ma like Mahler, Mahler put up the perfect comparison that I think everyone yes. thought of. It was the Ray. Ray Skywalker, yep. Ben Solo. A lot of people say that. Yeah. Same energy. That's, that's yeah. what it was. Same energy. Everyone's like, nah. Yeah. They well, don't even have chemistry. There was no chemistry between the two actors. No. Full of positive energy, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> HIV positive. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a positive interaction. Oh, wait. Ryan was just trying <laughs> Not to get, at all. Ryan was just trying to get the yellow. Like last minute, he's doing his part. We do appreciate <laughs> well, well, him. Are, are you doing your? Uh, I don't think anybody that? gives a fuck about AIDS anymore. Honestly, uh, the la last time they did, Fauci was telling him to get a jab for that. So yeah. I don't know. You don't even have to pe tell people you have it. So still green. It's airborne, so don't wait it's too yeah, late. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, so, so uh, I'd like to thank the beautiful chat. You guys have the best taste in the world. You're all in. Very intelligent, yeah. uh, and you have again. You <laughs> you're have great here. Taste so. of, you're here, obviously. So thank you uh, for being here, spending your time with us. Thanks to everyone who sent a uh, Streamlab donation or a super chat. It will be read uh, in a square up very, very soon. Uh, thank you to the Mod Rodics who do a very thankless job. I appreciate you all. Thanks to all my co-hosts. Thanks to our guest. It's a Gundam. Let's go around the horn, and everybody can plug their stuff. We will start out with Quarter Black Garrett. Yo, what's up? It's good to be here. I, I had a great time. I am super excited for uh, Las Vegas. Everybody, you got to get there because it's yes. what is it? Four weeks? Four weeks? We're gonna be partying. We're gonna in be Vegas, there for guys. four weeks. Yeah, we're gonna be wow. there for four weeks. No, in four weeks. It's coming around. If you're not, if you're like on the fence, just do it. Okay, <laughs> just buy your ticket. I don't care. You you got mortgages to pay. That. 
screw that okay Fuck you're it. gonna get money okay it, it'll, it'll happen just buy the tickets be there because we're all gonna be there and it's gonna be awesome yep agreed thanks for coming on garrett yeah uh and yeah appreciate you man uh comics i got my ticket buddy i'm ready to go yeah <laughs> i am so hey, happy hey 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 hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 what's up, guys? How's it going? Um, <laughs> hi, everyone on Comics Division. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Minds at Comics Division, as well as my YouTube channel, which I occasionally release content. I live stream every Monday and Thursday, and maybe soon to be Sunday. Uh, and what else do I do? Oh, yeah, I also produce con or not produce I create content for Unsafe Space talking about the Great Reset and occasionally get them copyright strikes but that's okay or strikes nah, it's not guidelines. just me it's not yeah, just me that does guidelines uh, community guidelines guideline strikes yeah. if you don't yeah. get a community mm -hmm. guideline strike you're not doing your job you're not, not doing, doing your job, job. <laughs> on YouTube, yes. i've been working on one uh, <laughs> that's what we've been working hard for tonight very to be fair ryan you had three on like three different channels you had multiple strikes on multiple channels at one point so, <laughs> so you're, you're, you're copyright <laughs> that's true well that's true. i mean i guess his comeback could be well yeah you get Sometimes you get claims when you actually put videos on your channels. So, <laughs> uh, the comics division. I'm proud of you, man. Uh, you're doing such a great job, and uh, it's good to see you doing well, man. Uh, Tom. You. Oh well, you can find me on Midnight's Edge, of course, Midnight's Edge After Dark, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, and just thanks for having me as always. It's fun thanks, to be here. Thanks for coming on, Tom uh, Ryan. Uh, thanks for having me, Gary. As always, you guys know where to find me at uh, RK Outpost channels and, of course, wherever Jeremy wants me at, at a given time, usually on Sports Wars or Gaming with Geeks or Geeks and Gamers Twitch. Uh, awesome having it to Gundamon once again. He's fucking hilarious. Uh, Vegas is going to be fan-fucking-tastic, guys. I cannot wait. Don't worry about the, the the new guidelines, whatever they might be coming out. Regardless of what happens, we are going to be there. We're yep. going to have a good time. Yep. Fuck all that other shit. Uh, so make sure if you can, if you can stop by for you know a day, one of the meetups, one day that doesn't even fall in the meetups, we're going to be out there the whole time. So please do come and see us. It'll be fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, um, as... I got you right when your mouth is open. <laughs> Hi. Um, yeah. Sunday. Sunday Subnautica uh, stream. Right place, Subnautica. Sometimes get a jump scare uh, and then just kind of like chill and chit chat with you. Uh, Monday, fully articulated over on uh, RMB's channel, Robert Mar Burnett's channel, 8 p.m. UK time, midday Pacific. Tuesday, 6 p.m. UK time, 10 a.m. Pacific, the real BBC with Gary over there. Wednesday, what toys uh, on my channel, 8 p.m. UK time, 12 p.m. Pacific. Uh, Thursday, I might have a day free. It might get taken by somebody. Uh, and then Friday, of course, Friday night tights. And go check out on Sunday night. If you can go check out the uh, the Mario Kart stream with geeks and gamers on uh, Twitch because it's fucking hilarious. I mean, I'll literally. I'll this time, Ryan. I swear. Holy I shit! I was laughing my dick off watching that, and I it's like tell four o'clock in the morning. It. I can tell you're enjoying it just from your comments. Yours. <laughs> and you can put an emo of Jeremy shooting himself in the head. <laughs> And I just, I just, I wore well, that out. It. You spammed I wore that out, and I, I just wanted more. <laughs> hey, we know what the people want. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks, Az. Uh, Jeremy. Uh, speaking of that, I will be uploading oh. Ivan's edit to the main channel as soon as this ends. Um, I think he did a really good job this week with his uh, editing, and uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. You'll get to see Lady Ripa basically. It. She's like, I've been listening to Eric yell for seven years. I don't give a shit anymore. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that was really good. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so awesome having uh, It's a Gundam on. Yes. Real quick, uh, I see all of you guys tagging all of us in this LeBron James tweet. That's it's a BBC not, parody account. Real. That is not really, he didn't really yeah. say it, but that just kind of shows you where we are and how how people like that does seem like something LeBron would say. So I'm not saying he won't say it, <laughs> but that's not a real story. We You guys are tagging the hell out of us on that. So it's uh, it's not legit. 
but um, it, it, if it does become legit, yeah. look, <laughs> Ryan and I will definitely be covering that. Don't worry. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, thank, thanks to Is the Gundam and, and the awesome chat tonight. You guys were amazing. And Vegas, baby. Vegas is coming soon. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you out there. And I mirror everything Ryan said. Don't let any of these new guidelines kind of, you know, I mean, again, do what you think is best for you. But I'm just saying that yeah. we're going to be there. That's what I, all I can do is tell you we're going to be there and we're going to do our thing. I That's tripping. what I yep. know. So. I ain't tripping. None of us are. Yeah. So, mm. hell yeah. yeah. I ain't uh, tripping. I ain't tripping. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, although I'm going to be around Gary's neck probably at some point. Yeah. I'm going to be, I'm going to be like, hey. yeah. <laughs> we're going to have, we're going to be, as we'll be there um, in video as, as long can as we, we have a connection. Can, can we make this happen? Can we get Gary a Flavor Flav style clock, but then just put like, uh, maybe a, a, iPad a, an something. iPad in there yeah. in it, and then and then as will be. <laughs> I think we can make that happen. I think we can. I get a I get a loud ladies. Mic. You know what to do. <laughs> yep. Uh, once again, I would like to thank our guest. It's a Gundam for coming back, and seriously, you are welcome back anytime, man. It was a fucking great. Great to have show. you, man. I'll probably show up randomly now. Whenever someone else is on, I'm just going to steal their thunder. <laughs> Not a drunk great. Irishman. No, you need a loud New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> and then people tune directly out. <laughs> I don't know. I think you and Critical no. Drinker together, that would people would freak out. I think they would love I it. I envy him because he has that accent. You know, a good English or Irish accent, people could listen all day in America. A New Yorker, he's, he's we're Scottish. like Scottish. <laughs> Scottish. Yeah. Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> Taxi drivers, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this oh, he probably thinks you're from Boston. He probably thinks you're from Boston, <laughs> so it's okay. Yeah, so that's a Boston, New England. Uh, but yeah, if there's anything you want to plug, tell us or t- uh, t- tell everyone about all of your channels, please do. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's obviously the main channel, it's a Gundam. And my podcast channel is called The Troll Toll, I think. Uh, no refunds for gaming. I, what else do I fucking do? I, I gave it to somebody who is more <laughs> cognizant than I am right now. <laughs> I do painting, obviously, I think, since people mm. have uh, given you money. You are fucking right awesome, dude, by the way. Your Gundams are fucking beautiful, man. You'd be surprised at how most people refuse to watch me because they hate my main channel in the Gunpla community. It's That's amazing. <laughs> I'm too toxic. Nah, people are just retards. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it is what it is. They didn't have positive interactions with me. And I really got to figure out. I how didn't to like what he well. said, so I don't like what he paints. <laughs> I got in trouble for talking about No Ma'am. Do you remember the No Ma'am lady? <laughs> yeah. And I posted on Twitter that No Ma'am used to be a dude who was a felon multiple times over. I lost so many voice acting gigs over that one fucking oh. tweet. I didn't rob anybody. She did. Yep. I just reported the news. <laughs> uh, Nerd Roddick's the only person I know with finger tattoos that has a guy to felony. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wrong. I got God felony. damn it. I got, I got, I got deuce. Well, deuce is there on goes that the one. positive note. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I was going to go, see, looks can be deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> stop stop yourself right before that was not a positive message <laughs> that's okay <laughs> <laughs> oh well again yeah maybe i'll just randomly throw you links and see if you show up we'll see what happens. No, i probably will if i'm awake there also i was asked to do a plug i hope no one minds i don't mind go oh, sharza kitsune he was the original designer of my vtuber experiment that failed horribly <laughs> <laughs> I saw that stream where you guys were like, Gundam's a VTuber. I was in the room screaming, I'm not a VTuber! They make millions of dollars! I'm like, I'm eating packaged tuna. <laughs> As Ziltek said, if you gotta keep doing this, man, the juice isn't worth the squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> No, it isn't. And on that note, I guess we can wrap things up. Uh, well, I did want to congratulate a, a, a YouTuber a lot of you probably heard of, Nerdaholic, for hitting 350,000. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that guy. Nerdrotic. I love that I'm guy. Sorry. I sorry. love <laughs> Nerdaholic. That guy's an asshole. <laughs> Racist, sexist, no, misogynist. But- 
<laughs> Nerd Hollis will pass me yeah. by 2022. No. <laughs> in all seriousness, congratulations, uh, Gary. Awesome job, man. Uh, thanks, man. Huge number. The man. bigger you yeah, get, awesome the bigger news. the target is on your back. I'm that's here to tell you. Yeah. One million. Yes. yes. One million. You're now the leader. You know I'm that. never Sons getting to one million. <laughs> they won't let it happen. <laughs> oh, you never know. <laughs> I was watching TikTok videos as a last ditch effort to, to just escape the black hole. I hate TikTok. No, it's, it's the it black hole we need you to fall into your Gundam that makes it so beautiful. <laughs> yes. Everyone's like, it's all funny till like the day I wake up dead. Yep. And even then, people will be like, did he really kill himself? Oh, is he trolling? Yeah, Ryan mystery. said he got a tattoo on his ass that said it wasn't suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hashtag Gundam didn't kill himself. All right. <laughs> Susan did. If I end up dead, it was Susan Wajinski and her yep. minions. <laughs> I am a sound minded body. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks again. Uh, you are all beautiful. Please enjoy some credits. Bye. Bye. I want to put more Gundalorian. Bye. Oh, yes. Oh, God. God, no! Get this dog out of here! Not again! Not again, God! Get this thing off of me! Why are you trying to hug me? No! God, no! God, no! Oh, my ass! Ah, fuck that. Chrissy, have you ever heard of the comedian Basha K. Ali? No, that sounds like something you yell at before you blow up a plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, fear me. I am a lord and master. Oh, really? Uh. Come on, dude, use the motherfucking force. Whoa! Ha 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 ha! How you like that, huh? Don't 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 man! He never had that. He never had that. He never had that. He never had that. Uh. Lo, el se habla español. Oh. Ah, fuck it, I've eaten so much worse, dude. You have no idea. Gustav de Jali! Gaitar de Bile Lance! Nete! Well, let's see what Henne! Yeah, you blow the. Oh, something like that. No, show my damn out! Fuck you. Ali! No, man! Hey, wait, you're not dead? Oh, oh you're in trouble, dude. Ah, stop, crap! Oh, Talk about a brutal, senseless act of violence. Nerdorotic.com
さあ下ネタ嫌なんでって言ってますがどんどんどんどん下ネタに行ってしまっております、まあ、大阪では左にあぶれあーあ駅面式駅面式駅応対そしてそこからバックシェイクボムからフォーリークスリーカウント